Hello? Hello? Can you guys hear me now? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you should be able to hear me now. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Alright. Apologies for that. But basically, we didn't lose that much time. Just three minutes until the DLC comes out. Man, you know, I feel like I feel like we gotta we gotta redo this. Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna give you guys the intro that I just did while I was muted. Basically, what happened was I have separate tracks when I record, so like my microphone and the music is on different, you know, tracks. And I didn't have it enabled for the stream. So it was only giving you the music. So so here's how it should have began. Hello and welcome to part two of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's DLC, the Indigo Disc. Although technically the DLC is not quite out yet. As you can see, we got the timer. And in one hour, we should be able to play part two of the Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. And I am super duper excited, so excited in fact, that I didn't even properly set up my microphone. But, now we're working, and we're here, and you might be able to tell, I am in a different studio, different setup, than the previous stream. Every stream that I've done recently, I feel like I'm in a different place. Well, not the last last stream, but the first part of the DLC. And that is because I'm actually currently in Japan, in case you guys didn't know. I've been here for the last month and a half, and I still have about another month left here. So, basically, I'm in Kitakami. I came all the way out here for the DLC, except now we're going to Blueberry Academy, which is back in Unova, which is, I think, New York? It's, like, supposed to be all of America, but really it's just New York. So, anyway, maybe that's where we're going next. Who knows? But in case you guys didn't know, I have been... Or I guess me and my wife opened up a vlog channel together and all of our adventures in Japan have been going up over there. So go and check it out if you guys haven't yet to see some of my adventures here in Japan. It's been really fun so far. Uh, it is Slice of Us. We'll put a link in the chat in case you guys haven't yet. But as usual, or I guess like the last DLC, I decided to start the stream an hour early so we can speculate on what is going to be coming and just... Get hyped for it. Like, there are so many of you guys already in here. It is insane. So thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to hit that like button on the stream. If you guys are excited, let's try to hit a thousand likes on the stream before the DLC actually starts. That would be amazing. So again, just thank you guys for showing up. We already got over a thousand people in here. That's amazing. So thank you guys for joining me. And we will also be doing some shenanigans inside Scarlet and Violet as I prepared for this because... According to people that played the DLC early and also uh, some of the previews that, well, I guess, yeah, people that played it early, like websites and YouTubers, they say that this DLC is pretty tough. Apparently, the trainers start, like, in the upper level 60s and go all the way up to, like, mid 80s. And I've seen even Serebii saying that he's got a full team of level 100 Pokemon for it. So, who knows how tough this DLC is actually going to be. So I need to get a team ready, basically, is what I'm saying. And I'm gonna need you guys' help in the chat to decide which Pokemon we're gonna bring to Blueberry. I mean, technically we can bring all of them. But we only get to pick six to actually battle with. So, yeah, I'm gonna need you guys' help to uh, decide those six. And I wanna give another quick shout out to Zame. That is the music you're gonna be hearing in the background today. Uh, so check out Zame if you guys haven't already. He makes YouTube, or I guess Pokemon remixes on YouTube, if this thing would load. Any second now. Aha! <laughs> I'm also running this off a laptop, which is not how I usually do things. So if there's any sort of laggy issues, well, there shouldn't be, but I guess my computer is going to lag. For you guys, it shouldn't lag at all, though. I'm pretty sure for you guys, it'll be fine. Uh, but for me, yeah, my internet's going to be a little bit uh, choppy. And we already got two Super Chats coming in. Oh my goodness. They should pop up any second now. Already subscribed to Zane. That's how we do it, Pokemon fan. I love to see it. Use your starter. Ooh, there it is. Alright, maybe I need to turn down the music a little bit. Because I could barely hear Esteban. Thanks for the 
10.75 Super Chat. I'm becoming the next Steven. <laughs> thank you so much, Boost, and thank you so much, T Dog, as well. So, in case you guys missed it last couple of streams, I got a new intern, Esteban, and he reads the donations. So, thank you, Esteban, for the for the readings, even though it's he's an AI. We pay him in bits. All right. So, thank you so much, guys. Uh, just completed the Paldean Pokedex. And loving the vlogs you guys are making. Thank you so much. I don't know if you guys could hear it properly, but uh, yes, my cousin Esteban, he's he's going to replace me one day. AI will replace us all, apparently. What's up, Bivana? What's up, Brandon? What's up, Red? You got a question? Hit me up, bro. What, what's your question? Anybody that has any questions, this is... Your chance right here because once we start playing the game, I'm probably not going to be able to focus as much on the chat. I mean, I'll still have you guys on the screen, of course, but this DLC is going to be crazy when it comes to stories. So I feel like I'm going to be tunnel vision honed in on whatever's going on with the game. So it'll be more difficult to answer your questions. What's up, Alakazam? How you doing, man? And thank you to the mods that are in here. I think I saw Dano as well as Boost. Who did just get the donation too, so thank you. Becoming the new Lord Steven. How you spell his name? Esteban? Esteban. I forgot the whole uh, last name. Esteban Montoya de la Rosa Rodriguez. You gonna shiny hunt for all the starters? Probably not in this stream. Okay, so let me give you guys the game plan for this whole DLC basically. Obviously, as soon as it comes out, we're going to kick things off with the story. And you might remember in the last stream, if you were here, that after recording for like about an hour, I took a break to edit episode one. However, this time, I've decided I'm actually going to keep playing the story. And I'm going to pass on the footage from episode one over to my wife, Geddon. And she's going to edit that while I'm still streaming the story. Because I feel like when we first, or the first stream... Uh, when I took that editing break, although a lot of you guys like seeing the kind of behind the scenes process and you still can watch that if you go back to that stream, uh, I feel like it really like slowed things down in terms of making the content and also me getting through the story like as quick as possible because even though I don't want to rush through it or anything, I feel like a lot of the crazier videos are going to be towards the end and I want to try to get to those quicker. And also, I don't want the viewers to drop off because, like, yeah, during that little editing session, I'm pretty sure we lost, like, over half of the viewers. So, this time around, I'm going to keep playing through it. Maybe we'll take, like, a little 10-minute break just so I can, like, pass over the footage, you know? But that shouldn't take too long. Um, so, yeah, basically, we're going to take a small little break and then just keep on chugging through the story. So, my goal is just to do episode one today. And then maybe tomorrow we'll, we'll keep going with it. But just for today, I'm going to stream as much of the story as possible. But I'm saying upload it on YouTube. Just episode one. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Okay, so the latest video that we did on Slice of Us. Thank you, by the way, Leaf Green, for the five. Yo, we got... You guys have been coming through in the last few streams. Boost and Leaf Green, I know, donated a lot last time, too. So thank you so much for that. Um... Yeah, any help you guys provide with uh, the Super Chats, those go directly to me, as opposed to Twitch, which I would stream back in the day, would take half the cut. YouTube, YouTube is a little bit more generous with their creators, so I appreciate anybody that does uh, donate with those Super Chats. Thank you guys so much. And yeah, the latest video on Slice of Us, uh, we wore kimono, which if you don't know, are like the traditional Japanese robes. And it was super sick, dude. Like, that was one of the coolest things we've done in Japan so far. And one of my goals, like, before I came here, too, because being, like, a huge fan of Pokemon Legends Arceus and, like, that being based in feudal Japan or, I guess, just old school Edo period. I don't remember what it is exactly, but, you know, you get, getting to dress up like the characters in that game, which I can show you guys, is actually my background right now on my laptop. I've been playing Legends Arceus again recently. It's been fun. Um... So yeah, getting to dress up like that was a really cool experience. So check that out if you guys haven't yet. Um, anyway. What's up, Speedy? 
might want a slight slow chat. Yeah, the thing is, I mean, yeah, the chat is going pretty quick, but I don't see people spamming. So I think we'll be okay. But I might, I might turn it on like maybe a 10 second one. We'll probably be okay. But so far, I think we're doing just fine. What's up, Lizette? What's up, Angel Rose? Legends Arceus, amazing survival music. Dude, the music in that game, it, yeah, at first I thought it was like kind of too subtle for Pokemon. But the more I've played it, I just, I've grown to appreciate it. It kind of has that Breath of the Wild vibe, which I guess is what they were going for, where it's more chill, like ambient music, I guess you could say. Dude, these remixes are hitting today, by the way. Like, damn, Zane, going ham. What Pokemon are you going to be using? Okay, so I guess we got 45. I was going to wait until exactly 45 minutes to start deciding. Actually, I should wait a second because there's one last thing I forgot to do uh, to prepare for the DLC. And that is my outro screen. I need your guys' help to decide what music we should put. I mean, this is actually a pretty good song right here. The one we're listening to right now. This is Sada and Turo's Battle Remix. But then I saw that... Uh, let me see. Zayn uploaded a, a Kieran remix. This one. Oh, this is pretty good. Okay. Oh, and it froze. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, this is a banger. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna use this one. All right, we're gonna use this one. So, a uh, little quick behind the scenes right here. Not. I mean, we still haven't started, so I guess it's better. Or I guess it's. Not as bad to do this now, but I need to do my end screen basically for after the video's over. Wait, is this the right song? It is, right? Kieran Final Battle Music, yeah, okay. So you just wanted to be a fade in from, or I guess, something like that. Oh, amazing. Okay, now I just need this background to start right here we'll just do like 15 seconds should be good dude one of the things i most missed about in this dlc or i guess in the teal mask Ooh. thank you so much stefan for the 1475 thank you so much dude Oh wait, that was a different currency, or was it Canadian? I'm scrolling up, I don't even see it. Why did it say 1475? It's $20 Canadian, I guess Esteban automatically converted it. But thank you so much, dude. Can you use Crocodile? Ooh, for 20 bucks? I mean, I might have to consider Crocodile now. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about using Crocodile though, but... Actually, it's not a new Pokemon either. It's already been in Scarlet and Violet. I'm not sure if I can make any promises on that, but you, you'll see a crocodile on screen in the next few minutes, at least. Uh, but I was saying, though, one of the things I most miss about, like, for some reason in the teal mask, they made it so you can't get footage like this. I used to just sit there and record, for example, like B-roll, like just ambient B-roll of, of the game. You can't do that anymore for some reason, because they upgraded the camera so you can, like, put your Pokemon pose it and stuff, but... You can't like, um, you can't hide the UI, so you can't really do this kind of shot anymore. This actually looks cooler than the one that I picked earlier. Let me see. Yeah, I kind of like this more. Let me change it up. We'll do this. All right, so let me just render that real quick. And we are going to... Oh, my God. No cinematics in our game. Thank you, though, E, for the super chat, homie. Appreciate you. Oh, there's no message on it. Just, just as, All right, you know what? Thank you so much. <laughs> Even with no message, I appreciate the the dono, my, my friend. Um, so, yeah, let me render that so it's ready for Keren whenever the stream starts. And then we are going to hop into Scarlet and Violet to decide what team I shall bring into the DLC. Oh, 
Okay, it's rendering. I'm a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie, because like I mentioned at the beginning, I'm running this off my laptop. And even though my laptop is pretty strong, pretty good. <coughs> I don't know, just the fact that it is a laptop worries me a little bit. Also, if you guys hear me coughing, I know you guys sometimes worry about me, but uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I went to Hokkaido a couple weeks ago, which is the northern part of Japan, and it was snowing and super cold. So yeah, I caught a little bit of a cold, but look at this. I got my my 12 vitamins, essential vitamins and minerals juice, or whatever this is. I don't know. Probably vitamin B12. I'm assuming that's what the 12 would be. Thank you, Froki. Ogre Pond, please. You think we'll see the Glitterati again? I think so. I, you, know, you know what I'm actually wondering if we'll see is our other friends from the main game, Penny, Arvin, Nimona. They weren't in Kitakami at all, which to me was a bit of a bummer. Oh, dropping things. I was actually super surprised that they didn't appear at all. And I hope that they're actually in part two because I don't know, I kind of miss them. <laughs> like, as annoying as they were sometimes during the story, well, Nimona specifically was the only one that annoyed me. Arvin and Penny were totally fine. But I kind of miss them, man. I, I think they should be in this one because we're going to be going back to Area Zero. So we're going to be back in Paldea. I guess I kind of understand why they weren't in it because they weren't invited to the field trip. But like, yeah, they, they have to be at least in the very ending. Good morning from the Philippines. Hey, what's up, Nat? What's up, Pika Bolt? When does it release? <laughs> it's right there, man. <laughs> we got 40 minutes, and that means it is time to hop into the game. Oh my god, where am I right now? You know what? Yeah, let me just uh let me just keep this music going since we're just gonna be browsing menus for the most part. Oh, I just realized something though. I think I closed my game capture software, so I need to open that up. Also, it's really dark. There we go. Okay. Back to normal. We're in here. Bro, why is this text box in the way, though? Can we get this text box out of here? Alright, I got my game capture open. I got the chat right next to it, so I can still see you guys typing. Let's do a fit check. Oh, not in real life. I'm not wearing anything crazy. <laughs> it's literally just a black t-shirt. But we can do a fit check in game though. Check it out. Hey, there we go. So right now I'm rocking the, uh, you know, the orange suit because of course, oh, actually the song ended. So perfect timing. Let's just go ahead and oh, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, okay. There we go. Alright. So yeah, we got the uh, the orange suit. And also this hat that I couldn't figure out where this hat actually comes from. But yo! Reped. <laughs> Reped. <laughs> the way he reads it, man. Esteban, you gotta you gotta work on some stuff, bro. But thank you so much, Andrew Smith, for the 20, 20 pounds, man. That's crazy. Thank you so much. Uh, in case you didn't understand, basically he's saying to use the Gen 4 starter that Jock gave us in the first DLC. And I do believe I should have it in my PC. Oh, by the way, if you guys missed the last stream, it was crazy, man. Not only did we get... Palkia and Dialga and Dia or Darkrai, not Deoxys. Uh, but I also managed to find a couple of shinies because there's an event right now uh, where you can very easily find shiny Flabebe and of course Evolve It. I think, well, yeah, this is the final evolution. I thought this was the middle form, but no, this is actually Flabebe. So I managed to find two of them and I also found not one, not two, but three Shiny Litwicks. They are the easiest shiny of all time to find. And they're currently in 
uh, Scarlet and Violet right now. So if you update your game, um, I think even when the DLC comes out, they, these raids will still be here. So you can see in Kitakami, there's like these special Litwick raids. Litwick, I mean. Um, and that little like golden glow that they have means that there's even more than usual increased shiny odds. So yeah, they're probably the easiest shinies ever to get. I literally just ran around, not even have a sandwich or anything. Just running around, I managed to find three Litwicks. So yeah, go get go get those if you haven't done so yet. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to use any of those on the team though. Because I'm not really a huge fan of, well, I, I guess I kind of like Chandelure. Yeah, I had a feeling the game volume was a little quiet here. I got you. Wait, actually, it's still really quiet, though. I don't know how to turn it up more than that. Does that make it louder? I'm pretty sure that should make it louder for you guys. Okay. There we go. There's that nice music. Oh yeah, so I was going to show off all the other shinies I have, and I'm kind of thinking about if I should use any of these. Like, Robustus the Titan would be pretty sick alongside Alola Ninetales, which I know is going to be in this DLC. Uh, because it has Slush Rush, so it gets its speed stat boosted in the snow. So if we have Alola Ninetales with the Snow Warning ability, which I'm pretty sure that's what it gets, right? And then we run Aurora Veil on it, that would be a pretty sick strategy. Because uh, if you guys don't know... This DLC, almost every single battle, if not every battle, is going to be double battles. So two on two, or two versus two. So you're going to want kind of more competitive strategies, or I guess complementary strategies, like two Pokemon that work well with each other. Uh, which is why I actually, you might have noticed on my team, I have the original Fabby the Beast Alola Nine or regular Cantonian Ninetales with Drought ability. Um, alongside Chang, the Growlithe that we received from Perrin, because, you know, fire types get boosted in the sun. So I was thinking about running these two, but we could do a Ninetales team in general. Like, we can have this Ninetales and then also Alola Ninetales with the Slush Rush Satitan. I feel like that would be a pretty cool, like, pairing of Pokemon. But I don't know if we would want both a sun and a snow team. I feel like they, they kind of go against each other. Like, we need to stick with one of them, so in the chat, you guys can let me know. Actually, we can run a poll real quick of which Ninetales you would rather see. Let me see. How do I start a poll? I know that we can do it. Is it just slash poll? Nope, it's not slash poll. <laughs> I swear I, I did this before, but now I don't know how to do it. Oh, wait, there's a plus right here. Ah, there we go. Okay, okay, start a poll. All right, I figured it out. <laughs> Which Ninetales? Alolan, Ice, or Kanto, Fire? <laughs> I don't want to put an option for both. I'm just curious which Ninetales you guys like more, too. So there you go. The poll should now be in the chat. You guys can participate in that. Um, but I was going to show something off. Someone asked me if I was going to use the Gen 4 starter, right? I guess they said I should use the Gen 4 starter, but I don't even know where my Gen 4 starter went. I'm pretty sure I got Infernape, right? <clears throat> so he should be somewhere in here. And that would actually work with the Drought team if we had Fire-type Ninetales. Oh, there he is. Oh, I have a Paldea 4 box that's literally just the new Pokemon. Oh, there's also a shiny Lucario that you can get for Mystery Gift right now if you guys haven't gotten it either. Um, there's like codes for them, but I'm sure someone in chat can probably... Oh my god. Dude, Alola Ninetales is destroying the pole right now. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It is also the new one in this DLC specifically, like... Fire Ninetales was already in Kitakami, but now in Blueberry Academy is the first time we're going to get access to the Ice Type one. Which means we're going to have to actually catch it during the playthrough, because I don't have one right now. But I do have a level 1 Shiny Diplin, which I'm also thinking about using. Shout out to Mio, who gave it to me in a previous stream, or traded it. 
absolute legend for giving us the shiny Diplin. And in case you guys don't know, there is a rumor that supposedly, perhaps, maybe, Diplin is going to be evolving in this DLC. Only problem is we don't know how it's going to evolve. So, uh... Yeah, I don't know if I want to use it just because we're not going to know how to evolve it. I, I doubt it's going to be just by level up. But I guess it could be like level it up in Blueberry or in Unova, technically. Since Blueberry Academy is in Unova or inside the Terrarium in general. Oh my god, it's raining up in here now. What What is going on? Oh, dude, I just realized. Sorry, uh, I should have done this way earlier. But we have the countdown right here. I'm going to... Copy the countdown over here. There we go. Just in case anyone's wondering. We got just a little bit over 30 minutes. Half hour. Thank you guys for voting, by the way. We had 500 votes and Alola Ninetales absolutely swept it with 80% almost. That's crazy. So yeah, I guess you guys really like Ice Ice Ninetales, huh? Probably gonna be using that one. Uh, but we need some Pokemon to couple with it then. I know a lot of people also said Ogre Pawn. I mean, <laughs> I got I got Dream right here. <laughs> Man's took off the mask. It's been downhill since then. But this is actually a different Dream. Who's always female. And right now I have her in the fire type version. Which wouldn't really work out. With the ice nine tails. It would be pretty good with the drought nine tails. The fire type. Too bad there's no ice mask. There's only water, rock, and then the standard grass. So yeah, I don't know if I would use uh, Ogre Pond really. I also feel like... I mean, it is a legendary. I don't usually use legendary Pokemon, but I was thinking of making an exception. Because there is one legendary from Paldea that would work pretty good alongside Alola Ninetales. And that's the homie Chien Pao. AKA the Sword of Ruin. I was looking at the ability. It lowers the defense stat of all Pokemon except itself. So it would technically lower our own or like our partner's defense, so Ninetales, but because Alola Ninetales gets Aurora Veil, that means we can actually raise our own defense back up, but the enemy's defenses would still be lowered with that sort of Ruin ability. I feel like it's it's between Chien Pao and uh, Satitan. I mean, Satitan would obviously be less OP, and it's a shiny, so I feel like it would be pretty sick to have a shiny on the team. I don't think I've ever really given Robustus the time to shine, if you know what I mean either. <laughs> the only other problem is, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have my Pokemon Eevee trained at all. But that's not really that difficult to do, especially with vitamins nowadays and the mochi, actually. They gave us a ton of mochi in the last DLC, so it wouldn't be that hard to Eevee train them. But I did Eevee train this Growlithe. I was about to say Arcanine, but I gave it Eeveeolite. I just kept it as a Growlithe as Eeveeolite because I thought it'd be cute. So I don't know, maybe we do run the dual Ninetales team. It could literally be these Pokemon minus Ursaluna. Let me put Ursaluna away. I'll put you back in this Paldean 4 box. I don't know why I have this Glamora right here, but anyway. Yeah, it could literally be these Pokemon that I have right here. Well, maybe except Quixote. I, I was thinking maybe he could work because he's got Thermal Exchange. So if he's hit with a Fire-type move from one of my Pokemon. But I I'm pretty sure it would do too much damage to really be viable or effective. So it would probably be better to just bring something like the the flame mask ogre pawn I mean this seems pretty solid to me we have literally like two options basically 
problem with the wolf the level up is people who go there deep into level 100 so props an item oh my god <laughs> man went in at the end of that donation thank you so much Samir goal problem with evolve be a level up is people who got their diplin at level 100 so it's probably an item so i think since sword and shield correct me if i'm wrong maybe scarlet well i know in scarlet and violet for sure but i think also in sword and shield they made it so even if your pokemon is level 100 you can still evolve it by using a rare candy on it i believe like obviously you won't go to level 101 but you can still evolve it I remember seeing that in a YouTube video at some point. Maybe I'm wrong, but maybe you guys, um, someone in chat, uh, let me know. Thanks to upgrade and bente cruz for the dos super chat. Name your cien power mag with jolly nature. <laughs> Thank you for the two leaf green. Name your cien power mac. Oh yeah, that was the other Pokemon I was considering. Was mac and cheese. Thing with mac and cheese is. I mean, I love the Pokemon. Mousehold is one of the best Paldean Pokemon for sure. But the main strategy that I've seen people talk about with uh, Mousehold is in combination with Annihilate. I don't think I have... Oh yeah, I did. Okay, so I gave it Beat Up. Basically what you do is you use the move Beat Up, which does six hits if you have six Pokemon on your team or maybe five. Um, so you use that on your own Annihilate. And because it's half fighting type, it'll like... Not resist it, but it'll be neutral, I think. And then that makes the Rage Fist do, I think, like 350 base power damage. Rage Fist does more damage the more times the user has been hit. So if you hit your own Annihilate five times with the Rage, or with the beat up first, then use Rage Fist, you can basically one-shot anything. It's still super effective. Oh, really? Well, I don't know. See, that's why I don't want to use that strategy because I feel like the beat up does too much damage to your own Annihilate to where, I, I don't know, I, I, I would accidentally kill it before it even gets to Rage Fist. And also it wouldn't work against uh, normal type Pokemon. So that's why I decided not to use this strategy. Also because if I do use Mouse Hold, I would want it to just population bomb and nuke everything. But then the thing with running this team that I'm thinking of plus Alola Ninetales, is we wouldn't actually have any of our starters. Well, I guess my actual starter, RuPaul the Quaquaval, would be left behind. I mean, I guess we could use him until I get the Alola Ninetales. This could be the squad. <laughs> actually, I guess until we get Alola Ninetales, it's not going to be... We wouldn't really want to have our two ice types anyway. Wait, doesn't this guy get skill link or does he get technician only? I know mine has technician, but is one of is his hidden ability skill link? I need to also keep in mind what I said about I haven't EV trained my Pokemon. Oh no, he doesn't. He gets friend guard instead. How does friend guard work? Reduces damage done to Oh, okay. So if you have friend guard on it, and you use beat up on annihilate, you'll do less damage. Ah, uh huh. Interesting. Walking wake and Kanto nine tails to help set the sun is that good? Ooh, I had not considered walking wake, but yeah, walking wake with the protosynthesis might be pretty sick actually. Boost the Pokemon's most proficient stat in harsh sunlight. And then it also has that Hydro Steam, which would be pretty sick. I guess we wouldn't really need Flamethrower though, since we already have Ninetales. Hmm, what do you guys think? Walking Wake or Ogre Pond? I definitely don't want to replace Chang though. I feel like Eviolite Growlithe is too cute not to use. And also, if you guys don't know the strategy with this guy, is... The rock head ability protects from recoil damage, so we give it the super duper OP head smash. 150 base power. Normally, the drawback of it is that you hurt yourself in recoil, but because we have the rock head ability, we're not going to take recoil damage, so it's going to be really, really strong. Uh, so that was going to be my core, basically. Just nine tails and then 
Growlithe. I also wanted to test if, uh, where's he at? Baxcalibur. If you get, if you hit him with a Will-O-Wisp. So Baxcalibur's ability, Thermal Exchange. If you get hit with a fire move, it boosts attack, right? Does that apply with Will-O-Wisp too? Because he can't get burned. Okay, I think I might need to do a poll because right now chat is going crazy with voting Ogre Potter walking away. So we're, let me let me do another poll real quick. For which one we, we use. Which legendary? Technically, Walking Wake isn't a legendary. It's a paradox, but it's it's on the same level as a uh, legendary in terms of stats, I feel. All right, there you go. We got a new poll in the chat, guys. No legendary. All right, well, I, I mean, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Does thermal exchange work with willow wisp? I don't actually know. No one's there's no, uh, does, does Thermal Exchange work against Will-O-Wisp? Let me see. I'm not seeing anything about it. Like, I'm trying to find a forum post or something. Oh, Will-O-Wisp procs Thermal Exchange despite doing nothing to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. You know what, Baxcalibur could actually be the perfect bridge for this team then. Because it benefits from both the drought. Well, I guess it doesn't technically benefit from doubt, but oh, hello. Sensaron Samuels for the 49.99 super chat. Well, Mandarina, if he would have known that Larry was going to use a flying type Pokemon in his elite for a tire. I was expecting a talon flame and a bombardier along with his Staraptor, Oricorio, and Flamigo. Thank you so much, Aaron. Oh my gosh. Fifth super on the stream. Yo, can we get some W's in the chat for my boy Aaron Samuels? He came through in the last stream too with another 50. You are freaking crazy, man. Thank you so much. Just for you, I give you a stare down. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Wait, is that another one that just happened? No, I just heard the sound effect for some reason, but I think... Ah, there's the W's. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Aaron Samuels, again. Um, if you would have known, or if I would have known, that Larry was going to use a flying type... I was expecting Talonflame and Bombardier, along with Staraptor or Corio Flamigo. Yeah, Talonflame? Talonflame's pretty strong. I guess he doesn't use Bombardier because... Oh, I just realized that the, the poll is here. Who won? I can't even see who's winning. Oh, walk. Wait. Oh, my God. It's like 50 50. Walking wakes 54%. We'll give it another second, but uh, Talonflame would have been pretty sick. I guess Bombardier because it was one of the Titan Pokemon. I don't think they wanted them to repeat Titan Pokemon between. The Elite Four slash Gym Leaders and then the Titan Pokemon. They wanted them to really stand out. So if I had to guess, that's probably why he didn't have a Bombardier. But Talonflame would have been pretty cool for Larry's team. I like the rest of his squad though. Staraptor as his ace and Flamigo is pretty cool. Use both Pokemon. Dude, the, the poll is too close. I, I might have to just use both, but... Walking Wake is slightly winning right now. So Dream might just have to sit this one out. I mean, Dream got her spotlight back in Kitakami. You know, maybe it's only fair she sits this one out. But like I was saying, I feel like Baxcalibur would kind of be a good bridge between the two teams. Like, because we have the Ice Ninetales with the snow would actually boost Baxcalibur's defenses. And then with the Fire Nine Tails, we use Willow Wisp on it and kick in that thermal exchange to give it, uh, you know, the increased attack too. I mean, that sounds pretty OP to be honest. Are you EV trained? Okay, so he's EV trained. 
Nine Tails is not actually EV train. I should definitely do that. Uh, <laughs> Dream got too many allegations to be on the team. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's the real reason we're not using Ogre Pond Flame Mask. So yeah, Walking Wake definitely won that one. And I haven't actually ever used Walking Wake, so I'm I'm kind of down for it. Can do that instead of Quaquaval. And then I guess for now, since we're still not going to have Alola Ninetales. I mean, yeah, let's just test out these Pokemon right here. Maybe we don't need these two just yet. We can probably try out the mouse hole strategy until I end up getting uh, Alola Ninetales. When we do get Alola Ninetales, then I'll bring these two back. Or maybe I just like do, you know, Golden Go is also pretty OP in double battles because I believe Make It Rain hits both enemies. And we're kind of lacking some special attackers on this team right now. Plus Nasty Plot, I just remembered we have Nasty Plot. Definitely need to give it some kind of ghost type move though. Let's do Shadow Ball. Oh, and he gets recovered too, I forgot. Yeah, let's do uh, Shadow Ball. Maybe like Protect too. Should get rid of Steel Beam, yeah. I mean, maybe, po no, we don't need Power Gem. We already have uh, Arcanine with Rock moves. We could do Metal Sound. I believe that lowers both of the enemy's special defense. What do people usually run on? Golden Go, actually. I'll probably do Golden Go and then uh, RuPaul, just because. It's our starter. We gotta bring the starter into the DLC. At least so he can see Blueberry Academy. And then once we get Alola Ninetales, they're both getting replaced anyway, so it'll be fine. Or we could do, uh, nah, I don't like Armor Root. Maybe, hmm. Hmm. Originally, I was thinking about bringing Scovillain. Because it has, well, mine doesn't even have the right ability. But it can have Chlorophyll. They run Nasty Plot, Shadow Ball, Make It Rain, Recover, or Focus Blast Trick Set. Yeah, I guess Recover would probably be better. I'll do Recover. I think, I think uh, Golden Go will be a solid option for a special attack because we don't actually have any other special attackers on the team right now. So yeah, let's do that. Let's give him Recover. Gotta give him a different item too. Not Choice Specs though because if we have Recover, Nasty Plot, that wouldn't really work. Maybe we just do like Leftovers to be honest. Where's my Leftovers at? All my homies run Leftovers. Oh, there it is. What? What the heck? Why do you have it, Florgus? What? Okay. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. Heavy duty boots could be pretty good, too. To protect against any ground type moves. Oh, wait, no. Heavy duty boots is for, uh, I'm thinking of air balloon. Heavy duty boots is for stealth rocks and stuff like spikes, I guess. Hmm. What about Walking Wake? I guess we could just give him Booster Energy. Does Booster Energy get used up in game battles? Like, or... Or does the item come back at the end of the battle? Oh, I forgot this man has the Loaded Dice. Oh my god, that's gonna be insane. <laughs> loaded Dice Icicle Spears tearing through everything. Yeah, we'll run with this squad. Could do Life Orb instead. RuPaul's got Muscle Band. That's not really the greatest item. What what moves does RuPaul even have? Swords Dance, Aqua Step, Close Combat, Ice Spinner. Eh. Eh. Not really the strongest. I also don't think RuPaul is EV trained or whatever. Oh, he is. Okay, never mind. Alright, so the only ones we need to EV train right now are Ninetales and Walking Wake. So let's do that real quick. We're getting close, guys. We got under 10 minutes. Well, no. A little over 10 minutes. Sorry. <laughs> I got ahead of myself there. 
even with a full level 100 team, are you still going to have trouble? I don't know, man. I feel like people are kind of... Oh, Rocky Helmet. I could do Rocky Helmet. Thanks, that is a Yo! Super Chat. Giving a dono for fun. Also, cause I DK what to say. <laughs> Thank you so much, Die Sanity. Hey, don't matter what you say, I appreciate the message. Thank you. That was a little delayed, but thank you so much. <laughs> uh, let's see. What was I looking for? The mochi? Yeah, I have a ton of mochi that we can give. I guess we would want just speed and special. Oh my god, excuse me. Speed and special attack on Ninetales? I don't think running it like more bulky would really be beneficial or anything. I mean, to be honest, we could just do like a choice specs nine tails. Well, no, because then we wouldn't be able to Willow Wisp Baxcalibur if I want that as an option. Yo, what's up, Cross? How you doing? Yeah, I guess bulk would be better so it can set up, right? I mean, this, this Ninetales isn't going to be the one doing the damage. It, it's basically there to set up Drought and maybe throw out a Will-O-Wisp. I don't think we really need Nasty Plot on it either. We could do... Whoa, what? Why does Inferno have a T on it? My trip... What? It, what why is that there? What does that mean? What is T-Type? Wait, wait, wait. What is wrong with my game? Hold up, guys. What is this? <laughs> I've never seen this before. What? Hey, yo, the game is bugging before we even get to the DLC. Oh, it's gone. It's back to normal. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? I've never seen that before. The 19th type revealed, dude. We just revealed the 19th type right now. It's T. <laughs> TikTok type. <laughs> That was weird, man. That was definitely weird. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe Disable or Confuse Ray or Spite to Spite Kieran. No, I think uh, Safeguard? Prevent status conditions. Maybe Safeguard for our teammates instead of Nasty Plot. So we basically would have like a... Uh, our Ninetales would be more about just set, like helping out its teammates rather than actually doing damage itself. Oh yeah, Solar Beam would be a good option too. Actually, we we would have a we we don't have Ogre Pond, so having another Pokemon with a Grass move would be good. Okay, so then let's give it let's give it health. We'll give it health for sure, and then we'll give it uh hmm. I don't know if I would want defense or special defense, though. I guess we could just do HP and attack. So it still has the potential to attack. I mean, it's our, it doesn't have perfect EVs anyway, so... And maybe we just do special attack. And yeah, we're going to trade the life orb over to someone else. Let's give you some special attack, then. It's not going to have perfect EVs, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? Where's that spread at? Oh my god, look at that amazing spread. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to give it more, uh... Different moves, I guess. Oh, I don't even have Solar Beam, it's a TM. Guys, stop commenting this much. Oh, no, it got deleted. <laughs> the comments are too fast, man. Okay, how do I sort by name? Okay, where's the solar beam at? There we go. Question is, what do I get rid of? I mean, we don't have anyone else with psychic moves right now. Yo! Thank you! Been watching and supporting since I was 10. It turned 20 next year all time flies. Hope you and the Wi-Fi are doing well. 
Was wondering what you would most like to say in the inevitable Henshin Korremakes? Thank you so much, Weston. Maybe you guys understood that, maybe not, but I understood it. And Weston asks, what I would most like to see in the Gen 5 remakes. Ooh, okay. I'll tell you what I don't want to see is I don't want it to be chibi. But I guess what I would want to see, I mean... I mean, Mega Evolutions <laughs> would be pretty sick. Yeah, I guess we'll just get rid of Safeguard. I keep getting confused because the sound effect for learning a TM is the same as the one I use for the Super Chats. So I thought another one came in. But thank you again, Weston, for the 20, my friend. That is amazing. And yeah, I guess uh, another thing I would like to see is... Hmm, I mean, we already got the fusions with Kyurem, so I don't know how they could really expand upon Kyurem. I'm thinking I might give Ninetales the leftovers instead. And then give this guy, like, Rocky Helmet or something, just, just for fun. More of a post-game would be nice. Yeah, I feel like Pokemon, I mean... Thing is, they do, like, DLC has basically replaced the post-game. So, like, if Pokemon games, if Scarlet and Violet, the whole game, the base game, would have been, or had, uh, Kitakami and Blueberry Academy, it would undoubtedly be one of the best Pokemon games, minus the bugs, of course. But, like, because games nowadays have DLC, like, it feels like a lot of what could have been the post-game ends up being in DLC instead. So like I would want the base black and white remakes to have a decent post game. Already built in. No DLC because they don't usually do DLC for like um, the remakes anyway. Five minutes dude. Oh my god. Okay I got to do this quick. Hold up. So all, all we have left to do is just give Mochi to Walking Wake right. So Walking Wake uses special attack. I'm assuming, yeah, it had like Hydro Steam and Flamethrower, so it's got to be special. Bro, I can't, I don't know where my items went. Okay, the Mochi, there we go, there we go, okay. So we're going to give it a uh, Genius Mochi. There you go. And we're going to give it, of course, some Speed Mochi. There you go, and we'll just do, oh no, not the, oh, I almost gave it a fresh start on accident. We'll just do the rest in uh, health. There we go. Alright, so this is going to be the squad for the DLC. We got Fabi, the Cantonian Ninetales fire type. Bit more of a supportive Pokemon here with the Will-O-Wisp and Drought to basically set up the sun for the rest of the team. Mainly for Growlithe, who of course has that Flare Blitz. It'll probably one-shot anything it runs into, I'll be honest, with the max attack and speed. Uh, we also have Head Smash for anything that resists fire type. And Wild Charge. Really, really insane coverage. So if you don't know, Hisuian Arcanine is one of the most OP, most overused Pokemon right now. In uh, competitive, like, online tournaments. So I decided to keep it as a Growlithe, just to handicap ourselves a little bit in this DLC. I should probably level it up a little bit more, though. Because, yeah, I think I want all my Pokemon to be around level 70-ish. And then we have Baxcalibur, a.k.a. Quixote. With the loaded dice, icicle spear set, um, also thermal exchange because nine tails can apparently use will o wisp on it, and since it doesn't get burned, it'll just boost its attack and make it even more OP or powerful, I guess. Um, then we have Quaquaval. I mean, he's kind of just here as a filler. I'll be honest. Until we get Alola nine tails, uh, so we can summon the snow. And then we have Golden Go, which might also be a filler. Not really sure. What he's going to end up doing. Or if he's going to stay on the full team. He's also level 86. So pretty high up there compared to the rest of the team. And finally, Walking Wake. Who I don't know if I should keep the Life Orb on. Or give it Booster Energy. Because unless it comes out while the sun is still out. Yeah, I don't know. But someone did mention I should give the Heat Rock over to Alola Ninetales. You're right. Let me see if I can find the Heat Rock. Time really flew by. Yeah, this hour, man, went by so quick. <laughs> okay, there it is. So the heat rock uh, makes the sun last longer. So yeah, we definitely want to give that to our Ninetales. 
then I guess we could give leftovers to Golden Go instead, but I kind of like the Rocky Helmet just to troll. Wait, Heat Orb? There was a Heat Orb? Oh yeah, we should also PP up some of our other moves, right? Also, I don't- I didn't even check Walking Wake's attacks. Like, I guess we don't really need Flamethrower since we already have- Oh wait. What do we have here? Oh, nothing that good, actually. Yeah, Heat- Heat Rock. That's what I gave it, right? Yeah, 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 we have we have the right one, okay. Oh my gosh. Not gonna lie, guys, I'm starting to get a little nervous about this. We got two minutes, <laughs> and then the struggle truly begins, because if you guys don't remember, with the last DLC, it was quite difficult to actually get it to load. And by that, I mean, like, when the clock struck 8 p.m. Eastern Time, which is supposed to be when it comes out, my game wouldn't actually update. But you guys helped me through it with some troubleshooting and eventually we did get it to work. So we're going to try all the tactics that we did last time. So for this last minute, let's get this music going. Let's get hype for the Indigo Disc. Yes, I'm so excited, dude. Also did a nickname my uh, walking wake, but I don't know. I feel like Paradox Pokemon, they already have such weird names that I wouldn't want to nickname it anyway. Oh my gosh, dude, it's happening. <laughs> the final countdown. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. I don't know if we made it to a thousand, probably not. But let's try to hit a thousand right now. Everybody watching this, hit that like button down below. For part two of the DLC. Man, what am I most excited for? Probably the new Terrapagos form. I want to know what the 19th type is, dude. That is, for me at least, the thing I want to know the most about. I also just want to see the story unfold. Like, is Kieran actually possessed? Oh, blueberry time! Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's see if it actually came out though. Okay, we're on the home page. Let's check for the software update. No! There's no update! It's blueberry time! <laughs> okay, what I did last time was I fully reset my switch. Let's do that. You have a suggestion? No? Okay. You know what? Let me... Yeah, let's just restart. Let's see if that does anything. Wait, you got it already? No way. I don't believe it. I don't believe you. I won't believe until I see. I should probably also check Twitter actually, cause yeah, usually people will be tweeting like when they actually get it. Okay. Is Pokemon Home having maintenance right now? Oh yeah, I didn't check that either, but I'm pretty sure the Pokemon Home maintenance did just start. Let me see, what is UTC time? It, it was supposed to start at zero UTC. Oh, it's one UTC already. What? So was Pokemon Home Maintenance had already started? I'm so confused. Okay, Serebii update. Apparently a new update did come out for Scarlet and Violet, but it's not the DLC. The Pokemon Scarlet and Violet version 3.0 is for bug fixes. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, no, there's still no update. But it's coming any second now. <laughs> Maybe. I hope. It's not out for another hour. Nah, 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 nah. I don't believe it. I don't buy it. Look, I'll keep this open just so people know. We're waiting. Oh, look, the Suica game updated, though. Should we play some Suica? 
Oh. Oh, it's live? Hold on, hold on. Let's see, let's see. Nope. <laughs> Can't wait for even a second, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I have no patience. I need it. Oh, wait. What is this? What is this? No, that's not it. All right, let me let me restart my switch again. People are saying they got it, but I mean, people are always trolling too. So, I don't know. Let's restart again, though. It's out, boys! It's out! It's official! Yeah, I see a lot of people in chat now saying that they're downloading it, so... Huh? Scarlet. Alright, alright. I restarted the switch again. Let's see. No. Okay. Last time it took a while for mine to actually get the update, though. Oh, wait. It's taking a minute. I think this is it. I think this is it! <laughs> this happened last time too. Oh my god. This literally, this is exact same thing happened last time. And then I actually ended up getting it by opening the game, not, not through the software update thing. Come on, man. Come on. Nope. Well, we'll just we'll just give it a second. Huh? Or <laughs> keep restarting. No, I don't I don't know if I want to keep restarting it. I just feel like we need to give it a second or a minute. The other crazy thing is, if you guys didn't notice, I didn't mention, but maybe you can't tell. Because I'm in Japan, it is currently 10 a.m. Oh my god, I thought it was 11. It's, it's only 10 a.m., so I'm gonna be here all day when we do actually get this update. Still haven't gotten it, though. Just, just orange things. Just happens. Yeah, nope. Alright, let's turn off the switch completely this time. Let's see if that works. Did he not do that? Oh, I re restarted. Oh my god. What's the difference? Alright. The switch is off. Completely. And a one. A two, a three. <laughs> Come on, Nintendo. Oh, turn on. Okay, let's see. There we go. Oh, okay. See if we got it. Nope. We ain't got it. Everybody's got it but me. Yep, everybody's got the update from me. You love to see it. The update for you will be December 20... What? December 20th? Wait, no. December 14th. I mean, it is December 14th here. It's 10 a.m. of December 14th, bro. It's been December 14th. 
Okay, I'm not the only one that doesn't have it yet. People, some people in the chat also have not gotten it yet. At least I'm not alone. At least I'm not alone. Thanks, Lely, for the super chat. Thank you, Lely. Appreciate that. Mine's taking an hour. Jeez. I can't hear you. What? Nice. Oh, we got it. Yo, it's happening. Oh my God. Okay. It's updating boys. We're in. We're in. Blueberry time in 19 minutes. Okay. Okay. At least it's, uh, it's actually downloading now. Oh my God. Oh, oh no. It went up 20 minutes now. Okay. What are we going to do for 20 minutes? I mean, I have an idea for something we can do. As I've actually prepared a little bit of a trailer for you guys. So I hope you're ready for part two of the DLC, the Indigo Disc. I totally forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, enjoy this recap. Last time on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, after becoming the new champion of Paldea and saving the region from the rampaging Paradox Pokemon, life seemed to calm down for our heroes. That is, until a surprise call from Professor Junk. Sorry to bother you while you're probably out searching for some nice treasure. You see, we have a school trip every year around this time. Come to the school's entrance hall when you're ready to hear all the details. So we immediately head back to the academy, excited for the next adventure and meet Briar, a teacher from Blueberry Academy in Unova and the granddaughter of Heath, the researcher who led the first expedition down into Area Zero and documented his findings in the Scarlet and Violet books, including a description of the mysterious Disc Pokemon that supposedly lives down in the depths of Paldea's Great Crater. But the teal mask ain't got crap to do with that. Instead, we find ourselves in Kitakami, a Japanese-inspired region with a rich history based on the real-life folktale of Momotaro. It's here that we meet brother and sister Carmine and Kieran, two students from Blueberry Academy who are also here as part of the field trip, but they were actually born in Kitakami, and Kieran in particular seems to have a bit of an obsession with the ogre from his region's stories. Together with our edgy new friend, we go on a tour around the region and learn more about this ogre and the three loyal Pokemon who long ago helped defeat it and save the village. We also fight Kieran a couple times along the way and pretty handily kick his butt, making the kid feel more and more like a loser each time. Later that night, we take part in the Festival of Masks, an old tradition where villagers don masks of the Loyal Three and of course the Ogre. And speak of the devil, we just so happen to run into the little trickster who's actually a Pokemon named Ogre Pawn. But of course, Kieran isn't there to see it. Instead, his sister Carmine's with us and for some reason wants to keep it a secret from him? I don't know, man. If my little brother was obsessed with Bigfoot and I happened to see it, I would totally brag about it, but whatever. The next day we learn that the sibling's grandpa is actually a descendant of the mask maker who created Ogre Pond's masks and so he knows the real story about the Loyal Three and how they were actually the bad guys who stole Ogre Pond's masks but the villagers just saw the ogre beating them up so they didn't know it was actually trying to reclaim its stolen property so they labeled Ogre Pond as evil. Meanwhile, Kieran was secretly eavesdropping on this whole story including the fact that we actually met Ogre Pond the previous night. And when confronted, the game gives players the tough decision of either lying to his face or just lying. Yeah, there's literally no other option. Like, why even give us the choice? Heartbroken, Kieran runs away, leaving us to complete the tour of Kitakami with his sister, that lying snake. So we venture to the top of Oni Mountain to a place called the Crystal Pool, and it's here we finally reconnect with Briar. She reveals that the crystals found here emit energy similar to the terrestrial phenomenon, and these crystals are used to adorn Ogre Pond's masks, which I just realized is probably why it can achieve those special terrestrial forms. And that's literally all she does in this DLC. So I can't wait to see how her research is going in part two. Anyway, Kieran, still rightfully bitter about being betrayed, decides to steal the teal mask and take it to Ogre Pond himself, 
but we catch up to him at the Loyal 3's monument, where he battles us to decide who gets to keep the mask and bring it back to Ogre Pond, and of course, Sad Boy gets even more sad when he loses again, and punches the shrine in frustration, which seems to produce an ominous glow from his fist. Many fans theorize this mysterious glow is what triggered the Loyal 3 to be resurrected, but whether this power was fueled by Kieran's rage or perhaps another unseen force, we'll have to wait and find out in the Indigo Disc. Either way, the Pillarmons have awakened and it's up to us to track him down and put him back in the dirt where they belong, and it seems old habits die hard as we find the Loyal 3 still bullying poor little Ogre Pond, but enough is enough so we defeat or catch them and retrieve Ogre Pond's other masks. I think this is when Kieran finally meets Ogre Pond, but you know that old saying, never meet your heroes? Yeah, that definitely applies here because after seeing this kid get his ass kicked over and over, Ogre Pond wants nothing to do with him and decides to join our team instead, leading Kieran down a dark path to become stronger, no matter the cost. And this is where the teal mask ends. But of course, this is just half of the full story known as the hidden treasure of Area Zero. So what exactly could this treasure be? And will Briar somehow try to use it for evil? Could Kieran actually be possessed by a mysterious creature that somehow resurrected the long dead legendaries of Kitakami? And most important of all, what is up with his new haircut? Find out today in part two of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's DLC, The Indigo Disc. And don't forget to hit that like button if you're excited. All right, we back. What'd you guys think of the recap? To be honest, I kind of forgot a lot of what happened in the teal mask. So I did that a little bit for myself too, to remind myself exactly what went down and why Kieran is so angry nowadays. And I mean, like I said, rightfully so, man. We straight up lied to his face. The game didn't even let us not lie about Ogre Pond. His sister coerced us into it somehow. So I can totally understand why the dude is acting out the way he is, especially considering he's only like a teenager or even maybe, I don't know how old Kieran is, but he's a kid basically. Uh, so, you know, his emotions can be a little out of control, but also... There's definitely something more sinister going on. There's one point where his sister says that he's not acting like himself. So I, I do feel like there's something going on there. Just to keep you guys updated though, we got eight minutes until we can play the DLC. So with that recap now, what are you guys thinking? Is Briar actually evil? Or is that a red herring? Because low-key, I do feel like it's, it's, it's a red herring, meaning like it's going to lead to nothing. We also got a super chat from Mr. Yakums. Here we go, Munch. The Indigo Disc is upon us. Thank you so much, Yakums, for the 20. Appreciate it. I am super duper excited, man. Oh, my goodness. I wish this would go faster, but we're just waiting for it. However, I am seeing some people in the chat apparently still don't have it either. Uh, if you guys are struggling to download the update, I would recommend fully turning off your Switch. Not just restart, but literally fully turn it off and then wait a couple minutes and then turn it back on and see if then you get the update. That's what worked for me the last two DLCs now. So, well, I mean, it kind of worked this time. But it didn't immediately update. It took a couple minutes still even after I reset. But yeah, I guess the two main things from the story at least are Kieran and Briar. And then in terms of the Pokemon, I'm just really excited to see if Dokutaro is real. Like, I, I don't know. What if that's actually the red herring? What if this whole time Game Freak were trolling us with these little hints, knowing that people would pick up on them? But it's going to be something completely different. I mean, I'm pretty sure. No, I, I shouldn't talk about any leaks or data mines, actually, in case some people don't want to be more spoiled. But it's, it's got to exist, right? It, it can't be nothing like the way his fist glows and the way his sister talks about Kieran being or not acting like himself. Plus the fact that we literally can see it in one of the cutscenes, like. 
the with the loyal three there's like the little png it's got to be real bro i just really wonder what it's going to look like in game and also how they're going to tie it into the story cuz at least when we first get to blueberry academy it feels like a lot more happy like we're just there to to study and fight the elite four how are they going to tie in kieran's dark story into that i wonder We got spoilers already. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not seeing any spoilers right now. When will you be playing Lego Fortnite? Hey, yo, Lego Fort. Actually, you know what, guys? Stream is canceled. We're not playing the DLC. We're playing Lego Fortnite, baby. <laughs> Actually have not been able to download Lego Fortnite, even though I low-key do want to check it out because I grew up on Lego. And it actually looks pretty fun because it's not your usual Fortnite battle royale. It's like more of a cooperative adventure kind of game, I guess. But my laptop doesn't have enough space for it, especially because I'm going to be recording this DLC. I need all the room I can get on my PC, so I can't download it, bro. But I do want to check it out, maybe like after the DLC, if it's still available. Just finally got the update noise. Home has the update too. I mean, I don't really need to update home though, because it's not going to be available even after the update, I don't think home is going to immediately be available. And also, I didn't actually pay for Pokemon Home. <laughs> so I ran out of my trial. <clears throat> but it's okay. I mean, all the Pokemon that I want, at least Alola Ninetales is the main one that I want and need for my team. It's actually going to be available in Blueberry Academy. So we should be fine with just the Scarlet update. So again, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Just to run through the game plan, I'm going to be playing through as much as I can of the story. It's literally only 10 a.m. here in Japan, so I'm full of energy. I am not tired at all. I mean, it's literally like the day has just begun. So what we're going to do is I'm still going to record it as if I'm like, I guess stream it as if I'm recording it for YouTube. So we're going to have small, maybe five, 10 minute breaks in between the episodes just for me to like reset and transfer the files uh, but we're not going to be doing any editing on stream this time around i'm just gonna record stop the recording transfer the files um, over to my wife who's going to be editing it and yeah then we'll just hop back into the gameplay we got one minute left it's happening i really wonder if i'm going to be able to get through all of it though at least the main story tonight because the indigo disc or I mean the teal mask it took me like six hours maybe I mean I feel like we can do it oh did it happen oh my god wait what oh, oh okay it actually has to update or download or whatever all right what it's still more four minutes you kidding me all right well I guess while we're here, uh, I saw we did get another super chat. I don't know if it popped up, but Felipe. Thanks, Doug McMahon, for the 1.99 super chat. What? In the game and connect to the internet. Wait, that's not the super chat I saw pop up. We had one from Felipe for $10. Oh, there it is. Thanks, Felipe, for the 2.02 super chat. On guy that into the life right on time. Gonna download mine as well right now. <laughs> I love the voice, dude. Esteban, you're doing a great job, bro. So thank you, Felipe. And thank you, Doug, as well. Go in the game and connect to the internet. Yeah, so if you guys haven't gotten the update yet, make sure to turn off, completely turn off, and then turn on your Switch. And uh, sometimes you just have to launch the game. Because you can do the thing where you press the plus button and go to the software manage software and, and via the internet but sometimes the update will just happen when you open the game normally so you can try both ways yeah it is it is quite a hefty update huh i'm glad that my switch actually had the space in it because i'm pretty sure <laughs> my switch is running out of sd card space but thankfully we had enough so with these last two minutes uh let me see i was gonna show something off or I guess finalize something that I was working on for the playthrough. If I can find it. Is it this one? Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, my computer, my computer's struggling a little bit right now. <laughs> Is this it? Oh my god. Bruh, <laughs> I've never seen Photoshop loading this slowly. Thanks a man Saturkist for the 4.99 super chat. Love your videos and let's go downloading right now. Hey, this isn't it. What the heck? This is the old thumbnail. Oh my gosh. Thanks Dagmar man for the 1.99 super chat. Go in the game and connect to the internet. What the heck? We already had that super chat before. Uh, but thank you. Oh, what? Thanks, Felipe, for the 2.02 super chat. On guy that into the life right on time. Gonna download mine as well right now. Okay, I don't know why it, it played the same super chats again, but we did get one new one. Thanks, Leaf. This one? Vente Cruz for the 2 super chat. Esteban Julio Ricardo Montoya de la Rosa Ramirez. <laughs> yeah, that's the new one. Thank you, Leaf Green. Rodriguez, it's Rodriguez, dude. Come on, you almost had it. Esteban Julio Ricardo Montoya de la Rosa Rodriguez. There's also another one from Felipe, I think. You got the update, noise. Oh, we got it too. Yo, it's over. Yes. Let's do this. Damn, there's already all the spoilers on Twitter. Bro, how do the data mines come through so quick? Okay, I'm not going anywhere near Twitter. We're going to experience this all right now for the first time. New evolutions, new paradox Pokemon. Terrapagos final form. The 19th type. And much more await us in the Indigo Disc. Thanks, Felipe, for the 0.4 Super Chat. Or in please say full name, e for gore I think I might also have to turn off the super chats, at least showing up on screen. I'll still see them in the chat, of course, but just so they don't interrupt too much. Oh, we got the call. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to turn on slow mode too for the chat because it's getting a little crazy in here. Uh, Where is it? Slow mode. Wait, where do I do slow mode? Oh, here we go. Okay. I'm going to do like a... We'll do a thirty. Uh, we'll do. We'll do a thirty-second slow mode. Dude, this is crazy. I cannot believe we're actually here. Wait, what? For some reason, YouTube said my my stream may be limited as not suitable for advertisers. That's very strange. I don't know why I would do that. But anyway. Slow mode is on. No spoilers are on. And we got another super chat from Twilight. I'm excited for the update. So many returning mods, returning gym leaders, and so many new Pokemon to discover. I'll be playing spoiler free, but I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much, Twilight. I'm so ready for it, bro. I don't know what's up with YouTube, man. YouTube tripping. Maybe it's a glitch. Uh, it's just, it's glitched out like that before. So, okay. I think everything is set up and good to go. I'm going to start recording. Here we go. What is up, everyone, and welcome to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's DLC Part 2, the Indigo Disc. Just like with our adventure in Kitakami, it seems we've got a call from... Clavel this time. Hello. Do I have the pleasure of speaking with Master Orange? Why, yep, that's me. My, my. It certainly does this old guard good to be greeted with such a lively response. Now, if I could take but a moment of your time, there's something we must discuss. Master Orange, you're about to be presented with an exceptional opportunity. You already know of the Unova region's Blueberry Academy. Of course. Indeed, tales of your school trip to Kitakami with the Blueberry cohort reach even my office. In any case, the director of Blueberry happens to be an old friend of mine. Yo, I feel like it's his brother. He told me that he would be delighted to host you as an exchange student at his school. I believe it would be a fine chance for you to learn even more about the world. One should always take advantage of new challenges, don't you think? 
Though I must confess, I was a bit surprised that Blueberry's director would specify you by name. Still, I think it best that you meet the man at last, or at least once to find out what he might be thinking. He's admittedly a bit of a character, but not to worry. I'll be there with you when you meet him. Once you feel ready, I ask that you come by my office. All right. So just like the first DLC, we got to go back to school. <laughs> I just can't get over my outfit though, dude. Like what, what is going on here? What is this hat? It's so silly. Yeah, we got to go back to Naranja Academy. Which means we got to take a plane. I find it so funny how like every time you go in between the two regions, it's like you're literally hopping on a plane. You can see it in the corner right there. I just imagine our character just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Flights every hour. But yeah, we already knew that the Blueberry Academy was in Unova from the first DLC. Briar, uh, the teacher from Blueberry, told us. That jet lag, though. <laughs> For real. Are you Spanish? I'm from Puerto Rico, but I guess technically that does make me somewhat Spanish. Oh, what the heck? He's just right here. Hello? I know I've seen your face somewhere before. Who are you again? And the name's Orange. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes, I know you. Well then, now that you're here, let's get going. Wait just a moment, Director Serrano. Is it just me or do they look like they could be cousins or something? I don't know. Maybe it's just because they're both directors. Belly? Wait, wh why is he calling him Belly? You're lively as always. Didn't realize you were here. Of course, as director of this academy, where else would I be? And to address me more properly, would you? More importantly, what are you doing out here? I thought we had agreed to meet in my office. Did we? Must have slipped my mind. Anyway, what's it matter? This is the student, right? Well, yes, he is, but... Uh, I do apologize, Master Orange. You must be terribly confused. This is Director Serrano of Blueberry Academy. Damn, he's taller than Clavel, too. As I mentioned on the phone, he's interested in accepting you as an exchange student. Yep, that's me, Director Serrano. Uh, did I not mention that? One look at our young friend here makes me suspect you would be failed to clarify. Speaking of which, why did you request Master Orin specifically? To take part in your exchange program? I'm guessing Briar told him about us? It's very simple, you see. Oh my god, he's bald? Why did I put it that way? <laughs> he forgot? Are you kidding me? I like the fade though, you see that? He's got the stripes? That's right, the school trip to Kitakami. Orange met some of my students there, didn't he? Yes, yes, one of them was named Carmine, I believe. She's the one who recommended you. Now that I've gotten to meet you for myself, I got a good feeling about you. Ha, <laughs> ha, oh, glad to hear that. I'd just love for you to visit my school. You'd be a breath of fresh air, so to speak. Well, if anything can be said about Director Serrano, it's that he has a keen eye for talent. I'd be thrilled if you went to Blueberry and got to know the students there. But only if you're willing to, of course. Think of it as a chance to further expand upon your treasure hunt. I wish I could accompany Master Orange, but I'm afraid I must ask you to watch over him in my stead. You will watch over him, won't you? Didn't like Clavel. He had a special thing with our mom at the beginning of the game, I remember. I feel like Loki. Eh, I can see why he wants us uh, or wants Serrano to take special care of us. <laughs> the Psyduck in the back. Just give me a holler whenever you're ready to head on to Blueberry Academy. I'm ready right now, bro. Do you not see me? I got my hat and everything. Let's do this. Y'all ready to kick off your studies abroad? Yes! Just noticed Serrano's sash is an homage to Aegis Slash. Oh yeah, I pointed that out in one of my trailer breakdowns way long ago. If we do battle Serrano at some point, I'm expecting he'll have an Aegis Slash. I mean, I was hoping it would be a little bit more than that, like a new Paradox Aegis Slash or something, but... 
Here we go! The hidden treasure of Area Zero. Part 2! The Indigo Disc. Oh my gosh, we're here! Dude, the music! Oh, I'm already getting such Unova vibes. Welcome to my Grand Blueberry Academy! This place is crazy, dude. This is actually just the entrance. The school itself is mostly underwater. Isn't that amazing? I mean, sounds like a safety hazard to me, but... Oh, and did you notice? Look at how blue the place is! I can't tell you how long I spent picking the perfect blueberry color. Let's see, what else? Uh, perhaps you have something you'd like to ask me? Oh, really? Okay, why did you pick a blueberry? Seriously. Really? That's what you're curious about? Well, it's very simple, you see. It's because in the language of flowers, the blueberry is said to represent a fruitful life. Yeah, that's Cap. He probably just copied Clavel. The fact that he did Orange and Grape Academy, he's just like, what's another fruit? Yes, right, exactly. Always on point, aren't you, Lacey? Oh, no, it was nothing. Do we have a guest today? We do. Orange here is part of the exchange program. Make him feel welcome, eh? Hold on, this is the exchange student? From Paldea? I suppose I didn't introduce myself, did I? I'm Lacey, one of the second year students here. You must really be some special, you know. It's rare for Director Serrano to remember the name of a new student. Ha! <laughs> Just call me out, why don't you? <laughs> Actually, I got an idea. Why don't you explain how things work around here, Lacey? G you want me to do it? Well, yeah. You know this tour guide stuff ain't my strong suit. Well, that's certainly true, but still, I imagine there must be someone more suitable. Nah, you got this. Director Serrano just has this bad habit of pushing his duties onto me. And it's just not right. Really letting me have it today, aren't you? This man doesn't get paid enough for this, basically. Or maybe he's getting paid too much, where that's like above his pay grade. Excellent. Now then, let's head straight down this bridge into the entrance. Yeah, I want to go see the terrarium already. Head to the entrance? Can we not ask him the other questions though? I kind of wanted to know some of the other answers, but... Alright, whatever. Oh, interesting that we can actually turn the camera. I thought that this hallway would be like a static cam kind of thing. But I remember seeing some videos, people speculated that this connects to like that underwater bridge in Unova. And you know me, guys. Even though the game just said to go to the entrance, I'm gonna go straight the opposite way, because I want to know... That of course we can't we can't do anything with this. We can't even really see if it would lead anywhere either. I mean I guess you can see there's something underwater. It's probably just a terrarium though. But look at that, we got Torchic already, dude. That's so cute. It's pretty wild the first time you come to school by riding a subway. Oh! Well there you go. So it's an underwater subway. That reminds me of when I went to Hokkaido recently in Japan. It's kind of the same thing, you take an underwater subway to get to it. It's low-key kind of terrifying. I mean, this whole academy, to me, seems terrifying. Because, like, you know, it's all underwater. What if there's a leak? We're going to have a Titanic situation on our hands real easily. Or even worse, because, like, the water pressure. Uh, I don't like that. But here we are, at the actual entrance now. Like I mentioned, I just, I love this music. This is the entrance to Blueberry Academy. Our school puts a great deal of emphasis on the art of Pokemon battling. We hold official matches on the central court right here at the entrance, and any student can freely utilize this court if it's not otherwise in use. I think it's safe to say that you'll be battling more here than in any other school. Exactly, couldn't have said it better myself. Director Serrano, I think perhaps it's fine if you leave the tour to me. Damn, now she doesn't want him to step over her, her like tour guide spiel. Still, 
It's really relaxing here, with the sea breeze blowing over, even when no one is battling, you often see students lazing about in the stands. Oh, and there's a, one other quality of your school that you'll find very surprising. Wild Pokemon sometimes terrestrialize, what? I mean... <laughs> she's acting like it's not a thing in Paldea. The terrestrial phenomenon was first discovered in Paldea after all. But we've taken things a step further than you and your Terra Orbs, what? We've developed some neat tech ourselves, something that lets us control the terrestrial phenomenon on our own turn. Does that mean the 19th type only works here? No, I mean that's probably just a Terrapagos exclusive thing. Sir, I think it'll be easier to understand how it all works if we go to the lower level. If you could put a little pin in that thought. Always thinking a uh, ahead. You know what? I think it'd be great if the two of you had a battle. W right now? Why not? I'd like to see what Orange here is capable of. Same, dude. I got a team ready specifically for this DLC that I cannot wait for you guys to see. So let's get to it. Our first battle against Lacey. Give me a good show now, you two. I'm sorry, but there's no negotiating with Director Serrano once he gets an idea in his head. There's no way that he'll move on with the tour until we give him this battle. Besides, I have to admit I'm a little excited myself at the chance to battle you. Here at Blueberry Academy, we tend to go for double battles. Let's give one a try to get to know each other a little better. I was about to mention, in this DLC, apparently every single battle is going to be a double battle. Two versus two. So I got a team of Pokemon specifically that work well in two versus two, which you will see right now as Lacey sends out Plusle and Minin. And we got Fabi the Early Riser. Oh my gosh. I suppose I'm representing Blueberry Academy in this battle, so I'll try not to disappoint. Girl, you already disappointing. Like, why do you have a Plusle and Minin? I mean, they're cute, but they're not exactly the strongest Pokemon, I'll say. So let's hit him with a little flamethrower, and uh, in case you can't tell, this Hisuian Growlithe that I've got here has a little move called Head Smash that does quite a lot of damage. Normally, it has a lot of recoil damage, but because Growlithe gets Rock Head, that means it doesn't take that recoil damage. So I'm pretty sure it's going to one-shot anything that we run into. I mean, it'll definitely one-shot this... Uh, Plusle Binin. Oh, wait a minute. Not if we get one shot first, bro. We slow. Am I actually lower level than these Pokemon I just realized? Oh my god. And we get paralyzed. Okay, well that's not great. Head smash! Wow! You know what? I may have underestimated how much... How, how strong this head smash would actually be. And we both got paralyzed. This is rough, actually. Okay, we survive. But he's gonna discharge too. Oh no, Chang is so dead, dude. Chang is so dead. <laughs> we might actually have to evolve our Arcanine after all. <laughs> I wanted to be cute and keep it as a Growlithe. One, because Hisui and Arcanine right now is like the most OP Pokemon in all of competitive. But two... Uh, because it's got Eviolite, so I mean, it's a little bulky, but no, I, I think I think we're going to have to evolve it to Arcanine at this point. What also sucks is Ninetales got fully paralyzed that turn, so we don't even get to attack. Totally underestimated the Plusle and Maiden. Oh my god, come on, one more. Yes! No, wait, what? That was quite the harsh blow! Now, sh how, how should I turn this around? Oh no! One more Icicle Spear! Let's go! I have the loaded dice on my Baxcalibur, so... More likely that we'll hit all five times. And we do! Oh my god, thankfully Fabi survives that. And we- what? Is Discharge like 100% Paralysis? Like, there's no way she's getting that lucky, man. Whatever. At least... We managed to finish it off, but that was not a great look for our Hisuian Growlithe first battle. Looks like my plus minus strategy ain't working. Guess it's time to go all out. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. She has more Pokemon? Oh, I'm so done for, bro. 
She's got the Mold Breaker, too. Oh, she's only got one more, though. Okay, well, in that case... I mean, I'm pretty sure... Ex Excadrill is going to be faster, especially because we, uh, we're we paralyzed, so... Oh, oh, wait, oh, it went for Baxcalibur, though. Gosh dang. And we flinched? No way, man. You're kidding me. I should have just Will-O-Wisp Excadrill. I just realized I'm already paralyzed, so I couldn't have even Will-O-Wisp myself. All right, whatever. We're doing this. No, wait, actually. Let me just full restore Fabi. And, uh, he went for Iron Head, right? So let's bring out Walking Wake. Definitely Clay's daughter. <laughs> so there was a theory before because of her little, like, headpiece thing. It looks like Clay's hat from Unova, the ground type gym leader. And now the fact that she's got an Excadrill. Yeah, you guys are definitely right. It's seeming more and more likely that she is related to Clay in some way. Alright, so we tank up the Iron Head. And Walking Wake is, of course, a past paradox, so... It gets boosted in the drought. Except... Okay, the drought is still going. Alright. Maybe this one shots? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Would you look at that? You go right after those type weaknesses, don't ya? I mean... Is there any other way to play Pokemon? Wait, Serrano said her dad was a Unova gym leader? Oh my god. I'm already skipping dialogue here. I'm already messing up. Maybe they'll mention it again. We'll see. Well, you beat me soundly. How is it the one line of dialogue I skip and it's it's actually important? It makes me sad. Spectacular! You really are quite skilled. I wish I could have seen you terrestrialize one of your Pokemon, though. Oh. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot that was a thing. I'd love to see how someone from Paldea does it. Maybe next battle. I'm sure there will be plenty more against her. Well done to the both of you. You really battled it out blueberry style. Speaking of style, I forgot I had a uniform for you. You'll feel like you fit right in as soon as you're dressing the part. Nice, we get it right from the start. I like that. And they change us into it. Oh, and we got the... Oh, hold up. I just realized I'm not even cosplaying myself properly. There we go. Suits you beautifully. Now that's what I call fashion. Oh, and you can take this as well. The Indigo Style Card. Nice, so we get more outfits unlocked at the shops in Paldea. That should give you a few more options when you visit shops and salons. Now that you look the part, and hopefully feel it too, why don't we head into the school? You can pick whatever you want to go from the gates over there. Come on, I can show you the pride of Blueberry, our world famous terrarium! Yes! Let's first see if these students in the stands really are as lazy as Lacey says. I mean... I mean, I guess. <laughs> Another girl with Torchic too? What's up with everybody picking Torchic as their starter here? Well, here we go. Got the Terrarium. That's the only option right now, but it does look like there's other classrooms. There's probably the different League club rooms that we get later on. Oh, yes. It's time. Dude, this hallway and the music. What? I mean, I know it's called the Terrarium, because, like, terrestrialization, but... Wow. <gasps> what?! She's here! You guys saw that, right? This is it! The park beneath the sea that has gained renown around the world. Our very own terrarium! We may be underwater, but the projectors built into the walls and ceiling make it feel like we're actually outside, don't they? We've been able to create a comfortable environment for Pokemon through technology! I designed it all myself, and believe me, it wasn't cheap. <laughs> I knew this man was rich. Within this dome, there are four distinct biomes. Here we have the nice and toasty savanna biome. 
Then off to your right you can see the breezy tropical coastal biome. Further out to the left you'll see the craggy crunchy rugged canyon. And last but not least way out in the distance we have the arctic and snowy polar biome. Man, she's really good with her adjectives. Each biome's temperature and humidity levels are regulated with the utmost care. That's why you can find completely different Pokemon in each area. What's with the Tetris blocks though? <laughs> Good question. I want to know too. Which biome tickles your, your fancy, huh? I mean, as a tropical boy myself, I'm going to say probably the coastal one. But then I probably should have said polar because we want to get that Alola Ninetales ASAP. The breezy atmosphere is just so calming. If you need to heal up your team while you're down here, feel free to use the self-serve healing machines. Can we get some Fs in the chat for Nurse Joy? Poor girl's been replaced by AI. Now then, Director Serrano, can you explain to us why crystals form here and how the wild Pokemon are able to terrestrialize? I, uh, uh, but don't you know already? Wait, but me, bro, I need to know. In that case, let me show you. The reason is actually right above our heads. <gasps> oh my god! The terrarium co- Wait! Is that what I think it is? It's the freaking disc Pokemon! Bro, that's literally like- Okay, he had to have copied it, right? This has to be a replica of the disc Pokemon from the Scarlet and Violet books. It's constantly emitting terrestrial energy. That's what allows Pokemon to terrestrialize in the dome. Wonderful. Well said, sir. That's exactly right. Though, I still don't know what that special material is within the Terrarium Core. Dude, Terrapagos is in there! This man has Terrapagos prisoner, basically. Haha, <laughs> you wanna know? Well, in fact, it's... It's... He can't say- Dude, this man is evil! <laughs> now, what is it? I've plum forgotten. Oh, he's playing dumb. He's that type of character where he plays dumb, but he's actually evil. Bing Bong. Practical battle class will commence shortly in the coastal biome. Students participating in this class should make their way to the coastal biome now. Damn, it ain't Briar after all. It is Serrano. Well, I guess we still don't know for sure, but uh, he's prime suspect number one right now. This is too good of a chance to pass up. Won't you join us, Orange? You can get your first taste of our school's classes. Yeah, let's do it. I definitely need the practice, like, that first battle did not go as smoothly as I was expecting. I'll go ahead and register your terrarium map to the Rotom phone. Oh nice, I forgot I had the dripped out golden Rotom case from the Glitterati. It's fun to take a stroll through the terrarium on your own, and I think I'd be more of a hassle than anything if you had me holding your hand. So yep, that settles it. Please find your way to the class site in the coastal biome on your own. Well, doesn't seem like I'm needed here. Yeah, get the heck on out. Come on. Go, go do your, your villainous things. And one more thing. Could you open up your Pokedex app? Oh yeah, we gotta get the, the blueberry upgrade. Nice. That face though, man. Oh. Catch as many Pokemon here as you please. Don't be afraid to go Sawsbuck Wild. I don't like that. <laughs> I've never liked the saying Buck Wild, so for him to say Saws Buck Wild just, just rubs me the wrong way. Well, you can at least count on me to be around when you need me, so there is no call for concern. It's probably time we both head to class. I'll be waiting for you in the coastal biome. Alright. I wonder if the first class depends on which answer you gave her. Because I picked coastal biome as my favorite, but... I don't know, I'm gonna assume that probably no matter which one you picked, it's always gonna be the Coastal. Maybe one of you in chat can let me know if, you're, if you've seen anyone else play this, even though it's li this just came out, like I don't expect anyone else to know yet, but I'm, I am curious. Anyway, it's Perrin and her little Growlithe. Hey, wait a minute, don't I know you from somewhere? <laughs> That's right, my old partner. How are you, partner? I, I mean, Orange. Perrin, what are you doing here? Do I know you? Nah, you can't pretend not to know Perrin. That's right, good old Perrin's still kicking around. You're doing well yourself, eh? 
I sure appreciated all the help you gave me back in Kitakami, tracking down the Blood Moon Beast. I never thought I'd just bump into you like this. How about I teach you a new pose to celebrate? The looking good emote noise. And that's the Growlithe I entrusted to you? So you've been adventuring together, huh? Look at that Growlithe, it's your brother! I told you'd meet each other again! That's exactly why I brought Growlithe along on my squad too. So you're here as some sort of exchange student, huh? Nice. What a coincidence, I just started working here. As a photographer, of course. Just what I'd expect. Though I'm still sort of waiting to hear if the school likes my work. They say they want snapshots of the terrarium and the students and all for upcoming marketing stuff. So how about some photos of you? I mean, I guess technically we're a Blueberry student now. She's got a hot tip though. What do you mean by that? How about this? I'll snap some candid shots of you catching tons of Pokemon. Don't worry, you won't even notice I'm nearby. If I make enough headway in my work by the time you register, say, 200 Pokemon? I'll share that hot tip. Last time we got a Blood Moon Ursaluna. What the heck kind of Pokemon could Karen, I mean Perrin, be trying to photograph this time? It's got to be something crazy. But this is it, guys. We can now explore. Wait. No, 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 right? Wait, where did it go? Oh my god, I swear, I, I thought I saw a shiny Doduo already. That would have been insane. Literally our first minute in the terrarium and already a shiny, but no, no, no. It's just a regular Dodrio. Also got a Scyther off in the, in the punishment corner, just staring at the wall. But apparently someone said, Serrano mentioned that Briar built the, the crystal up on the ceiling. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, so this thing apparently was built by Briar. We can't quite see if there's anything in there. I mean, I wouldn't expect that you would be able to. But it seems pretty obvious that there's a Terrapagos in there. However, if Briar built it, then... I mean, maybe she is the villain after all. I love the Savannah biome because it's where you can find Blitzel, and Blitzel is the greatest. You'll find different Pokemon if you cross over in the other biomes. Yeah, so I'm definitely after Alola Ninetales, but I also, I mean, I guess the first thing we should actually do is probably evolve our Arcanine. I was going to show it off to Perrin though, where's she at? Hey, wait, oh, stupid. Okay, that's the reason why I put Chang up first. There we go. Oh, look at him! Brothers reunited! <laughs> I never realized that ours is actually bigger. That's cool though. Look at him. Double Growlithe. All the way. The green ball looks like a Pokemon anime reference. Yes, yeah, so that's the other thing. In the Pokemon Horizons anime, Terrapagos plays a huge role and has a similar like effect when he's trying to protect uh, the main character, Liko. So, something's going on here. Maybe. That is Terrapagos' natural ability to encase itself in a ball like that, but maybe it only does it when it's in danger, which means that Briar is somehow getting it to trigger that ability, maybe by hurting it. Like, there's definitely something sinister going on. But yeah, before we take on any more double battles, I think we're going to need to evolve our Growlithe here. Also, someone said to try and evolve Diplin. I'm not exactly sure how we do that, if it's level up or what. But at least for Chang, I know that we just use a Firestone. <laughs> Why is that double battle text there? Hey! How about a double battle? <laughs> there we go. We got Hisui and Arcanine. Yeah, I'll take extreme speed. Considering we were slower than a Plusle and Minin. But now that means that the Eviolite won't work, so we need to find a better item for him. Uh... What kind of held item should we give him? Let's see. I'm thinking Choice Band. If I even have one in here somewhere. Could do, I mean, Hardstone wouldn't be good, uh, like, oh, there we go, Choice Band. Yeah, we'll do Choice Band, why the heck not? Just, just hit him as hard as we can. Alright, let's test this out. 
think you're good at double battles? Why don't you test that theory by battling me? All right. Darius the student. I like his hair. I wonder if they added more haircuts in this DLC too. I mean, we got the style card, which I know adds more outfits. I feel like it'd be cool if it added haircuts too. All right, we got the power of the sun, plus the power of Rockhead. And this time it's gonna be super effective. Oh, we're faster, let's go. Okay, the evolution is coming through right now. Also just got a super chat from Black Knight. Thank you so much. I'm gonna kick the one who put the update early. I'm at work, oh no. <laughs> it's not early though. Every, we knew that this would be the time the update would come out. But I understand though. I hope, oh, I forgot I have, duh. I mean, we don't really need the head smash at this point, but whatever, let's do it. The battle team too, oh, the battle theme. I like it. Blueberry's got some bangers so far in terms of the music, which is to be expected. Like, Pokemon music is always top notch. Uh, but yeah, let's real quick, let me let me check out my Diplin. I have a shiny one here. Now, the theory is that maybe there's something here in the Terrarium that makes it so Pokemon evolve specially. Which means if we just use a rare candy, maybe? I mean, I doubt it, because it's only going to be level 2. Maybe it's higher than level 2. But do I really want to keep using... I mean, yeah, you know, I do have a lot of EXP candy, so... F it, dude. Let's go for, like, 20 of these. Oh, wait, that gives it level 100? <laughs> I didn't even realize that would get it all the way to 100. Oh my god. <laughs> Wh whoops, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'll just... Sh sure, sure. It's, it's level 100 now, guys. Maybe we'll need it at the end of the playthrough. But also, now if we need... Okay, well, <laughs> that's why you use M-size candy. Dude, I didn't realize it was going to give it that much XP. That's freaking crazy. Someone's saying it needs a special apple. That would make sense. I mean, that's how it evolved in the previous DLC. So there's probably some other new type of apple somewhere out here. There's also a lot of new Pokemon. We need 200 of them to complete Baron's quest. By new Pokemon, I mean like ones that weren't in Scarlet and Violet before. Uh, they're not like literally new like, like to the Pokedex in general, but they're new to Scarlet and Violet. Like Tauros? No, we already had Tauros. Or we could at least transfer Cantonian Tauros through Pokemon Home. Flygon is definitely one I've had my eye on, though. Flygon is probably my favorite Dragon Pokemon. Well, maybe after Rayquaza. Let's see. Who do we want to try and catch you with? Oh, I should probably bring, like, Gardevoir onto the squad. So we have something with False Swipe. But then I don't know who to replace. I guess RuPaul? Ah, uh, whatever. We'll catch him later. I'll keep Gardevoir around just in case, but... Oh, look at that! We got a new TM already! Coaching! Sauce Buck. I should also open my map, because Lacey told us to go to the coastal biome, right? Ah, over here, okay. I do low-key want to go check out the polar biome though to see if we can get a Ninetales real quick. Yeah, let's do- let's just explore. I'm a little thrown off because I know for you guys it looks fine, I'm pretty sure. But for me, actually let me just play it off my OBS. Okay, this is better actually. So, my, my, because I have like my recording software plus the stream software both open, it was kind of lagging for me 
and it was throwing me off this whole time. Yo, you guys hear that music? What? Wait, that sounds so fun. It's the... It's a remix of the black and white wild Pokemon theme. What? Dude! That's such a throwback. Oh my god, that's such a banger. I love that. For a second, I thought it was Kanto, because, like, it was an Execute, but nah, that is definitely the Pokemon Black and White Wild Pokemon theme. Oh, this is the new TM uh, from one of the trailers. It's like a uh, fighting-type version of Fake Out, I believe. It's so cool, dude. The battle theme is the same, too. Oh, like, the, the trainer theme? What was that? Doduo down? Oh, it's like the... Never mind. It's the items that you use to make TMs. I'm assuming that's the one you get from beating Doduo. But yeah, did Cyrano explain what's up with these, like, weird crystal formations? Is this a side effect of the fact that it's, like, a fake? Or a, a replica? That thing above us? Maybe this isn't a real Terrapagos at all. Like, there's no actual Terrapagos in there, and Briar just based it off the real Terrapagos because the crystals here look a little bit different to the ones in the real Area Zero. Like, obviously, they look a lot more artificial. They're like square shaped. And they look like Tetris, as someone said. So, my theory. Oh, we got a Smeargle here, by the way. That's cool. We got Sketch again. Oh, wait, that's... Oh, that's actually crazy. I think, maybe? I'm not much into competitive play, but I know that Sketch Smeargle unlocks a lot of more potential uh, egg moves and stuff. But yeah, I guess my theory would be that the, the dome thing that we see here at the top of the terrarium is a recreation, like an artificial recreation of the real one. And that's why the crystals here look like this. Versus in Area Zero, they're actually more natural looking crystals because obviously it's the real Terrapagos down there. This is so cool, dude. The music changes depending on which biome you're in. I love it. Whoa, Scrafty! Yo! Oh my gosh. We got Golurk over there too. The Unovan Pokemon are back. Oh, Minior! Wait, Minior is back? Yo! I didn't know that Minior was coming back. I guess, now that I think about it, yeah, it was in one of the trailers, right? Or on the website. But Minior hasn't been in a game since Sun and Moon where it debuted. It hasn't come back since its debut, so it's pretty cool to see it again. Who asked for this? What, for Minior? <laughs> there's, there's some Minior fans out there. The real question, though, is what color is it inside? Doesn't its shell come off if it's below half health, or is that not how its ability works? We'll see in a second, right? Come on, bro. There we go. Shields down. It's the orange! Yo! We got the orange Minior! Alright, I have to catch it now. Like, I literally have no other choice. Go, Premier Ball! Nice! Our first Pokemon of the DLC is gonna be Minior. I guess I specifically have more of an attachment to this Pokemon now because I made a short about how Minior is one of the most forgotten Pokemon. Was it most forgotten or was it Pokemon that, that could have been evolutions? Maybe it was both. So I said that Minior could have been a pre-evolution for Soul Rock and Lunatone. Would have been kind of cool if it was like uh, gender exclusive or whatever. Like a split evolution basically. But yeah, let me use some candies on our Arcanine. I'm going to try not to go overboard and put it at level 100 like I did with, uh, Applin. Or Diplin, I mean. <laughs> I want to go to 70. 
at least. Well, actually, we can go a little bit above that. There we go. 72. Seems fine to me. Whoa, whoa, yo, what? We just got a random Cleavor walking around here, too? That's so sick, dude. Okay. So these are Black Algorite, then. The, the rock that you need in order to evolve it. I wonder if you can pick up chunks of it on the ground or something. The music is still the Unova theme, though. It would have been cool if, like, different Pokemon, depending on their region, had different um, themes. Like, if Cleavor had the theme from Hisui, or a remix of it or something, that would have been cool. Oh, Fabi tanks it up. Level 70. Yeah, I'm gonna throw an Ultra Ball at this guy. Blood Moon Cleavor? Yo, what if that is the thing Perrin is after? I mean, we didn't see Ursa Luna in the wild of Kitakami, though. It was more of like a folk tale, like an urban legend. Cleavor's just straight up out here in the terrarium, just walking around like normal. It evolved thanks to an extremely rare ore found in volcanic areas, huh? So I guess Hisui's just been retconned now? Pokemon were never extinct at all? They're just extremely rare? I mean, I guess that makes more sense. We have uh, the Hisuian starters are in terror raids, actually. Or were special terror raid events. I never got any of them, though. I forgot. And they're already gone or done. Um, but yeah, let's go to the polar biome. This is, dude, I'm glad I went exploring, actually. This has been sick. We found a freaking Cleavor. But now I'm even more curious about what Pokemon Perrin is after then. What was that? Oh, it's just a little scrag. Okay. Wait, is that a Pokemon? Dude, now I'm tripping. <laughs> it was just like a weird leaf. Or plant. How big is the map? Alright, I'll, I'll give you a look real quick. From what I heard, it's a little bit bigger than Kitakami. But I mean... I guess, yeah. We can go back and check Kitakami. I feel like you don't really get a good idea of which one is bigger, looking at them like this. They, they look like about the same. And then I'm guessing this is like the entrance right here. It's tiny, dude. Oh, there's different flying spots too. Okay, so we should try to find a Pokemon Center or something around here. So that we can unlock the flying spot. Actually, I think this is one right here. I say Pokemon Center, but really, it's just this machine, bro. Feels so bad for Nurse Joy. Well, sort of. She did always want our Pokemon to get hurt. She'd always be like, I hope you come back. There's also vending machines that replace the Pokemart. So you can just buy, like, Pokeballs and other items from this. Yo, they got Moo Moo Milk? They got Moo Moo Milk! <laughs> oh, they have, like, sandwich ingredients too? What? Yo, it's the shiny sandwich ingredients! Well, it's just all sorts of ingredients, really, but... There's specific ones you can buy to do the shiny sandwiches. Now you can just get them here. That's so much more convenient than having to go to all the different shops in Paldea. You just got everything right there. Ooh, Feather Dance. What? I never would have expected Feather Dance to be a TM. Alright, we got some pretty, pretty wacky stuff going on so far here. Good changes. Minchino? Oh my gosh. Shout out to anyone that remembers when I had Minchino as my channel icon. A long, long time ago. Now we're in the polar biome, just like that. Which means there should be an Alola Ninetales somewhere around here. And I really, really want an Alola Ninetales because my original idea for this double battle based DLC was to have basically two different teams within one team. So half of them would work with Sun and then the other half would work with Ice. So these two Pokemon will probably end up getting replaced. Uh, Baxcalibur kind of works with both, which is cool. Crabominable. 
actually in a biome that he fits more in. Oh my god, whoa, whoa! Milsery? Is this one of those special outbreaks? No, right? Because I know that there's currently an event where you can encounter, like, shiny Milsery really easily. No, okay. Well, there's Duraludon, though. I don't know if I actually have a Duraludon already. I don't think so. But if I can find one somewhere around here in the wild, I'll definitely catch it because... That is a Pokemon that has a new evolution. I definitely want to try to show that off. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, I thought that was a shiny for a second. Is it just me or does it look more white than usual? Like, Milser is usually like cream colored, no? That just looks straight up white. Huh, may maybe I'm tripping. It's just the lighting. Yeah, I, I thought it was a shiny for a second though. <laughs> Oh, there's Duraludon! Let's go! My dude is looking extra! <gasps> oh! Alolan Vulpix behind it, too! Oh my gosh! Dude! I don't know what the word is. He's looking extra... I don't want to say shiny because... He's not shiny like shiny Pokemon, but, but I guess... I don't know, he's just like more reflective. Or I guess she, because it's a female. More metallic, and I killed it. <laughs> I, sh I should have, I should have quick balled it. You're right. Sparkly. What's good, Johnny? That is a good adjective. Yeah. All right, now we got to get this full picks though. Oh, another one just spawned. Nice. Alright, so we can just quick ball the next one. It's fine. I don't want to quick ball Vulpix though, so I'm just gonna swap on out of here real quick. Polished? Okay, yeah, polished is probably the best word for it. She looking waxed. No, I don't like that one. <laughs> oh my god, for a second I thought it was a freaking Zorua disguising itself or something. I know, I just used, um, I don't even know what it used. Hey, she's already got a Roar Veil! I love it. Wait, is that actually what she used turn one? Probably, right? You gotta Master Ball it. Ooh. I'm tempted, but I'm saving my Master Ball. Oh wait, I don't even have a Master Ball. I think I used it on Mewtwo, actually. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a Heal Ball. It's kind of cute for it. I mean, Premier Ball would be my, my preferred choice always. So let's do it, whatever. If we don't catch it, then I'll heal ball, but... Oh! Okay! I think she's trying to tell me something. This Vulpix wants to be caught in the heal ball. Alright. I respect your wishes. Never mind. <laughs> I don't respect you at all. I'm pretty sure my Gardevoir has, like, Thunder Wave. Actually, we have Hypnosis. Alright, let's do that. You named your Pokemon Ketchum? Yeah, bro, this it, this is Ketchum. Gardevoir is without a doubt the best Pokemon you can have for catching. Because he's got False Swipe, and you can give it either Thunder Wave or Hypnosis, which makes catching the best. But there we go. She wanted the Moon Ball. Well, she got the love ball. It's fine. I actually got the heal ball. They freeze solid. Wait. They live together in a skulk, helping one another before eating their prey. They freeze it solid. It's kind of morbid, dude. <laughs> I'm down for more like dark Pokedex entries, though. I'm always down. Oh, yeah. Ga Gallade. Whoops. Ga Gallade. Yes, that's the one. Gallade is the best Pokemon. Minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty cold. Now, my old Alola Ninetales was named Kurama. But that was a boy. And that was back in Alola. So what should we nickname this? Female Alola Ninetales. 
Hmm. I mean, it freezes things before eating it. What is that thing that like super freezes things super quickly? It's like liquid. Uh, no, that wouldn't be a good nickname though. Hold on, I'm cooking. I'm currently cooking. So there's Mr. Freeze in Batman. Oh, his wife is just Mrs. Freeze. Eh. I don't know if I like that. Who's the coldest? <laughs> I'm just not going to finish that sentence. Killer Frost? Elsa? Oh my god. And do Elsa. I mean, Killer Frost is pretty cool, actually. His wife's name is Nora. See, I was I, yeah, Mrs. Freeze or Nora Freeze. And it's spelled like this, though, is the weird thing. <laughs> Should we just name her Freeze? Like this? But we, we pronounce it Freeze? I bet that'll throw some people off. Snow or Flake? Kurumi. Kurumi's cool. Kind of like Kurumi, actually. Sounds like Kurimu, which is how Japanese say ice cream. They say ice kurimu. The snow blows wide in the mountain night. <laughs> hmm. Fries. Yeah, let's go with fries. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going with fries, except it's pronounced freeze, like Mr. Freeze. And she's got snow cloak, so not quite the snow warning, but she does already come with Aurora Veil, which is pretty crazy. So all we'd have to do is use an ability patch. And yeah, we'll be able to have the snow warning. Okay, we gotta attempt to catch this Duraludon again, though, without killing it. I mean, I guess I could just Quick Ball. It's probably a good idea. I'll try to get the back strike, though. Get over here! Ugh, I failed it. Oh, well. Too shiny, Milsery! Oh, my God! Uh, let me just Swords Dance a couple times. Oh, frick, I forgot the Quick Ball! I'm pretty sure we can just run away and do it again, though. Let's try this again. Freeze spelled like that reminds me of Kaiser from Ash Gray. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of, yeah, it, it does give a similar vibe. <laughs> I just like pronouncing Pokemon names different, you know? Just, I used to be such a stickler for pronunciation with Pokemon. But like recently, I've come to realize it doesn't matter. They're fictional characters anyway. And nice! First try! We got Mistake too. I love Mistake. Alright. How do you evolve Duraludon? That's a good question. We're gonna figure it out right now. I'll name this one, uh... Actually, I don't have a nickname yet. We'll see once we evolve it. Or her, we got another female actually. My guess would probably be Thunderstone because we've seen the evolution kind of has like this electric aesthetic. Oh, these Pokemon are going to the wrong box though. Let's do, let's do Paldea 4. No, actually, let me do like one of these back here. Oh my god, wait, these are all full already from the previous DLC. Uh, we'll just start from box 20. Alright, so we got Freeze. We'll place Dabloon, and then we got, uh, Duraludon. We'll get Walking Wake back in a second. Let me just check and see if it is Thunderstone or not. And it is not Thunderstone, okay. But I know Vulpix is Ice Stone, so let's do that real quick. Yeah! 
I am going to continue the story. I apologize. I just really wanted to get this Pokemon for my squad. And it... Oh, my God. She looks fabulous. The Ice Ice Nine Tails is back. This Pokemon was revered as a deity incarnate before it was identified as a regional variant. Yeah, so in Alola, people basically thought this was a god. Dude, it looks so cool with the new lighting. Like, look at the, the blue on the tails. And we get Dazzling Gleam right upon evolving. We got Freeze Dry, too. That's awesome. So basically, all we need now is just uh, the hidden ability, which we can do by giving it an... Ability patch. Ta-da! Alright, we got snow warning now. Okay, but also... Let's give it... Let's give it timid nature, too. And then... We want to give it... Do I even have enough? I don't have enough mochi anymore. To give it max special attack. Or speed, right? I don't have any more speed mochis. Rats! Do I have any vitamins? Oh, I do. Okay. Well, there you go. And I have Carbos for speed. Okay, actually, we're fine then. You get that, and... I mean, it's last stat. I guess we do an HP. There we go. Alright, so we don't know how to evolve Duraludon or Diplin just yet, but... Hey, at least we got the full squad together now. We got the double nine tails. So sick, dude. I love it. Uh, what item do we want to give it? The light, light clay, right? To extend the duration of Aurora Veil? I think my Mew has that. Where is my Mew? Ah, oh, there we go. Double nine tails all the way! Oh, dude. Wait, what level is she? Oh, okay, yeah, let me get her up to 70 also. I'll do 72, just so she's matching with the rest of everybody. Well, kind of. And then the other Pokemon I wanted to pair alongside Ninetales was Chien Pao. But I never EV trained Chien Pao. Did I? No, I didn't. Hmm. It's either Chien Pao or the shiny Slush Rush Satitan. Or we can just use Baxcalibur, actually. Any one of these works. What the heck? There we go. Alright, whatever. Now let's get back to the story. Until eventually we'll figure out how to evolve Duraludon. I saw in one of the trailers there's like a charged stone cave looking area. So I'm gonna suspect that might- wait, what? Dude, the lighting got me tripping. Like, I keep thinking everything is shiny now. When obviously they're not. We could also try to look to see where the- the apple to evolve Diplin might be. What do you guys think? Should we do some exploring? Or should we keep going with the story? Let me know, chat. Yeah, the lighting is definitely throwing me off, bro. Like, I keep thinking, I don't know. You can't even tell if something's shiny either, right? Until you, like, actually run into it. Okay, I'm definitely seeing a lot of stories in the chat. Okay, 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 we'll do story. That was what I said at the beginning. I just, I lose focus so easily, man. I'm sorry. We got our nine tails, though. That was the main thing. Um. So, yeah, I guess let me get the squad together. There's only one Pokemon we're missing. Which is Robustus. I've decided right now. Executive decision. We're bringing in Robustus, not Chi and Pao. I mean, we already have another legendary in Walking Wake. We don't need... Two of them, right? Uh, but Robustus is severely underleveled, so let's give him some of these. There we go. We can do. Ooh, we do we want? Hmm. 
I don't even know what attacks I want on this guy, actually. What's a good set for this Pokemon? Titan VGC. Let's see. I don't think anyone actually uses this thing in VGC, though, is the problem. Belly Drum? This dude gets Belly Drum? Hold up. <coughs> That's actually crazy. I don't know how to get it on him, though. Belly Drum, Ice Shard, Ice Spinner, Play Rough, Earthquake. I don't know if it'll survive Belly Drum and getting hit once, though. It gets Liquidation, too. That might be good. Why so many Ice types? Because I'm using an Ice team. So basically, my team, the theme of my team is Fire and Ice. The, uh, the Song of Ice and Fire, if you will. So we have the Fire Nine Tails with Drought. And then the Ice Nine Tails with Snow Warning. If you don't know, Pokemon or Ice types in the snow, I think they gain defense now. So actually, Aurora Veil is not really as necessary nowadays, is it? Let me just give him two more. Wait, actually. Aurora Veil still carries. I mean, yeah. Good thing Ninetales actually already has it. I mean, Ninetales literally has everything it needs already. Aurora Veil, Dazzling Gleam, Freeze Dry, Blizzard. It's the best thing it could have. I just don't know about what I want to have on Titan. Other than uh, Earthquake and possibly Belly Drum. But I also don't know where or how you would get Belly Drum on it. It's probably like... What's that called? Uh, the Egg Move. <clears throat> so we'll just give it Earthquake for now. Oh, I don't have Earthquake. Nice. Alright, whatever, dude. Robustus, you're gonna get carried by the rest of the squad, bro. It's fine. Yeah, it's a mirror herb thing. Alright. Oh yeah, we should at least give it the adamant mint though. In case we do actually have to use it, it'll at least like be able to do damage. We'll give it that and then where's my items? Someone said heavy duty boots. In case there's anything with like stealth rocks, I'm guessing. Sure, why not? Alright. Uh, I didn't find a Pokemon Center around here, though. I wanted to find one so we can have the easy fly destination. Oh wait, I did find one, but it didn't give us the fly destination. Weird. Anyway. Let's go to the story! <laughs> uh, I knew this would happen. It's alright though, I got my nine tails, so I'm happy. I just know that probably a lot of people in chat are not that happy about it. So with our Alola nine tails secured, it is time to head to the coastal biome and see what the heck is going on with Lacey. She said there's like a practice match or I guess a lesson. Kind of forgot that I'm actually a student here, so I guess we gotta go actually do some school. Uh, but I think this coastal biome is also where you find like Alolan Executor, from what I remember. We're picking up a lot of Executor shells right now. Oh, the music, dude! Wait, this is a Unova remix too, but I forget exactly what. Is it Drift Veil? I think this is a Drift Bale remix, right? Dun 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 I heard it for a second. Maybe it's not exactly a remix, but it has little hints 
of drift fail in there. Yo, come on, Koraidon. Climb! Climb, my friend! Okay, there we go. Ooh, a dragon scale. Nice. Can evolve Kingdra with that, I think. Got Trumbeak out here. A lot of picky pecks. And somewhere around here, we should find... <gasps> Meow Stick! Oh my gosh! Dude, I love Esper. Man, there's just so many Pokemon that I love in this DLC. At the end of all of this, I'll definitely do another... Well, like, maybe the third or fourth screen will be, like, just completing the Pokedex. But for now, the focus is, of course, the story. So there's the team. Now fully built. The Song of Ice and Fire. And I'll try not to get too distracted. I know, I know. Uh, so here we are. Late to class. As usual for me. Orange! He didn't have any trouble finding this. Uh, you know, I might have gotten a little distracted, but... Uh, whisper, whisper, whisper. Say again? I didn't quite catch that. <laughs> Alola, everyone. Hello? This man's from Alola? Looks like we have a new face with us today. I'm sure you're all enjoying the tropical climb we've recreated here. But remember, it's really for the many Pokemon you'll find living here, adapted for such weather. One such species has even grown exceptionally larger than it might in other regions, thanks to all the light it's exposed to here. That's right, certain species can have completely different appearances depending on the region. We call this a regional form! Is that the first time they've officially called it a regional form? I remember at one point they were called regional variants instead. When you've got one, come and report to me. Now get catching! That can't be the first time, but I remember at one point they were regional variants instead of forms. But anyway, like I said, Alolan Executor is somewhere out here. That is definitely the Pokemon that he was hinting at, saying that like it grows way larger than usual. So let's go look for it. I see some palm trees over here. I'm guessing. Might be camouflaging around them. Oh my god, look at this person. Just like sunbathing. The good old ocean. Oh, Alola, friend. You know what? Let's test out our own Alolan forms here. With the uh, Ninetales. I'm a big fan of Pokemon from the Alola region. Do you have an Alolan Golem? Oh. Never mind. <laughs> I thought she wanted to battle. But I do have an Alolan Golem, as a matter of fact. I transferred one back in the previous DLC uh, through Pokemon Home. So if we just go in here, we got Valair, the freaking galvanized explosion Alolan Golem. It evolves when it's traded, you know? I suppose that's why it's not often found in the wild. As thanks, let me teach you a pose that's just perfect. What? Electrium Z? Oh, that's how you get that! Oh, that's sick! Okay! I believe you can use that in the selfie mode, which I forgot how to use. Oh, Roto Stick. There we go. Wait, can we actually change our pose or nah? I don't think you can change your... Oh, wait. No. No, 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 no. This is not the right place. But these are the other ones that we got earlier. You can hold up a Pokeball. I wonder what decides which Pokeball you hold. Maybe the last one you used? Um, but there is a button to do poses. I just forgot which button it is. Ah, here we go. Bam! Oh my gosh! The Z-Move pose! Yo! <laughs> That's so sick, dude. I wonder if there's the other Z-Move poses then. I mean, there's gotta be, right? It's just funny that we happened to find the one that was in the trailer first. But I'm assuming some other trainers out there have got to have the other poses. Oh, there's the female Meow Stick. You guys might remember from my X and Y playthrough. What? I just realized these are slack offs on the floor. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I didn't register. Those were actually Pokemon. I thought it was like some random rocks or something. There's just so many of them. Okay, but it doesn't look like Alolan Executor is around here. Why is Meowstic, like, in the middle of all those birds? 
The bros are just chilling. Maybe Executor's on this island? No. Oh, is it the special Terra Pokemon over there? I could see Executor having a special Terra type. Or even just Dragon. That would look weird. Actually, since Executor is so tall, where does the Terra hat go? All the way at the tippy top of its head? Excuse me. <laughs> they were so still, I couldn't perceive them. Dude, yeah, they were camouflaged. It's like that meme, if you stand perfectly still, they can't see you. Oh, slacking. Bro, I'm excited to see slacking with the Synchro Machine. The new feature that lets you, like, control your Pokemon. Like, how the frick do you control slacking? You guys saw how it was just laying there, right? Does it actually have a walking animation? I've never actually tried to have a slacking behind me. But where the frick is Executor, though? I'm, like, getting lost out here. And still not seeing one. I mean, there's an execute. Should we just, like, evolve one? I guess we could do that. Might be easier, to be honest. It can be any Alolan form. Oh, so we could have just showed him our freaking Ninetales? Oh. Well. <laughs> My B. I mean, I guess I do still want to show him Executor, though, because it's the one that he described, but apparently it can be any alone form. <clears throat> Ooh, that's the third one in the Pokedex. That's cool. There's an Oddish. Isn't almost like every Pokemon in the game now, except for like the Elemental Monkeys? <laughs> I feel bad for fans of the Elemental Monkeys. Like, personally, I'm not a huge fan of them. But anyone that is, man, that's sad. Famous dialogue skip, but not the first, and it won't be the last, I'll tell you that. I don't know why it's always, like, the important little bits that I skip. <laughs> I'll read, like, everything that doesn't matter at all, but then forget that. You guys know where to find Totodile? Oh my god! Are you kidding me? I can't escape! <laughs> I can't escape these, these stupid things. Alright, let me out of here! Let me out of here! But yeah, for the starter Pokemon, all of them, uh, you unlock them later on. You have to first get Blueberry Quest, and then through the Blueberry Quest, there's something called the Support Board that you can use your Blueberry Points to unlock more Pokemon in the biomes, so... Yeah, you, you can't get them for a while, basically. Let me see if I can find my way back to where wherever that guy was. Okay, it's over here. So I kind of was going to... Oh, we can just fly there. Alright. Why do I feel like it was actually super close to where we started? Maybe I just went the wrong way, because there's apparently a beach down here. Is this where a lowland executor is? No, this is the same beach I went to. Never mind. Alright, I'm just going to show him my nine tails then. Oh, it was on the map? Oh, I missed it then. Whoops. Well, apparently we can just show this guy any Alolan form, and since we already have Ninetales, we might as well do that. Or we can show him our Golem that we just showed that other girl too. Why not? Oh my god! <laughs> it's grumpy and stubborn! 
upset it and it'll let out an electric charge and thunder like growl. Wait, Orange, you already finished the assignment? It was a walk in the park. So, battling isn't your only talent then. You've got a knack for catching Pokemon too. It's easy to see how high level the students must be at Naranja Academy. Alright everyone, gather round! We're all out of time for today, so that'll have to be it for this class session. If you didn't manage to catch a Pokemon in time, that'll be your homework, what? There was no, like, time limit though, right? <laughs> Guess I'm stuck with homework. So, Orange, what did you think of your first Blueberry class? Easy peasy. Not like I wasted 10 minutes trying to find an executor or anything. Oh, I was supposed to go make an appearance at the club room, shoot! I'm afraid this will have to be the end of our little tour, but let me leave you one more tip. Here at Blueberry, we have lots of extracurricular tasks you can do called Blueberry Quests, or barbecues for short. They're sort of like missions that the school assigned to students out and about in the terrarium. You might be asked to have your Pokemon do some auto battles or catch specific Pokemon, those sort of things. You never know what the next barbecue might be, but if you can do what's asked of you, you'll earn BP. Yeah, and that's actually how you unlock the starter Pokemon. Not immediately. Well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what kind of blueberry quest we can get. A max of three quests will be displayed by default. Each time you complete, a new one will be added. And every time you clear ten, a special bonus quest. Nice. You can also help your friends with their quest. Uh, okay. Pretty cool. And then you got blueberry points, which I was just talking about. You can use to... Well, you can use them for a variety of things, but one of them is to unlock more Pokemon in the biomes, which is how you get the starter Pokemon. Oh, dude, Blitzel's right there! Oh, wait, is that one of the trainers? Oh my god, Carmine! What the heck? I heard the news you got picked for Blueberry Academy's exchange program. Yeah, what about you? Aren't you supposed to be here? One of my teachers told me. Never thought we'd be fellow students at BB Academy. Anyway, you should totally come show your face. It's been too long already. Now, let me think. Where could we meet up? Oh, have you been to the terrarium? That's the first place I came. What do you mean? There's a space called the Central Plaza right in the center. I'll meet you there. Don't keep me waiting if you know what's good for you. Ooh. Damn. The Sundaria effect is already... Well, in effect. And yeah, the Blitzel is this trainer's. I would have totally caught a Blitzel if it wasn't his, but whatever. Let's go fight Carmine then! That's probably how we'll wrap up the first episode too. Oh man, I don't have the fly spot for it. Oh well. More exploring then! I know you guys love that. <laughs> Not actually though, I mean, I'm gonna head over there. But if we just so happen to run into anything crazy on the way, then I'll definitely catch it. Like, uh, apparently I ran past a couple of Alolan Exeggutors, or they were at least on the minimap, and I just didn't notice them. What the frick, Araquanid? Thing is terrifying, dude. We got Talonflame too. I mean, Talonflame was already in base Scarlet and Violet though, so nothing too special. What do we got over here? Oh, Horsey! Nice! We did just pick up that Dragon Scale earlier, which someone said I should check if maybe that's how we evolved Duraludon. I don't think so, but it's worth a try or worth a check. Oh, okay. Got another heal ball. This is so pretty though, man. Like, Kitakami had some cool sights, but the terrarium... I mean, it's a little weird that all these biomes are so close to each other. Like, you think maybe some of the, uh, the heat from the coastal biome would spread into the polar biome and start melting it, but I don't know. Science. Briar figured it out somehow. But it does make for some really cool level design. Like the fact that you can have so much diversity all in one area. The game's getting better as time goes on. That's the thing, man. Like, if Scarlet and Violet, the base game, came out with this DLC and the previous one already packaged as, like, the post game, they'd probably be, like, one of the top best Pokemon games ever. But, I mean, I guess you could say the same about Sword and Shield. The Crown Tundra was pretty cool. It's just the fact that it's DLC that's 
what brings it down, I guess, because you got to pay an extra 30 bucks for it. But this is it. The central plaza that Carmine was talking about. And there she is, alongside one of the Elite Four, it seems. Damn, I never realized how tall Carmine was. So yeah, things are a bit rough right now. I couldn't agree more. Ah, you have a visitor, Carmine. A long time no see. I bet you missed me. No. No one missed you. What? Did your wonderful memories of me all wither away since we last saw each other? Time for me to go. Nice seeing you, Carmine. So long. Okay, see you around. Yeah, she kind of cold. Like the other girl, I mean. That's one of my classmates. She's an interesting one. Speaking of classmates, feels kind of weird seeing you here at my school. And look at you! You haven't changed at all since we- What? What are you- I totally- I got glasses now! What you talking about? As for me, well, I've been helping Miss Briar with her research. We've been to all sorts of different regions. It's made my Pokemon a lot stronger than they were the last time we battled. You wanna see? Oh, you totally wanna see. Well, we have a battle court right here, so get into position! Uh, yeah, I did not miss her at all. Especially her saying. Her signature catchphrase, get into position. Why does she have to say it like that? <laughs> okay, ready for a double battle? You won't know what hits ya. Oh, I actually was not ready. I don't think I even have the right Pokemon leading the party, but I guess we're getting into it as Carmine sends out two cannon Mighty Enna. Is this the Intimidate strat? I'll give you a special treat since you came all this way. Get ready to eat Terrarium Dirt! <laughs> okay. Well, actually, I guess I did have the right Pokemon. Oh, there's the Intimidate I was talking about. Not great for Quixote, but... I mean, we'll see how this goes. We still got the Aurora Veil. And we got the Icicle Spear for two cannon. So Aurora Veil, if you guys don't know, when you're in the snow, it lasts... Wait, does it last more turns or... I, I think you can only use it when there's snow, actually. Um, and it raises both your defense and special defense of your Pokemon. So it's basically like Reflect and Light Screen combined. With the Light Clay item that we gave Ninetales, it'll extend it for 8 turns instead of 5. So it's a pretty good strategy, at least defensively. Which, if this DLC is going to be as tough as some people are saying, I feel like having more defense will actually be pretty good. Which is why I built my whole team around the double nine tails. Cause I just I love you guys know I have literally the Alolan and regular nine tails tattooed on my leg, right? <laughs> so it's cool to actually finally get to use nine tails. Oh dude, this is perfect. We got two dark types. And we get dazzling gleam. I mean we'll go glaive rust just for good measure, but I'm pretty sure this should one shot both of them. Oh, never mind. They're a little tankier than they look. But we got the Glaive Rush though, so we're fine. <laughs> I love that. Why don't you use one of those not very effective moves sometime? <laughs> I missed that one. Oh, sh dude, he brick broke my Aurora Veil. Damn, okay, Carmine. She got the strats, actually. And Sinistra with the hospitality. See, I feel like Sinistra was built for this DLC because of its ability. Like, maybe that was the the goal all along. <gasps> She's going to terastalize it too? Yo, is that her signature? I never really considered Sinistra would be her signature Pokemon, but I guess it is. She's terastalizing it into grass. Okay. Not the most unique, but I mean, it's still kind of cool. Blizzard time! Oh, man. We didn't kill crap. Oh, we froze it though! Nice. Very nice. And actually, because it terrestrialized now, we can't finish it off. Uh, sorry, I know my face cam is kind of covering some of the HP bars there. 
And because this battle has a fixed camera angle, I can't move it either. Well, I can't move the camera angle around. I could move my camera, though. Nope, never mind. That didn't work. <laughs> Whatever. Sinistra's dead! And Scrafty is soon to follow. Everybody gets a uh, level up there. Except for Carmine. That did not go the way I planned. You tried though. I like the strat. With the hospitality Sinistra. Unfortunately, my strat was just better. I got so much stronger once I could terrestrialize, but you just had to go and get even stronger, didn't you? Oh, that's true, because back in Kitakami... Wait, but in Kitakami, we could terrestrialize, no? There's literally Terra Crystals all over Kitakami somehow. You still don't hold back in battles, huh? Another thing that hasn't changed a bit. Hey, by the way, have you run into Kiki yet? It's a very good question. Never mind. If you haven't seen him yet, it's fine. Are you kidding me? What? Was this assignment too hard for you too? Wait, that's... Wait, is that Kiki? Oh. Oh, it is! Oh my gosh! It's him! He got the restless leg syndrome. He just like me for real. That's Kieran! <sighs> he almost saw us. Wait, that's Kieran? <laughs> Damn. Keep your voice down. I thought I told you to train five Pokemon to battle with. Bro, he's trying to act all tough now. Sorry, things have been really hectic at home. Oh, got it. So that means you're just okay being this weak forever? That's what I'm hearing? No, I... Well, since you're so busy, I'll go ahead and do you a favor. I'll write your resignation from the club for you. I don't need people in my club who don't take it seriously. Wait, Kieran, I'm sorry! <laughs> what is going on with this man? He's done a complete 180. Not what you were expecting, huh? Kiki looks different, acts different. He hasn't been the same since we got back from the school trip. Well, that was painful to watch. Yo! We got another Unovan descendant up in here. If it isn't Carmine, and Carmine's new mystery friend. Think I might have heard of you though. Are you that new kid with the wild backstory? What a lovely surprise! Just the annoying bozo I didn't want to run into, Dale. <laughs> Come on now, please let me introduce myself. This is Drayton, and he's the worst. You don't look so bad. He's the strongest trainer at Blueberry. Well, he was at least. Beautiful intro, thanks. <laughs> this is Orange. He's here on the foreign exchange program. He's my friend, and... But what about Kirin? You friends with that guy? Yeah, I mean, we were. I don't know anymore, but I still consider him my, my friend, I guess. I see. That's great. Alright, how about I show you our club room? Ooh. Why do you need to do that? You haven't joined any of the clubs we've got here, right? Take it from me. You'll have a way better time here if you join one. We'd love to have such an interesting new member. In fact, we better call Dibs now. Come with me. Alright. Well, the clubs are the key to unlocking a whole bunch of stuff in this DLC, so can't wait to see what the club room's actually like, but that'll be in the next episode. Well, for you guys watching the stream, nothing's happening, but, uh, you know, YouTube. And here we are. Hey, are you sure this is a good idea? You know, because... Because of Kieran? Nah, don't worry. He won't show up here anytime soon. If you say so. <laughs> it is kind of funny ending the episode, but then it just, the stream keeps going. <laughs> anyway, this is the base of operations for the League Club. On behalf of the whole club, I'm glad you're here. And hey, while you're here, don't forget to hit that like button if you're excited for another episode. 
What does the club do? I don't know. Glad you asked. We Blueberry Academy students have our own Pokemon battle ranking, the BB League. Here in the League Club, we battle each other to train up so we can climb the ranks. We win, we lose, we have a good old time. Such is our humble club in a nutshell. You're not wrong, but seriously, that's how you explain it to people? Yep. Though I guess we're having less of a good old rowdy time than usual. I'm a member of the club too. I don't show up to the club room very much though. That's why the club is flopping, but now I'm here to make this place as good as it can be. Too bad you didn't make the cut, man. I've just been too busy. Haven't had time for league matches. If we're talking actual skill, I'm way above the Elite Four, sure. That's no lie. Wait, really? We just kicked their butt though. That means the Elite Four can't be that tough then. I mean, we haven't really seen the club, but sure. Looks fun. I can feel the enthusiasm. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, I think that takes care of it. You're in on a trial basis. Huh? What do you mean trial? You heard me. Far as the Draster is concerned, we're club mates now. So now you can use this club room freely and do whatever with the stuff here. Check out the computer too. It's super helpful. It lets you use your BP to support kids in other clubs. Nice. Here, give it a shot and you'll see what I mean. Do we even have any BP yet though? Oh, he's gonna transfer us some? Nice. Try sending that to Mitch in the baseball club. He can help you out with throwing form. Yeah, so another one of the features we need from the trailers is you can actually change how you throw your Pokeball. Oh wait, did you hear the sound? Oh, they brought back the classic PC sound, dude. That's so cool. So here's... Wait, his name is Mitch? And he... He, he pitch? Is that why his name is Mitch? Because he pitch... P pitches, I mean? I get it. Thanks for the support! It's your boy Pitch with the... M Mitch with the pitch! If you ever want to change how you throw your Pokeballs, just give me a call. Nice. But how do we actually do that now? Like, through the PC? Or do we, do we actually have to go find Mitch? <laughs> Not bad for your first time. That'll teach me to doubt your skills. Here, I've got a really nice present for you. From one charming catch to another. Wait, was that a... Was he calling him, us charming? Or, or okay, I, I get it's a joke about the fact that this is the catching charm. Which apparently makes critical catches more likely. Wow. You can have this too. Put it on and you'll look just like the Draster. The Lee Club Uniform. Anyway, feel free to turn, or computer it up? Who says that? <laughs> Let's computer it up, guys, yeah! Those snacks are all yours, Drayton. Snacks you leave around open and half-finished. I wouldn't go near any of them. Who knows how long they've been sitting around? Unless... Those are the snacks that unlock the legendary Pokémon? If you want to officially join us, maybe we can have a cafeteria date to talk- Bro, first he calls us charming, now he wants to go on a date? Drayton, you sly dog! Be seeing ya! Ugh, that bozo, seriously, what is his problem? I mean, just seems like he's a smooth criminal to me. Well, a date is- <laughs> No, I know what a date is! Were you seriously about to explain it to me? Oh, he was asking Carmine on a date, not us. Damn. Now I'm suddenly not feeling Dra the, the Draster as much. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm actually pretty excited to check this out because you can actually customize, or apparently customize, this place. Let's see. Ooh, want to change your throwing style? Yes. Do we even have any unlocked yet? Ah, we do! Dainty style! Smug style, that sounds... Sounds like Draster. Alright, now that I'm here, just watch! First, you gotta have your ball like this, see? Get a good firm grip on those balls. Aw, oh, dude, that's sick. That's definitely giving some, uh, looking cool, Joker. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, so the Science Club, Photography Club, 
art club. So I think this is how you redecorate the club room. What does photography do? Ooh, you can... Oh, that's, that's cool. New effects for your camera and then new functionality with the lock-on feature. Remodel your room. Okay, so this is the big one. And then the music club. Get a smart speaker for your club room. So you can like play classic tunes. That would be cool. And then these are the ones to unlock starter Pokemon. I'm pretty sure. New Pokemon species appear in each of the biomes, but it costs 3,000 BP, which I know you guys can't see again, but, uh, hold on, let me see if I can group these. Oh, there we go. Boom. We only have 40 BP right now. So yeah, it's going to take a while before we can afford any of those. Uh, so let's go do some, well, not right now, but eventually we'll get some BB quests done. I think as we're doing the story too, there's probably some quests that are mandatory. Wait, what did she say? You don't know where your room is, just wander around and you'll find it. Alright. Guess so. Well, that was easy. This is definitely giving Nimona flashbacks. Well, it looks like this is your room. And it looks exactly like the one back in Naranja, except with, uh artificial sky wall. Most BB students live in the dorms, you know. So what do you think? How's it compared to the dorms back at your school? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's pretty much the same. That's no fun. Well, you can come have a look at my room later too if you want. Oh. Is that an invitation? There's some I need to tell ya. It's about Drayton and, well, Kiki. Okay, I mean, I'm definitely more interested in Kieran. Kiki is... Well, you saw how he is. He's scaring me nowadays. Ever since we got back from Kitakami, it's like he's become a totally different person. He's been battling and training every day. He's even cutting back on sleep. He's definitely gotten stronger. But at what cost? Now Kiki's the president of the League Club and the BB League champion. I guess he must be pretty busy. He barely talks to me anymore. Oh well, he's probably just going through a rebellious phase. Sure. <laughs> Kieran's changed, but you? You stay the same. If Kieran's down to just one friend these days, I'm glad it's you. Keep sticking with him, would ya? Why would we be able How did you not give us the option to not lie to him, but now you can just say no? Like, no, I don't want to be friend. Oh, come on. Thank you. And there's one more thing I need to tell you about. Drayton. Ugh, that knucklehead. He might seem like a slacker, but don't let him fool you. He's up to something. He's a real annoying super jerk. He barely even got to class. He's had to repeat the same year three times. <laughs> oh no. Point is, don't let your guard down around him. Ever. You're going on your date. I mean, you're going to go hang out with Drayton later, right? I'd go with. But if I don't finish up this report today, I'm really going to be in trouble. I'd love for you to join the League Club. But if Drayton gives you any trouble, don't be afraid to give him a good sucker punch. Damn. It's like that. <laughs> Guess we got a little love triangle going. I mean... The way that Carmine is, I'm pretty sure she actually does like Drayton. But obviously she's... Pretending. Like, well, it's... It's, it's literally just tsundere. That, that's the only word, or the best word to describe it. Oh, dude, it's Snivy. This thing's big. I, I hope you mean the fridge. Anyway, what's up with this chef? Just let me know what you'd like, and I'll diss some right up for ya. Okay, Academy Shake. Oh, this thing gives sparkling- What? Sparkling power of all types? For just- Oh, it's 150 BP, though. I thought it was 150 money. That's crazy. That's a deep-ass pizza. <laughs> Yo, they got the deep dish. Dude, I miss deep dish pizza. But that's cool. You can just buy a- Like a sparkling power now. You don't have to make a sandwich. And it's for all types, too. Here's the Drayster's take. The Academy Special. The best thing on the menu. It's all soft. You can basically just gulp it down. Barely even need a chew. I don't see how that's a good thing, but... 
Okay. Chew your food, Drayden, for real, man. You and my ma would get along. So listen, your Pokemon are pretty strong, yeah? With a team like that, you've got a shot at becoming the BB League champion. Wouldn't that be wild? An exchange student just rolling up here and snatching the crown. I want to see you join the BB League, Orange. You in? Uh, yeah. Look who's decided to grace us with their presence. Ooh, yo, the uh, oh my, they all here! Everyone's here! <laughs> it's the champion and the rest of the Elite Four too. What did you want to talk about? Nothing special, just thought we could grab a bite. Where better to do that than the cafeteria? What a waste of time. If you've got so much time to goof off, why don't you go train your Pokemon? You think maybe this is why you always lose to me? Dude, Kieran... Kieran's kinda become a bit of a dick. <laughs> but I guess that's the point of his story arc, right? So I can't swing a lunch date with you, even if I've got your old pal with me? Uh, orange? Yeah, that's right, I'm here to snap some sense into you, kid. Long time no see. Why? You didn't hear that he was coming to study abroad here? For real? <laughs> yes, it's true. Director Serrano himself introduced him to me when we met at the school's entrance. We're already tight, us two. Uh, sure. Ooh, I like that. That'd be fire. What? Yeah, no, dude. No meme speak here, please. That's right. Orange may be wonderfully capable in battle, but that doesn't mean he belongs in the BB League. I'm above the BB League. Come on. Y'all hate having fun? <laughs> you want to exclude someone who's taken our same classes and living in our dorms? How's he not one of us? And isn't this place supposed to be all about students having autonomy? I think we should vote on it. I'm um, a uh, yes, obviously. How about you, Lacey? I'm sorry, but considering the rules, it's a no from me. Damn, what about you, Crispin? Huh? Yeah, why not? He's at our school. That makes him a student like us, right? How about you, Amaris? What do you say? I abide by the rules of this institution. Proposition declined. <laughs> so the two boys say yeah. Girls say nah. Alright then. What says the reigning BB League champion, our mighty Kieran? Doesn't matter who I'm facing. I don't lo- Did this man forget the whooping we gave him back in the last DLC? I mean, technically he did beat me once. Out of like five or six times though. Uh, Kieran, wait! Drayton, manipulating people to get what you want is just not right! Is that her thing? She just... <laughs> I like Crispin though. Except, you know, the fact he called it fire. Sorry, Orange. Guess you'll be joining the BB League, huh? Well, let's look on the bright side. Maybe you and Kieran will come out of this better friends. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you every step of the way. But now that the decision's been made, we better get you officially signed up. Meet me at the reception desk in the school's entrance. Just because we're in the BB League though doesn't mean we're like Elite Four or whatever, right? Because I think Carmine said she's part of it, but she's not an Elite Four. Oh wait, you gotta clear the Elite Trials if you want a shot at battling. Yeah, so we're not really that high up there. That We're starting off in the BB League. And also in Blueberry Academy, look, we can, we can actually access all of this stuff now. I mean, there's probably not much to do in these places. Karma, we can go to Carmine's room already? I mean, she did invite us earlier. And she's not e oh my god. <laughs> there's a Dunsparce plush. Oh, look at this thing. There's a freaking uh, Morgrem figurine. What are those other ones too? I can't tell what those are. There's a Ga Gothita, Curlia, and Makuhi- Oh, it's Makuhita! <laughs> that looks so dorky, dude. And then the Dondozo painting. Wait, what are those? Hold up. Enhance. Zoom. Enhance. Okay, so it looks like... Yeah, no, I can't tell what those are. Anyway. Pretty cool room she's got going on. She's got a bunch of snacks, too. Chocolatey treats. Okay. 
What else? What else? Uh, there's our room, the League Club room. I mean, I guess, yeah. We'll check all of that out later. I'm assuming that's where we can meet up with, like, the different teachers. Maybe students. Oh, it's done. Oh, that's cool. Damn. Blueberry Academy low-key looking even better at nighttime. That's sick. Alright, Drain, what's up, bro? Wait, actually, before we do this, I do need to transfer over the episode 1 footage. So, we're gonna take a small break, maybe like 5, 10 minutes. I'm not gonna be editing the episode, but... I do have a thumbnail in mind that I'm working on. Hello. I haven't even transferred it yet. You want this? So for this DLC, um, or for the last DLC you guys might remember, I edited the episode like in the stream, but we ended up losing like half the viewers during that time. So thankfully, my wife Geddon has offered to help. Shouldn't be too bad either. I mean, there was some, there, there might be some cuts in there when I was running around exploring. Um, but the only really important thing to show is like the Alola Ninetales and yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, so this thing, <laughs> what is that? Okay, I need to figure out which one is the commentary. I think it's just these two. Teach Driplin Dragon Cheer to evolve it. Ooh. Nice. I guess people figured it out, huh? Alright, I'll check that out after. I need to find my thumbnail. I literally made a thumbnail for episode one already, but I lost where it is. Is it this one? No. If you guys know or have figured anything else out from the DLC, let me know. The main thing I want to do is evolve Driplin and then Duraludon. Has anyone figured out Duraludon yet? What's up, Moreno? Did I miss anything? Well, we've played already like an hour and a half-ish. I mean, half an hour of it was just me exploring, so you didn't miss much there. But... In terms of the story, I mean, I would say, yeah, quite a bit has already happened. <laughs> oh, I didn't even check the footage to make sure it wasn't laggy like it looks on my side. Okay, it's almost done transferring, guys. Charge Cave? That was my idea. So th there's an area that looks like Charge Stone Cave. Uh, hold on, I need to rename these. Episode 1-1. One -one. And then, boom. How do you start the BBQs? Literally just play the story and eventually you'll unlock them. Oh, but how do you actually, like, choose them? That, I don't, I haven't checked yet myself. I'm guessing probably just press like right on the D-pad or something. Can we not access the starters from the get-go? No. You have to get 3,000 blueberry points. Actually, I was here the whole time. You were distracted by your drifting hobbies before- Yeah. I get pretty easily distracted in general. What's up, Caleb? Show us the new TMs, I'm not familiar with them. So, out of the ones we've gotten so far, the only new new one is Upper Hand. Which none of my Pokemon can even learn, apparently. It's basically a fighting type version of Fake Out. But none of our Pokemon can learn it, so... 
There's also coaching, feather dance. Yeah, we can't learn any of the ones we've gotten so far. I like the squad though. Like my team, I like I like the team we built up for this. Alright, you might hear double audio for a second, but I'm just gonna check if all of this footage recorded properly. Alright. Oh. Uh I didn't well, in effect. And yeah, the blitz is Oh, that's that doesn't sound great. Oh that's that doesn't sound nice. Did you guys hear that? That that sounded very not good. Okay, hold up. Maybe it might be just because my computer's lagging though. <laughs> Let's see. Let me check this other one. This recording. There's definitely something sinister going on. Having to go to all the sounds of never mind. Oh my god, yeah, that sounds then, great. That sounds amazing. Uh, no. You can't even tell something. That sounds amazing. So, hmm. This is what I see on my screen, right? I have my recording software. And it's been really choppy, so I thought maybe it's just because I have, like, both open. But now I'm not so sure. Let's see. Oh! Wow, it's smooth now. Wow. Wowee. <laughs> Amazing. Well, that's great. That's that's very cool. Anyway, let's just keep playing. Let's have a great time, guys. Here you go. I transferred it. Well, maybe, maybe it'll look fine on your side, I don't know. Dude, I know, the Elgato software sucks. I have the old one though, but the old one was also, it has its own issues with like, um, desyncing. I mean, we'll see. I guess worst comes to worst, I'll just upload the stream itself with my face cam. The quality won't be as good, but I'll figure it out. Anyway, let's just continue with the actual thing. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Oh my God, it's so much smoother now. Man, see, I just thought it was like a glitch with the program. But no, I guess it really was recording like it looked. That's not good. Oh well. Okay, so you guys were saying... Apparently Diplin evolves with a new attack? Where did my Diplin even go? Here it is. Oh no, this is not it. Diplin? Diplin? Where did I put my Diplin? Ah, here it is. Okay. Looks like the Duraludon evolution is at the store. Huh? The student store. Oh, okay. Do we have any new moves? Nope. So it's not from level up. Someone was saying there's a move called Dragon Cheer or something cheer. Dragon, was it Dragon? I don't know. It's a TM. Okay, well we have to find the TM then. And then for Duraludon, I guess it's at the store. All right, well, we can't get either of those yet, then. That's fine. Oh, what was that sound? <laughs> so Titan, are you good? Okay, so we left off. We had to sign up for the BB League. Which I guess happens here.
Ah, says here that you're an exchange student, which means you're not technically enrolled here at our academy. Oh, don't mind that. We really leave four talked it over real quick. My friend here is good to join. Yeah, I don't think it's that simple, my guy. I don't mean to sound rude, but I'm not sure if I can take what you say at face value, Drayton. Wait, she called him Drayton? Wasn't his name Drayton? Oh no, Drayton is the actual Unova old guy. But I'm pretty sure this is like his grandkid or something. No, he's telling the truth. I'm allowing Orange to join the BB League. Yes, champion, one moment please. <laughs> Didn't expect you to ride up in shining armor and save the day. I've got a feeling you're trying to play Puppet Master. But if I get a shot at battling Orange, then that's fine with me. <laughs> that's just peachy. Orange. You better not go losing to anyone until our battle. Like I'd lose. Good, oh my god! That's demented! I'm not a little kid anymore, and you'll know it when I show you my haircut! We already saw his haircut, actually. Kiki, you shouldn't talk to Orange like that! Shut it, sis! Damn! That's what we needed, that kind of energy from the whole first DLC! <laughs> Look at Drain's face, man! I'm sorry, Orange. Kiki was really acting out, wasn't he? That was my first time talking to him in a while, too. Man, such an attitude. Well, he's Mr. Big Deal Mighty Champion after all. Drayton, you're the one who dragged Orange into all this BB League drama, aren't you? Me? No way! This is all his idea. Right, Orange? Uh... <laughs> That's the spirit! Feeling that human urge to do great things, right? I'm just covering for your ass, man. Well, if you're gonna do this, you might as well do your best. I'll be cheering for you. And please, keep an eye on Kiki for me. How does his hair work? Like Drayden. Look, do you see that wisp? Must be a lot of gel in that thing. Great timing. Orange is clear to compete in the BB League. Usually you'd start by battling regular students and climbing the ranks. But seeing as how you've got recommendations, you'll start from a higher rank. Ooh. You'll skip straight to the challenging the Elite Four. Once you clear their trials, that is. I'll go ahead and mark their locations in your Rotom phone. Nice. And you know exactly which trial I'm gonna do first, because I want to unlock the flying ability for our uh, Koraidon. To challenge the Elite Four, you'll need BP, which you can earn by doing BBQs. Oh, really? You actually have to do BBQs to even challenge them in the first place? Wow. Anytime you want to battle one of us, you'll have to do a fun little trial we cooked up first. Sounds good, right? Catch you in the terrarium, bud! Nice. Alright. I guess we could also put it to a vote. Which Elite Four should we take on first? There's Crispin, the Fire type. There is Amaris, Steel type. There's Drayden, Dragon type and Lacey Fairy type. Literally all the types I predicted in my trailer's breakdown. I don't know why people were saying otherwise too. Like, they thought Lacey would be ground type just because her uh, dad is, what was his name, Clay? But yeah, we'll do a quick little poll. You guys can vote which Elite Four we should take on first. Which Elite Four fight who first? So we'll put Lacey, Fairy. Oh my god, I have caps lock on. There's Crispy, Fire. Uh, Drayton, Dragon. And Amaris, Steel. Boom. There you go, guys. The poll is in the chat. And while you guys vote, I guess we'll go explore a little bit of the terrarium. I don't know if if doing Amaris' trial immediately unlocks the uh, ability to fly anywhere. Oh, hold up. We might not be taking on any Elite Four, at least not right now, because we've got sweet, sweet synchronization. Hello there. 
My name is Sinclair. I'm quite the outstanding researcher, you know. Would you like to help me out by participating in an amazing experiment? Yes! If you guys have been watching my preview videos, you'll know exactly why I'm so excited for this. Little side quest. You'll need to have a Pokemon out of its paw for this experiment. Just let me know once you're ready. Oh, who should we try this out with? Apparently, it can be any Pokemon. Maybe we should do Satitan? That'd be kind of funny. But then again, I want to see something weird. Like I mentioned Slacking, which normally doesn't walk at all. Oh, dude, Ursa Luna? That'd be sick. But let me just do Slacking, because that's the one that I've been like wondering about. Where's he at, though? There we go. Walking Wake? Walking Wake is pretty large and in charge. That would be maybe a cool one, too. We'll just do slacking, though, first. Are you ready to help me out? Yes! Oh, wait, I didn't even send out my Pokemon, though. Oh, there he is. Let's get started, then. Synchro Nice! Oh my god, your mind and feelings are now synchronized. Now that you're all synced up, your Pokemon will move as directed by your thoughts. Let's start with the movement test. There's a tree in front of you. Try moving over there. Can we move the camera? Oh, we can, dude. <laughs> He's just laying there. How's he even gonna move? Oh my god, yo! He actually stands up, bro. <laughs> Why he just lays back down? Dude, that looks so silly. That looks so silly. DK Donkey Kong. <laughs> yes, you're so in sync. I was able to get some very useful data from that session. Thank you so much. Here's a little something for your trouble. Noise. Three rare candies. You really have a talent for this. Would you mind sticking around for just one more experiment? It'd be a bit more work than the last one, but... I'll give you something really nice afterward. Okay. I'm guessing she means the synchro machine, right? Oh wait, should we try a different Pokemon? Let's do let's do like a flying Pokemon actually. Unless that's what she was gonna ask us for anyway, but let's see. Who here can fly? Uh maybe Electros? I mean it kind of floats. A lot of people were saying Ogre Pond too, just to rub it in on Kieran that we have Ogre Pond. Ooh, Roaring Moon? Yo, okay, let's do Roaring Moon. This is so cool, dude. Alright, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Synchronize! Your mind and feelings are synchronized! Since this is your second time, you should be able to do all sorts of things. So let's begin with the battle test. Try taking on some of the other Pokémon. Bro, what? Can we like zoom in maybe? No. There's no zoom in button. But we can attack. Just does the default slap animation. We're like so above the ground though. Like am I actually going to be able to attack this this Tyro? This Oh. Damn, okay. Can we pick up items? Oh, we can. Dude. Wait, I can't pick up the Pokéball though. At least it's not letting me. Yeah, it's not letting me pick up the Pokeball. We can... Well, earlier I picked up a pretty feather. Now it's not even letting me pick up this glowing one. Probably because we're a flying Pokemon, though. Oh, no, it let me pick up the... Flo what? Okay, I think it's just weird because we're flying, like... It's not registering exactly where I am on the... Above the item. We do move kind of slow, though, I'll say. But that just could be just because we're using Roaring Moon. It also makes it kind of difficult to tell if we're, like, in range to attack a Pokemon. Uh, yeah, this is making the mission a lot more complicated than it has to be. <laughs> why did I pick Roaring Moon? I mean, I know why. Because I wanted to see if it can fly. Oh, dude, that's so cool! So yeah, the only way to, to quote-unquote fly is by falling from somewhere higher up. It's Buzz Lightyear mode. Oh my! We got our ass kicked! 
I guess that's why you don't use some super effective. Or I mean, fight something that's super effective against you. Let's do Walking Wake then. <laughs> that was sad, man. We got destroyed. Yeah, now it should be way easier. And also because we're using a Pokemon that walks on land, the camera angle's way more zoomed in. Even though we're still huge. Oh my gosh. Die, Deerling. Oh, dude, the attack animation. Whoa. That's sick. Die. Now we should also be able to pick up. Yeah, okay. So it was just Roaring Moon. Or maybe just flying Pokemon in general or a little bit more awkward to tell where your model is on the ground. Can we fight this guy too? It won't let me use the attack directly in front of him though. Oh, it does. Yo, this dude, this dude should be dead right now. Anyway, let's uh, wrap it up. Yo, running away from me? Why are you running? That's pretty cool. Yes, you've got the best synchronization I've ever seen. I'm sure someone with your talent could put this amazing invention to good use. Nice. We get the synchro machine, which I guess lets us use this ability we just saw anywhere in the terrarium. Try it out with lots of different Pokemon. Wait, it says whenever you want. So we can even use it back in Paldea? Oh, only works in the terrarium. Okay, there it is. I figured, but still. Had to make sure. Does that mean we can literally use it like right here too? Let's find out. Key items. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Professor Oak flashbacks. I guess it doesn't work here specifically because we're like in a building. But probably anywhere that's like wild Pokemon can spawn, you can use it. Anyway, uh, let's check up on the poll. What did you guys vote? Apparently, Lacey is winning the fairy type Elite Four. Okay. 35%. I was not expecting Lacey. But maybe like that's the canon way to do it since she's the first one that we met. I think I also need to heal up real quick before I forget. Um, and then you guys were telling me that you can buy the items to evolve certain Pokemon at the school store, but I don't know where that is exactly. Oh, you can just press L and R at the same time to use it? Whoa! Let's see, if we go outside... Press L and R... Oh! Whoa! Dude! Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Look at our character, though. He looks so goofy. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Go, Nine Tails. Okay, we got to test and see how far we can go with this. The only downside is you can't jump. There's no jump button. But, like, this totally feels like a feature that they would expand upon in a later generation. Like, Gen 10, this is going to be crazy, bro. You're going to be able to do anything. Like, climb, jump, fly. Well, maybe. Maybe this is just a one-time thing and Game Freak forgets about it forever. Like they've done with many, many other features in the past. But damn, it looks like we can go pretty far. What the heck? Oh, that's probably why there's the barriers in the terrarium. Because, yeah, oh no, wait, but there's a bridge. I thought for a second maybe they put these these barriers so that your Pokemon, you can't venture too far away from the trainer. But nah, bro, there's literally a bridge. We just crossed over from one terrarium or biome to another. This is crazy, bro. Also, just notice there's no, it doesn't tell me that I can attack. At the bottom, it just says move and quit sinking, but we totally can attack. Yeah, anything we're super effective against, we'll just one-shot. 
It's it's just like auto battles. Actually, I didn't even press the button to attack that Trapinch. It just automatically fought it. So maybe if we just walk up to Pokemon. Oh yeah! You don't actually have to hit Y to attack. You can just walk up and, and it will automatically fight them. Interesting. Okay. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a Rhyhorn. <laughs> okay. Hey, look at that! We completed a Blueberry Quest. I didn't even know I had a Blueberry Quest. Alright, well actually, I'm not gonna unsync yet. I'm gonna, let's see if we can kill this, this Magby. No. <laughs> I should have known. But yeah, this is definitely a feature <clears throat> I want them to expand upon. Let's see, uh... You guys are asking for other Pokemon chat. I mean, I could literally do this all day. Just just test out all uh, every Pokemon. But we're not going to do that. Uh, let me just put Roaring Moon back in here. And we'll do at least Koraidon. You guys were asking for Koraidon. Which is our legendary, so... Go! I'm curious too, if you press it while the Pokemon is already out, what happens? So you do L... And then R. Oh, you can't use it. What? Can't use it while the Pokemon is out, I'm guessing? Let me see. Oh, never mind. It worked this time. Yo! We're good, I done! <laughs> oh, he doesn't turn into motorcycle, though. Oh, you can walk faster, though. Huh. The controls don't tell you, but if you push in the left analog, you can actually go faster. Nice. Now, what would happen if you run into a shiny Pokemon while using this? Because, like, you'll be so far away. Like, like, what if I just keep going down this way and encounter a shiny, like... I don't know, a thousand steps away. There's no way it's going to be there by the time I sink back to my trainer. This seems kind of dangerous, bro. Like, I guess if you use this feature, be careful not to walk too far away from your Pokemon. Or from your, from your character, because... Yeah, there's a chance you might miss a shiny. But, uh, let's check out the Blueberry Quest. Yeah, so you press right on the D-pad. You can open up this menu. And that's where you see your BB Quests. Take a photo of a wild Pokemon swimming. Catch one Pokemon. Successfully sneak up on one Pokemon and surprise them with a battle. Okay, we can do two of those things at once. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that, but I just remembered. Oh, we have, we have other, whoa, wait, there's, oh, there's different blueberry uniforms. Okay, so that's the spring. I don't like it at all. We got the summer. No. We got autumn. Is that the one we were wearing already? Yeah, I think so. And then winter is the one that was actually the artwork, right? Oh no, what? It's blue. So I'm guessing maybe that's the league club uniform then? What? What is this? No, that's... Oh, God. That's hideous. Okay, maybe the tracksuit? No, what? Which one is the one that, that, that the character wears in the official artwork? I guess maybe that one. I didn't realize he was wearing shorts. No, he's not wearing shorts. Look, this is the official art. Wh which uniform is this? It has to be the autumn. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. I guess I just didn't realize, but yeah, that this is the one. Interesting. I think I'm gonna just keep this one on. The other ones are not it. But yeah, Lacey won the poll, so that is the first BB League member we're gonna fight. Uh, but they said we need BB points, or Blueberry points, in order to even fight the Elite Four, so we're gonna have to do some of these Blueberry quests. I'm also curious if you get points from fighting people. I don't think so, but... Let's find out. I'll fight this kid right here. The student store is in the school. All right, we'll check it out in a little bit. Ooh, okay. Yeah, the music slaps, bro. I love it. Oh my god, it's amazing. 
Yep, this is the DLC, Roel. All right, let's go for a... Go for a delay... Oh, no. What's it called? Icicle Spear on the Graveler. Nice. Yeah, so people in chat have been saying to get Diplin's evolution, you need a special move that is a, is a TM, I think I saw? And you buy it from the school store. And then for Duraludon, we have to find Chargestone Cave. However, I don't know where the Chargestone Cave exactly is. Also, I didn't pay attention, but I don't think we got any blueberry points for that, did we? Let me see. We're at 60. Wait, maybe we did get some then. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Charge stone, huh? Yep, just like Unova. This this game is in fact Unova. Unova remakes. Ooh, is this the Charge Stone Cave? That'd be pretty crazy if we just happened to run into it when I was talking about it. Oh, it's not. Oh, it is! Charge Stone Cavern! Dude, see, I thought these were like terrestrial crystals, but no, this is literally, oh my god, dude. Wow. Sorry, I'm like in awe because, yeah, if you played Pokemon Black and White, you'll remember this cave. But it just looks so much better. In 3D. Back in Black and White, you could like push around these crystals and they would like, oh. I thought that was an item, it's just a little Joltik. Wait, can wild Pokemon join? Oh, never mind. <laughs> that mining just disappeared on us. Nice. I thought for a second maybe wild Pokemon could join in now, like in Legends Arceus. Man, the Magnemites are so shiny too. Is that a- Oh, it's a Tynemo. Yeah. This is so sick, dude. It looks like the crystals from Area Zero, but they're electric instead. I mean, I'm pretty sure they reused the model, but just added, like, the- the lightning particles. Which, you know, whatever. They look cool still. They got that glow. That's sick, dude. Alright, so apparently the item to evolve Dreludon should be somewhere in this cave then. Let's look around. It looked nice on the DS too. Oh yeah, that's why I'm like in awe because uh, black and white, like, aesthetically, I love it. It's like the peak of 2D Pokemon. I mean, it literally was the last 2D generation to come out, so... Seeing it updated into 3D, it's, it's perfect. I also can't tell whenever a Pokemon is shiny anymore, bro. Like, what? Just in case, I have to check. I know Galvantula Shiny is not that different from the regular. I'm pretty sure it has kind of like a darker blue than usual too, so it kind of looked like it, but obviously that ain't it. There is, however, a TM right here. Oh yeah, we can auto battle. Whoa, whoa, that's a new TM. Supercell Slam? Okay. This feels like where that new item would be. Like, we're going deeper into the cave. Dude, look at how we, when we walk, our feet are, like, electrically charged. Oh, that's so cool. Yo, get out the way. I need this item, bro. Okay, that's not it. It's gonna be in, like, a way more obvious spot, I feel. They're not obvious, but it'll look, like, more important of an item, I guess. What's this, though? Wait, oh, Electros. Man, there was already a special Electros back in Paldea. Why do they have to make another one? Okay, is it maybe like up here? I don't see anything. Physical electric attack, electric jump kick basically. Wait, so like, if you miss it, you take damage? 
Or is that just high jump kick that's like that? I think they both are. That's like high jump kick. Oh, man. I mean, that's cool, but also, like, whenever you miss high jump kick, it's the worst feeling ever. Doesn't look like there's anything down here, though. Unless I missed something, but I don't think so. I mean, there's this. Mm, yeah, no. This feels like it would be down here, but... Oh, wait. Haven't been over here, have we? PP Max, though. That's pretty crazy to just find lying around in the cave. Ooh, Wild Rotom! Was Rotom already in Scarlet and Violet? I know it was in Legends Arceus, but... Here, let's try to sneak up on... Oh, God. That's the opposite of what I wanted to do. I'm gonna try to sneak up on it because we have a, a one of our BB quests. It says to sneak up on a Pokemon. So... Let's put, let's put Robustus up for... Oh god, it's coming to me. Now go away, Rotom. Go away! Oh yeah, it was already in Scarlet and Violet. Okay. Maybe, maybe not that Pokemon then. Oh, there's another Rotom though. Oh yeah, I already have it in the decks. That should be nice. We got the Backstrike. And a BB quest complete. Easy as that. I'm not going to catch it, though, because we already um, have Rotom. What? I got to really use Substitute? Come on! Good electric physical move dropped. Electivire and Luxray. Oh, my God. Finally, their time has come. <coughs> Sorry, that was supposed. The remix really is fire, though. Okay, wait, so when we complete a quest, yeah, it automatically replaces it with another one. So he's got to catch one Pokemon, defeat 10 wild Pokemon with auto battle now. Alright, I think Robustus can do that. It is kind of more fun to do it with the... Uh, synchronize, though. Hey, stop it. Get over here. Hey, Robustus! Get back here, bro. Okay. There we go. We synced! <laughs> this is so... Oh my god, he's so slow! <laughs> oh... This should still count as auto-battling, right? Or is this a different... ...technique completely? I mean, we'll find out. We only gotta knock out, like, three more. Oh. Yeah, so you can go faster by pushing in the left stick, too. Look at him! Oh my god, the way he runs! <laughs> He's large and in charge. All right, there we go. Quest complete. Nice. You said I get the TM for Diplin from Drayton? Now, people were saying apparently it's in the school store. Which I haven't gone to yet. Oh, we just got to sneak up on another Pokemon now. Okay, we can probably sneak up on this little Drillbur and then catch it too. That'll knock out two quests with one ball. No, oh, bro, turn around. Walk the other way. Okay, I think that should work. Nice. E. <laughs> that Pokemon is clearly farting in the cave. What? <laughs> what are you talking? Oh my god, the way he threw the Pokeball. Oh. We're too cool for this DLC, man. That was amazing. Oh, never mind. Apparently, you do get the TM after beating Drayton. The Steel I- Oh, okay. I got it confused. The Duraludon item you buy from the store. The TM for Driplin, you have to beat Drayton, I guess. Dray Drayton. 
You killed Minior. That's an endangered species. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not wrong, though. They're, they're far and few, those little Minior's. But people were saying apparently one of the items is in here in this cave. Or maybe, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe no one actually said that. Let me out of here. Yeah, there could be one hidden in here too. Like one that you don't have to buy. So I'm assuming you have to buy it for blueberry points, which we're going to need to actually fight the elite for anyway. Oh, this could be it. No, dude, this looked like it would have been a special item. Like, look at this. Look at this area. This is so sick. That definitely looked like it should have been something crazier than a Carbos. Okay, someone did say there's one in the cave. What? Why did we just complete a quest? Oh, pick up items on the ground. Sneak up on a Pokemon. Okay. I'll sneak up on this mini ore then. It's there, but you have to climb for it. Okay. We'll look around for a little bit longer since we need to complete Blueberry Quest anyway. To, uh... Get the points we need to fight the beat the Elite Four. Oh my god, look at the way- Oh, dude, look at the Joltik! <laughs> you guys see how it was hopping? That's so freaking cute. Catch one Pokemon. Alright. We'll catch one of these eventually. Let's see, where do we have to climb? I mean, there's a spot we can climb over here. Will you be uploading this as parts? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not sure when because apparently we had some technical issues with part one. Wait. Oh, it didn't work, huh? Damn. Yeah, so part one. Might be delayed a little bit. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's Excadrill. Okay. Man, that sucks though. It's literally part one. It's the most important, but my recording software was crapping out. So I guess we'll see what I can figure out. Um, but I'm just going to keep streaming and playing it. Okay, further up. Oh, you can go even higher. Okay, here we go. By the way, you need 50 BP for each Elite Four. Oh, that's not that much. All right. Hey, yo. I swear you can go higher than that. Yo. Let me up, bro. What is going on? <laughs> oh. 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 Nope. <laughs> We're just dangling upside down now. Now this ain't it. Let me, let me, how do I get down? There we go. <laughs> what I thought was literally stuck for a second. Okay, so we do have to go up higher. Oh, there's like a battlefield in here. What? What is happening? Oh, what? Yo, she's taking selfies. Back jump time. I forgot about the back jump. It might be time. <gasps> Oh, man, I thought that was a wild one. Ah. Uh, one of my goals, not in this stream, but eventually, I want to get a shiny Beldum slash Metagross. I've always wanted a shiny Metagross. And he's been in Pokemon Go Community Day a couple times, I think. But I've never managed to get one. And it's like one of the coolest shinies ever. So eventually, one of my goals for this DLC is going to be to get a shiny Metagross. But that probably won't happen until after we beat the story. We probably unlock outbreaks. Okay, so we managed to get a little bit higher up. And there is a special Terra Pokemon over here. Is that Porygon? What the heck? That's interesting. Yo, get away from me. Okay, so we do have a goal to catch a Pokemon. Alright, whatever, man. Couldn't sneak up on it, but this is fine. 
It is gonna be electric? Of course. I mean, we're in the charred stone cave. Why wouldn't it be electric? Yo, you found it? Nice. Yeah, I, I think I'm getting closer. Might even be that item back there. Maybe not, though. You know what? We're gonna Trivastalize too. Maximum damage right now. By the way, start catching mons. You'll need a full team of Pokemon from the Terrarium. What? Alright, well, I guess Porygon counts, right? All the Community Day Pokemon this year will be coming back in a few days. Yeah, they usually do that at the end of the year, right? They bring back all the Community Day Mons. Does Quick Ball work on this? I don't think so. It's the way we threw the ball, though, like, it's gonna work. No, never mind. It's Electric Soldier Porygon! I'm getting flashbacks. Get it? Because, uh... Because the flashing lights in that Porygon episode. Oh my god! Why is this thing so tough to catch? What the heck? Oh, and we get paralyzed. Lovely. Yeah, I figured Beldum was like last year in Co Pokemon Go Community Days, so it's not going to be this year. But I did miss a lot of Community Days. Oh no, don't kill yourself, Porygon, please! Wait, did it even take recoil? That was weird. Come on, man, are you kidding me? It's not even shaking once. How hard is this Porygon to catch? This is it. Yeah, critical catch. Oh, it had trace, that's why, okay. Got it. Well, that worked out. <laughs> it it could have very well accidentally died from using double edge. But nice, we got Porygon. And that's another BB quest done. You're gonna have to restart your whole journey? Bro, I might just have to. Might have to re-record episode one, we'll see. Is there any way to do like a... I mean, I know that the Switch has saved backups. The thing is, like, I didn't... Hmm. No, I don't think there's any way I'd be able to get a backup of... Like, I haven't saved the game yet, but... <laughs> I don't want to have to redo all of this again. I guess what I'm asking is if, if there was... No, there's no way I could do it, actually. Whoa, there's just a wild regular Porygon right here, too. Just do post com No, the problem is, it's not the commentary that was the issue, it's, it's the gameplay. The gameplay is super choppy. I mean, what I'll probably end up doing is just upload the one with my face cam. But it won't be good quality. I'll just, yeah, I'll probably just re-upload the stream. Hey! There it is! We found it! Alright! So the metal alloy is located here in Chargestone Cave. This is the precise location. So it's like right in between, or almost in between, these two biomes right here. But inside of Chargestone Cave, which you can access from the canyon rest area. It took us a while to find it though. Like I'm not exactly sure how it would explain where to get that, but... I mean, we found it. So this item should be what allows us to evolve Duraludon. A peculiar metal that makes certain species of Pokemon evolve, yep. Now, if only I could find my Duraludon. I don't remember which box I even put it in. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yes, there it is! Our first new evolution of the Indigo Disc. 
is going to be Duraludon into Archaludon. At least I think that's how you pronounce that. I'm, I'm not really sure. It could be Arc, Archaludon, Arch. I'm going to say Arch. It gathers static electricity from its surroundings. The beams it launches when down on all fours are tremendously powerful. It's literally just a bridge. <laughs> uh, we got to give her a nickname now. And we get Electro Shot. Is that the new move? I think it is, right? The user gathers electricity on the first turn, boosting its special attack, then fires a high voltage shot on the next turn. Wait, it's not actually electric type though, is it? It's still just Dragon Steel? Let me get rid of Metal Burst, I guess. It looks the same. What you mean, bro? <laughs> it's got like... All that going on in the front. The other, right, like, Duraludon is just metal. This one's got all of those colors in the front. It looks totally different. Look at that. Look at the back. It's like a, what, you know those things you use to take out staples? That's what it looks like. <laughs> now let's synchronize with it. Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> look how it walks. Why does it waddle? Oh my god. <laughs> The staple remover. <laughs> it's a freaking staple remover, dude. No, not a stapler. The stapler remover. It's the staple remover. This is so weird. Why is he built like a Megazord from Power Rangers? I mean, he's truly built like a bridge. But you can only really see that when you use its special new moves. Or new move, Electro Shot. Yeah, just for that, we got to name it Stapler. Or maybe just Staple. Just do, we'll just do Staple. <coughs> All right, so... You guys voted Lacey, right? Let's go check out what her trial might be. Oh, whoops. Oh, wait, we can read more about her. I forgot. This hard worker only catches Pokemon she finds cute, so she naturally became a master of fairy types. She's beloved by her fellow students from Nimbasa City in Unova. Nimbasa, not Driftvale, where Clay comes from. Interesting. Kind of want to read about the other guys, too. So Drayton, very capable of dragon types, firmly believes in having fun at all times. He's constantly tired during the day, but stays up late, lazing around anyway. From Opelucid. Yeah, that's definitely Drayton's grandson or something. That's the city Drayton comes from. Then Amaris has trained Pokemon since she could walk and talk. Direct steel Pokemon precisely to calmly corner opponents. She's also a student council president from Castelia City. Okay, big city girl. And then we got Crispin, cooks up amazing super spicy dishes. Still relatively new to battling, but fights tenaciously with natural talent. From Verbank City, little black and white two reference there instead. Nimbasa is the city next to Driftvale. Okay, yeah, maybe she moved away from dad because he was being too much. But I'm going to fly over here. This is where we did our first blueberry quest to find the, the Alolan form, I think. Well, Elisa is also famous, so she could be Elisa's daughter. Oh my god, Elisa and Clay? Nah, bro. I don't I don't I don't ship that. <laughs> I mean she has Clay's like little like hat symbol as her. Oh nice, we finally travel over 500 yards, what? Oh, we got a special quest finally. So these will give you slightly more BP. 100 BP for this one. Battle a wild Terra Pokemon. Okay. We'll be on the lookout for one of them. Now, I don't know if that counts. One from a Terra Raid. I'm assuming yes. But also, that's too much animations. And there's... Oh no, that's another Terra Raid, isn't it? Oh no, that's a, that's a Pokemon. Okay, we'll fight this one, whatever it might be. 
Ooh, Seedra, okay. Uh, I'm gonna guess it... It's gonna terrestrialize into just pure water. So let's try out our new Dureludon. I mean, Arcaludon. And apparently, Terra Raids don't count, really? Well, okay. <laughs> oh, man, it became Dragon-type instead. Come on. Well, I don't care, man. I'm gonna still use Electro Shot. If we can survive... Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so weird, man. It's literally just a bridge. So, first turn, we absorb Electricity. Raise our Special Attack. And now, second turn... Any second now. We unload! Ooh, that was sick. Damn. Even though it was not very effective, we still absolutely blasted it. I think someone said Quick Balls do work. Like, this counts as the first turn somehow. Oh! Okay! Doesn't matter if it counts or not, we, we critical catch it. Nice. Alright, we got Seedra. Uh, no. I'll fix my light real quick because it's kind of blinding me. I'll just turn this up a bit. There we go. Alright. We knocked out two quests with one Pokemon. We still have to take a picture of a Pokemon swimming, but we can't use our camera while riding on Horaidon, so... I guess we're gonna have to do it from the shore. That's a swimming Pokemon right there. Amazing. <laughs> Alright, what else we got? Travel 500 yards, catch one Pokemon. Alright, we just gotta sneak up on something now. Any new Mons yet? Yeah, cool guy, check it out! Boom! I mean, I know that this one was already revealed in the trailers, but... This is the only new Pokémon that we've caught so far. Okay, so how many Blueberry Points do I have, actually? Oh, 390! Damn, we can do all the Elite Four already, then. Defeat 10 Pokemon with auto battles. Sure! I can do that. Ooh, Alolan Muck? Yo. Dude, I was struggling to find any Alolan forms earlier. Now we're just... Well, I guess we still haven't spotted Executor, though. We've seen... Oh! Speak of the Devil! Hello, you... Tall one. Alright. I mean, I don't know why I... I need, like, Gar Gar Gallade. I'm just gonna one-shot it with Ninetales on accident. Bro, I'm trying to sneak up on you, but... I don't think this is gonna work out. Oh, come on! Almost. I'll just try to Quick Ball. If the Quick Ball don't work, then... I'm out of here. And it didn't work. Okay. <laughs> is Alola Vulpix exclusive to Scarlet and Sandshrew and Violet? I don't think so. I mean, I guess I wouldn't know exactly, but I, I don't... That would be some weird version exclusives. Well, not weird, but I guess I would have gotten lucky in that case that I'm playing Scarlet. Because if, if I couldn't get my dear Alola Ninetales just because I was playing Violet... I would, I would rage. I would have raged. Anyway, uh, oh, look at that! Galarian Slowpokes! Hello! And the Galarica Twig! Oh, wow! Well, that's really easy to evolve him. <laughs> the Twig is just right there. Nice. Okay, where the frick did I put my Gallade, though? Man, navigating these boxes is, is, is rough. I need to just memorize what number is which. Pretty sure he should be in the homies. 
Oh, there he is, yeah. Okay, we gotta sneak up on it, bruh. <laughs> he just doesn't even move. Does that still count as sneaking up? It does. Alright. And we just quick ball it. Alolan and Galarian forms in Paldea? Well, technically we're not in Paldea anymore. We're actually in Unova, technically. But this Terrarium... It, it's, it's no region. I guess it's just every region. <laughs> there we go. Galarian Slowpoke. Whoa! Hi there, Orange! It's me, Serrano! I see you've taken good care number of BBQs. Up until now, you've only had access to entry-level stuff. Seeing how you handled that, I think we can give you access to regular quests. Keep up the good work, would ya? See you around. Okay! Well, I'm glad I did some of those. Apparently, now we get some better quests? But they just look the same, I guess, because we haven't... Yeah, probably the next one that we get will be more special. So let me take a photo of one of these swimming Pokemon. Uh, let's just catch one Pokemon. But then there's like a counter. Like where the little crown is. I think that's how many you have to do before you get a special quest. So you still have to do four more. Alright, I guess I'll just auto battle some of these guys. Is there two DLCs or just one big one? So if you buy the DLC, you, you can only buy it as a pack, but... I guess it's two parts. <laughs> I don't know how better to explain it than it's, it's one DLC, but two parts. But now that they're both out, I guess you could say it's just one DLC. It's one DLC with two parts. So the, the price you pay gives you both. I don't think you can buy them separately even. So, yeah. How many more do we have to auto battle, man? I swear that's 10. There we go, okay. Ooh, we just picked up Scald. And in this cave, we got Garbos, okay. How do we evolve NK in this DLC? I'm gonna assume it's probably the same as like in Sword and Shield. Where you have to physically uh, turn your switch. I mean, I guess we can test that out real quick. We do have to catch another Pokemon, I think, for one of my quests, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Come here! Yeah, I'm pretty sure you just turned the switch upside down. Diplet or Inkay was in Sword and Shield, right? I think that's how you did it there. Nice. We finna find out. Well, maybe not right now, but... Yeah, it was in Sword and Shield. Okay. The bridge can't swim. Nope. That bridge is sinking. Okay. Anyway. We got plenty of BP now, so let's go see what's up with Lacey. Ooh, look at her little field. Very pink. I'm sorry, the science is just getting to me right now. I have to know, guys. <laughs> so you grab in K. I'm gonna switch to this. Okay. So, oh, my switch screen is so dark. Okay. So we're in here, right? We got NK. I'm pretty sure this even works with rare candy, so we're just gonna turn the switch upside down. <laughs> this is so stupid. Pokemon in 2023, everybody. Okay. 
Switch is upside down. We just press A. And... Oh my god! It worked! <laughs> NK, look at it! <laughs> it's right side up. Nice. We got Malamar. For science. How to do it for science. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just realized that stopped my recording. I hope that didn't mess anything up. <laughs> A casual reminder that X and Y is 10 years old. Thank you. Making me feel old. All right, yeah, we're gonna go fight Lacey, all right, all right? Quit your whining, guys. It's okay. We're gonna do it now. The thing I don't know is if I'm going to bring Alolan or the fire team. I mean, fire types resist fairy, right? So I guess the fire squad would be better here. The only problem is we don't have any steel moves on anyone. So maybe we should bring uh, the Duraludon that we just evolved. I mean, it's at least got steel moves. Only problem is it's not like EV trained at all. Um, what else could we bring? Maybe Ogre Pond. Some people were asking for Ogre Pond. But I don't even know where I put it. Are you in here? Okay, there it is. Oh, and I don't even have the ice. Oh, whatever. We'll do this. Chang! What are you doing out your ball? Get back in there. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, thank goodness, dude. I thought my game crashed. I was about to say, I, I haven't saved this whole time. I should probably do that. <laughs> oh, that would have been bad. The game's trying to tell me to go fight Lacey already. First, we need to heal. Tell me this girl's got to have a healing machine somewhere around here, right? We got vending machines. We got the reception. Is it over here? Yo, what the heck? What? There's no healing machine. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, we're going to use Arcaludon against Lacey since it's the only Pokemon we have with steel moves right now. Unless maybe Chang can learn like Iron Head or something, that would actually be pretty clutch. Oh, actually we should just bring Golden Go. Golden Go would be amazing against her steel. Well, her fairy Pokemon steel would be good against. Except I don't know where the frick I put Golden Go now. Are you in here? Oh my god. There you go. Yeah, I would have not remembered he was in here. Uh, I guess we'll replace Walking Wake. Or maybe just Quixote. Yeah, I don't think a dragon would be great against fairies, so definitely him. We'll just do Dublood and Staple. Staple has Flash Cannon. Does Metal Burst hit both enemies? I don't think so. I guess Flash Cannon's just our best bet. We have Sturdy too. Calm Nature is not bad. It's not EV trained though is the only problem. And also kind of low level actually. Let me pump you up with some candies. There we go. Do like 10 more. Uh, and what item? Maybe a choice specs? I'm probably only going to use flash cannon with it, so... Choice specs doesn't sound bad.
That is, if someone here... Oh, or maybe a Salt Vest? Yeah, we only have attacking moves. Let's do a Salt Vest. Why not? Now it's time! Except we have to do her trial first. <laughs> but I'm sure that will, won't be too difficult. Welcome to the Coastal Plaza! We're the team that supports Miss Lacey! And you're orange, right? One of the BB League challengers. Why did they have to call it BB League? Just BBL. BB League is not the first thing I think of. It's only 50 BP, thankfully. Duly received and noted. We need you over here, Miss Lacey! Coming! If it isn't orange, so glad you decided to pay me a visit. Please follow me. I'll show you to the trial site. At least it's not BBC. <laughs> there will be something in this game that is BBC. Just wait for it. Thank you for coming to the Coastal Plaza to challenge me. And I'm really sorry for the way I protested you joining. Oh, I guess. Mainly, I didn't want you to get dragged into the drama. I suppose our trial has already begun, though, so let's go have some fun. A Pokemon quiz! I'll ask you five questions about Pokemon. If you can answer them correctly, then you pass. Alright, I'm gonna need your help on this one, Convicted. Thank you for the five, by the way. I know you're a Pokemon master, so chat, I'm gonna need you guys, right? Okay? Let's do it. Then I'll just get everything ready. Oh? <laughs> Imagine she's just like, what Pokemon is this? Question one! Oh my god, it's Iono's trial all over! It's everyone's favorite Pokemon, Pikachu! And with that, question one. Pikachu is an electric type Pokemon well known for producing electricity within its body. But in which part of its body does it store the electricity? Go right for the body part that you think is correct. <laughs> I like how she's doing the little pointer fingers. So you actually have to click the body part? <laughs> Cheeks. Eyes, really? Mouth? Definitely, it's definitely the tape. No. Ears. Hands. Feet. And you can't you can't choose a tummy. I would assume the tummy. But okay, I guess I guess. I'll go for the cheeks. Pikachu's cheeks, man. <laughs> Not something I thought I'd be saying today in this DLC. Now then, question number two. Yes. We got Venonat this time. Oh, I don't know much about Venonat to be honest. Even on the darkest of nights, Venonat is able to use a certain part of its body like a radar, which allows it to detect surrounding objects. It's either its eyes or its antenna. I'm gonna probably assume the antenna? Because, I mean, the eyes seem more obvious. But I, I'm gonna say antenna. I can't even choose them. Stop moving! Okay, there we go. Oh my god, you guys were wrong, chat! Are you kidding me? Only one person said eyes. And it was with a question mark, too. So no one knew. <laughs> No one in chat knew, bro. It's a large part of Venonat's bot. Okay, it has to be the eyes then. Okay, at least she gives us another try. Isn't Venonat even more adorable when you think about how it sees the whole world we can't see? Sure. Now, question number three, man. Oh, you said eyes too. Okay, sorry, Avery. I guess you had it right. We also got another super chat from Onji Ponj. I'm doing good, man. How are you? Here for the from the Naranja days. Damn, Pokemon Naranja. That's a throwback. Sinisty like to live in precious antique teacups. But there are a lot of phonies out there. It's hard to tell which are genuine. Oh my god, we have to... Really? Okay, this is gonna be tough unless we can turn the camera down. Oh, they're spinning for us. Okay. That was so obvious, bro. I thought we might have to turn the camera to look under, but yeah, there's a little mark at the bottom of the cup. And the middle one had it, so... 
Next question. Mini or I already caught one of yous. Oh, please don't ask me how many colors there are, bro. Oh, never mind. No. Wait, do we have to keep track of the pink one? Okay, I can do this. Oh. Oh, I lost it. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's this one. Please be this one. Okay, my eyes are not as bad as I thought. Ding, ding, ding. Even after they return to their meteor form, you still manage to find the right one. Aren't Minior adorable? Their coloration varies based on what they eat. Really? I didn't know that's that's what actually made them different colors. Now we got the very last question. Which is... Granbull? Maybe it heard the word pink and decided to stop by. This little sweetie is one of my own Pokemon. Our last question will involve Granbull here. It's quite delicate and lovable, of course, but can you tell me this? When I take a nap with my adorable Granbull, which part of its body do I use as a- How the frick am I- what? This is a trick question. Okay, this one has to be the tummy. <laughs> it has to be, dude. There's no way she would get close to the teeth like that. Ding, ding, ding! When I cuddle up to it, it's so soft and cozy, we both fall asleep in seconds. That's pretty cute. You managed to get all five questions right, which means... Congratulations! You've officially cleared my trial! Wow, I thought these trials were going to be a lot more difficult. That was, uh... That was something. Why don't we head back to the plaza? Okay. I mean, we did get one answer wrong. You're right. I am kind of embarrassed, Davin. Just a little bit. Since you passed my trial, you earned the right to challenge me to a battle. But what do you want to do now? Ready to move straight to it? Yes, ma'am. I got my squad ready to go. Ready to rumble. Since Lacey uses fairy type Pokemon, I've decided to bring the Archaludon that we just evolved since it is a seal type. Ooh, she got the proper intro. I'm Lacey of the Elite Four. I really didn't expect I'd get to challenge someone like you, Orange. Rightfully, you do belong to a different school. Honestly, I'm still a bit shocked, but I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of our battle. So, uh, let's see. First of all, I should tell you I mostly use fairy Pokemon. Why is she telling us now? We're already getting in the battle. You, you could have told us before. They're weak to poison and steel. Anything too caustic or cutting just doesn't suit them. Oh, but you must know all this already, right? Yeah, I, I was literally just saying it. I want to be sure you walk away with a proper understanding after all. Ooh. You're about to learn that cuteness is real strength. Yo. The theme, though. We got Lacey of the BBL. EF. And she starts off with Whimsicott. Oh, that's got to be Tailwind. This time I'll be facing you with my usual party as a member of the Elite Four. Oh, this is going to be rough, isn't it? Intimidate, too. But that's okay, because these two are actually special attackers. Should we just... No, we shouldn't Terrastalize, because we have Ghost Terra, not Steel. So we're just going to make it rain on him. Double rain on their parade. And actually, I might just bring out Fabi. <laughs> We'll see. Maybe bringing out the sun here will be good. Is this a clay remix or not? I think this is probably like Unova Elite Four remix. I don't know. Yep, there's the Tailwind. Called it. I mean, that's pretty much all Whimsicott does. It's got Prankster as its ability, so any non-attacking moves will have priority like Tailwind. And it actually didn't die either. Rock solid strategy to go after weaknesses, which is why I'll be turning it right back to ya. Oh, yep, focus sash, I figured. Which means she's gonna use some other kind of status move next turn. I forget what else Whimsicott does though. Like maybe it can put people to sleep? Or some kind of stat lowering? Ooh, there it is though. Okay, she's switching things up, so she's got a counter to her own fairies. 
And I think that actually resists make it rain then. Uh, what can we beat Slowbro with then? Maybe... We don't have any, uh... Ground type moves. It's... Poison and... Psychic. Maybe we bring out Dream. Go for a Throat Chop or something. Oh, I guess we could... No, not Extra Sensory. Um... Well, let's just finish off the Whimsicott then. We'll, we'll deal with Slowbro next turn. Oh, I could have Shadow Balled it. You're right. My bad, I forgot. But also, our Doubloon's special attack gets lowered every time it goes... Um... Make it rain. Is in Dream weak to Poison? Yeah, but I don't think it's going to use a Poison move because we had... Golden Go out. It's probably going to go a Psychic move. In which case, I mean, it still might hurt. Oh, flame! What? Why'd you go flamethrower? I mean, I guess that made sense, but... Pre-Marina! Yo! It's been many moons since we've seen this Pokemon. I'm gonna Horn Leech it, too. If we're faster, that is. We might not be faster. We're gonna Solar Beam, too, actually. Oh, no! It's faster! No! Dream! The Dream is dead! <laughs> Well, at least we still get to Solar Beam, right? I don't think it'll one-shot, but we'll get some good damage in. Ba-bam! Didn't actually do that much damage. Oh, God! The Shell Sidearm, please don't poison me! No! <laughs> well, I'm gonna just bring back out Golden Go, then. Or... Should we just use Staple? Is it time for Staple? No, because Golden Go can still Shadow Ball that slow, bro. I don't think they've got... Well, it's got Flamethrower, right? I think we can survive a Flamethrower, especially if we Terrastalize, actually. And then... I guess we'll just Solar Beam again? For some reason, Primarina didn't go for a Water move. Maybe because the sunlight is out. But if we terrestrialize Golden Go and Slowbro still goes Flamethrower, at least it won't be super effective. We can set up the nasty plot. Oh, what the frick? Oh, because it has that ability. It makes sound type or sound based moves into water type. So it can still hit Golden Go. I like the strategies in this DLC. It's pretty cool. Seeing them actually use, like, uh, hidden abilities and things like that. Die! Or not. Okay, it worked out, though. Flamethrower still did a lot of damage, and Fabi's gonna die to poison, unfortunately. But I think we're still okay, because now Golden Go's got, uh... Plus two special attack. And the Tailwind... Okay, that's great. So now we have a shot of being faster. Probably not with Duraludon though, because Duraludon is very slow. But then again, he is a literal staple gun. So... Wait, no. Sta staple remover. <laughs> Let's do it! Shadow Ball! Please one shot. Nice! People asking why I'm not just using level 100 Pokemon. I mean... I, I don't know. Am I supposed to? These guys are like level 70. I feel like that would just be overkill. Oh, Dabloon! <laughs> Under what logic would you Electro Shot? Why? Because I want to see the animation. Just wait for it, man. It's an amazing. It's amazing. It'll blow you away. Electro shot is one turn with rain. Oh, I didn't know that actually. Does that mean it's? Imagine it's like two turns under the sun. <laughs> that wouldn't make sense, but. Uh. Let's hydro steam the Alcremi. Wow. Speaking of overkill, 
Electro shot! Come on, that was worth it. That was totally worth it. <laughs> Does she still have another Pokemon, by the way? I haven't really... I think she's used... This is her fourth, right? Oh, she's got more! Let's go! I was hoping that they would have six Pokemon. And I guess my wish has come true? Let me see. Yeah, she has si six. Six, yes! <laughs> For a second, I thought I couldn't count, but nice! Her final one will be Excadrill. Uh, let's just flash cannon all creamy then. And see if flamethrower does enough. All lies on our great big terrestrial heart. Oh, she's gonna make Excadrill fairy type. Ah oh, man, well that's not great because we flamethrowered it, but I mean at least it's still regular effective. I should have expected it. Like, of course, Excadrill seems to be her ace, but she's going to terrestrialize it into her main type. Still did over half damage, though. But the high horsepower, no! Staple! Who gave him the staple gun? Oh my god! Alright. Alright, now we're in a little bit of trouble. I think I only have one Pokemon left, which is Chang. And that's a new move, someone pointed out. Alluring voice. Yeah, we're down to just one Pokemon, but it is the best Pokemon we possibly could have. Let's see, Excadrill's at half. Well, Creamy, I don't think has anything super effective. Excadrill definitely has a ground move, so we have to get rid of Excadrill. But do we risk Head Smash missing? Probably not. I say we just go Flare Blitz. Oh my god, it's faster! No! No, Chang! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 10,000?! I should have used extreme speed. Bruh. Dream was definitely not it. We gotta replace Dream. But I think maybe if I just extreme speed, I don't know if it would have finished Excadrill. Probably since we have Choice Band. Hmm. Okay, Dream was the problem though. Dream did nothing. But I guess I just, I put Dream out at a bad timing. <laughs> it was, it was the Electro Shot, you're right. The Electro Shot was the problem. Or do we just do the Salty Run Back? I think, I think we bring this guy. No, but he's just gonna die. Then we have two dragon types. Maybe we need a poison type. One of the other uh, legendaries? We could do Okie Dogie, but he's half fighting though. Lucario. Oh yeah, that, mm, you know, maybe. It does have more steel. I want to try one of the loyal three, but then I feel like because he's half fighting, it's not going to go well. Also because that Excalibur or Excadrill, the high horsepower is pretty fast. I mean, actually, you know what? I think we do the salty run back, but the problem is, 
Or the real problem was our Pokemon are too slow. Because Dream is not EV trained at all. But also, I don't know if I actually have any speed EVs. Yeah, I think I used all of the... Oh no, I have some right here. Alright, the beginning of the battle was fine. Dabloon did great. Staple, maybe not so much. The Tailwind is a problem too. Maybe if we extreme speed the Whimsicott right off the bat. To try and get rid of- No, it's gonna get- ta it, it has Prankster, so it's gonna Tailwind no matter what. So really the only way to, like, counter that would be Trick Room. But honestly, I think I'll be fine. It's just, at the end, I got cocky. No matter how much more damage we do to Whimsicott, the thing is, it has Focus Sash too. So it's going to get out its Tailwind no matter what. How difficult is the new DLC? I mean, <laughs> eh. more difficult than I expected. I'll give it that. You're stuck on Drayton. Ooh. All right, well, I'm not trying to be stuck on Lacey, bro. <laughs> Round two, we got this. This time I'll be facing you with my usual party. Wait, was that not her usual party before? I'm pretty sure that's what she said last time anyway. She's just repeating things. Okay, so... Yeah, see, now I'm like, I'm overthinking things. So let's just go with what was working before. Flare Blitz? No, Gramble's gonna die no matter what. So we actually need to just hit Whimsicott. And then make it rain on both of them. Oh, wait, we are faster. Wait, is it not going to Tailwind? Why didn't you Tailwind? Oh, that's great for us. I mean, Focus Sash no longer works. So you did. What? Now Granbull survives, though? you kidding me, man. I mean, at least we prevented the Tailwind. <laughs> Yeah, I've never been a fan of just getting level 100s and tearing through everything. Oh my god. Of course. Of course. Well, that's chain down. That's also why I don't really like using um, max revives or just revives in general because I like making it more challenging for myself. But this DLC in itself is already more challenging, so maybe I'm going too hard on myself. Maybe I'm not going hard enough. What I do know is I'm going to bring out Staple. Because I'm not trying to let Fabi get poisoned. And... Hmm. Oh wait, but it has... Let me bring out Walking Wake too. She just predicted you, my guy. I mean, she knew her super effectiveness, that's for sure. I wouldn't say it was a prediction, really. But, again, she didn't Tailwind, which does change a lot. Nice. Nice! See, we just double predicted right there. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so... We're not gonna Electro Shot this time around. I think we just finished this off. And then, I don't really know how to deal with the slow bro. So let's just Hydro Steam it. Nice, we do at least half. Hopefully we're faster, we can finish this Gramble off. I don't like him. I don't like this Gramble right now. He died so easily in the first battle. But now he's surviving way too long, so get out of here! If only the real Elite Four were like this, with coverage. So there are remix, or not remixes, but rematches against the Elite Four and Gym Leaders later in the DLC. That I'm really excited to check out. Because I feel like they're going to be way tougher than before. 
But now, see, now I'm tempted to Electro Shot, but I'm pretty sure Staple will not survive two turns against this thing, so... Unless... Maybe. I mean, we could just heal, actually. Walking Wake's gonna be in trouble, though, as soon as this Primarina goes for its fairy move. But that's okay, as long as it doesn't hit Duraludon. Did the Light Screen wear off? I don't think so, actually, which means her uh, special defenses are boost. But I think this Electro Shot will still knock it out. I mean, it raises special attack, right? So... Let's see, maybe Primarina attacks Duraludon instead. Nope, of course not. <laughs> Doesn't Slowbro have Flamethrower? You know what? It's a good point, but he didn't go for it, thankfully. Alright, now we gotta deal with this Slowbro, though. Last time we did a uh, doubloon with Shadow Ball. Primarina is about to die no matter what, so I think we just Shadow Ball this guy. Oh my god, the Quick Draw! How could you do this to me? Oh, okay. Wait, I don't think we're faster though. Oh wait, we are faster than Primarina. Oh my god, come on, slow bro. There we go. That did nothing. <laughs> Why did that do so little? That was pretty sad, not gonna lie. That Electro Shot was pretty sad. Now it's time for Dream to die. It's the light screen, man. The light screen's doing the work. I need to check my speed right now. Th th that uh, ability, no matter what, he'll go faster. Please don't. Okay. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I was just way too scared of that slow bro's ability coming in again. Alright, I think we can breathe a little bit, except her ace is coming, but the good thing is we still have full special attack, we haven't gotten it lowered, so we can just make it rain on both of them. And they're probably going to go for dream, I think. So let's just IV cudgel and make it rain and hope for the best. <laughs> Bro, why am I shaking right now? Like, this DLC is actually... Oh, no! Doubloon! We should have given him the air balloon! Oh, man, okay. We still have Ivy Cudgel, though. But how much will it do? Yes! It did enough. No more high horsepowers, which apparently 90% of my team was weak to. IV Cudgel just clutched it out, man. Ah, <sighs> If it wasn't for that, I don't know what we would have done. I mean, we might as well just use it again, bro. This move seems OP. If it wasn't for Fabi Sun, though, I don't know if that IV Cudgel would have one-shot. So again, Fabi... Bringing out the heat help seal the deal right there. Oh, okay, I can breathe, guys. 
I hate losing, but I love seeing such cute Pokemon. My god. This is the real reason I was avoiding doing the story that whole time. <laughs> Orange, did you see? Did you see our Pokemon battling it out? Oh, it's almost too much. They were just too cute even for me. They were super cute. But yo whoa, whoa, did you see that last option? <laughs> for sure, and I get the best view as a trainer since I'm so close to the- Oh, I wish I said, you're the cutest though, Lacey. I just want to know what she would have said. You know, it's just not right for two people to hog all this cuteness between them. Why don't we wrangle up the cute Pokemon here for a cute picture we can share with everyone? And there it is. Even the pictures got better than the base game. Oh, this one's just too cute. I'm gonna make myself a backup copy or three. Okay. I'll give you this as well, as proof of your cuteness. Damn, first we had Drayden saying we're charming, now Lacey saying we're cute. Why is everyone in the BBL trying to hit on us? You really are very strong when you get serious in battle. I wonder how far you'll be able to get facing off against stronger trainers in the school, but I'm nervous now after that. I don't know if we could actually beat Kieran. Like, this man's gonna destroy us. Unless I overlevel my Pokemon, which I'm not going to do still. Because I do like the challenge, but... Oh? Champ in the making. That's one Elite Four member and beat. Things are looking good for you. Lacey's all about cuteness, and that's what helps her make her Pokemon stronger. So, she's into her team. Uh oh, oh, she's so into- okay, that's a completely different. Training her little cuties doesn't even feel like work to her. Wild, right? I bet it's the same for you, huh? You work so hard at it because you like it. Unlike a certain someone who seems busy running himself and everyone around him into the ground just to get stronger. You know, Lacey's polite to everyone else, but she's really blunt with me. I wonder why. Probably doesn't like your aloofness, bro. You might just be the one we need to shake things up in the league club. That's it for me. Good luck with the remaining Elite 3. Is that the first time they've said Elite 3? Like, it makes sense, but I don't think I've ever seen Pokemon actually say Elite 3, Elite 2. <laughs> that was cool. We also got a super chat from Mario Molina. Thank you, my friend. The best Super Mario 64 speedrunner. Excuse me? <laughs> Me? Think you got the wrong game, homie, but thank you for that donation. Appreciate you, bro. This story's making me bite my nails, dude. Yeah, I'm freaking nervous for Kieran now. But hey, that's one BBL member down. Uh I should probably like do an outro just in case. I don't I don't know how I'm gonna end up cutting these now, I'll be honest, because of what happened with episode one, but I feel like all of that could probably be in episode two. So thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next one. But also for those of you guys watching on the stream right now. Also hit that like button if you've been enjoying. Uh, we're going to keep rolling. Right on to the next BB League member. The stream ain't ending anytime soon, boys. It's, it's literally only like noon here in Japan right now. Oh, wait, it's already 2 p.m. Jesus Christ. We, we've been streaming four hours already. I did not realize how fast time was flying. Holy moly. But yeah, which one should we go for next? I think maybe Drayton? Since uh, he's the key to unlocking Driplin's evolution. And I really want to see that. You're in Japan? Yep. We in Japan, baby. Check out the latest few videos if you want to see some Japan content. Also, the vlog channel, Slice of Us, we got a lot of vlogs from Japan there. But, um... I need to take a look at the poll. I lost it, but I'm pretty sure the second most voted was... Who was the second most voted, actually? Does anyone remember? Crispin! Crispin, do him next! Alright, a lot of you guys are saying Crispin actually right now. Now, the stream is not ending yet. Uh, but there's the link to the vlog channel if you guys would...
do me a favor, go check it out. Hit that subscribe button. And stay tuned, because we got plenty more Japan vlogs coming out. Have you tried the sync machine? Oh yeah, dude, it's freaking cool. We did a lot of synchronizing, actually. Um, it was Drayton. Alright, we'll do another poll then. You guys are some some of you guys are saying save Drayton for last. So next fight. Shall it be Amaris? The steel type? Drayton? Dragon? Or Krispy Kreme, baby. Fire type. There you go. There's a new poll in the chat. I'm gonna get myself a snack real quick too. And water. I do need water, actually. You're right. Snack break! Look at this. I came prepared today with the hydration. <laughs> actually, I need to use the bathroom, too, so I'll be right back. Do you have any of those um, oil wipes? So the first episode is shot. Man. Dang, dang, oh dang. How are you guys? Doing good? Okay. So there's these little things in Japan. I mean, I'm assuming they sell them in the States too, but I'd never heard about them before. They basically wipe, they're called oil control paper. They look like some other kind of paper, but they work magic. Cause I have a really oily face. These are so clutch. Oh, probably need two. <laughs> Dude, look at that. <laughs> oh, my face. My face is, is disgusting, I know. For the sweaty boys. Thing, I don't even get sweaty. Is My face gets so oily. It's weird. So yeah, if you've never heard of them, because I'd never heard of them. I don't know. I'm assuming they sell these in the States too. It's just called oil control paper. Maybe there's different names for it, but they're clutch, dude. They're clutch. Anyway, it looks like... Wait, how is the poll going? Krispy Kreme! <laughs> I mean, I put the name as Krispy Kreme. I don't know what else I expected. Drayton is not too far behind, though. 10% lower. I'm, I'm going to call it a winner, though. Drayton... 
Sorry, bro, but Krispy Kreme wins! Which means we have to decide what team we're gonna bring in against his fire types. Oh, dude. I am not ready for Krispy Kreme. We have such a bad team for him, actually. Because he's fire type too, so if I bring my own fire team, we're gonna get destroyed. But also, if I bring my uh, ice team... <laughs> oh, this is so rough. We're gonna need like a rain team. I gotta go pull out a drizzle. Drizzle Pelipper. Destroy it with Feraligator. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work out for me, bro. <laughs> okay. I do have a... Lord Whoop. Is this the one I used to, to beat the Pokemon League? It's not. Where the frick is Whoopy, my like main Claude Sire? Use ice types to show dominance. Bro, I wish. I wish I was that good. Oh man, okay. I mean, head smashing Arcanine would be the only thing that I feel like could do anything to him. Obviously, Staple is not going to do anything here. Let's put Staple away. I don't remember which box he was in, but we'll just put him in here, I guess. We could do the water type Ogre Pond, but... I guess Walking Wake. You know what? Walking Wake with the Hydro Steam... Plus... Head Smash, Arcanine. I feel like those two alone could probably do, like, wreck him. But I still need some more, like, backup Pokemon just in case. So who do we bring in? Who are some Pokemon that can still work in the sun? Anything with ground moves, I guess. I have nothing with ground, bro. Palkia? No, we need we need ground though. Water we have we have walking wake already. Don't underestimate him, bro. I'm not I, I don't want to underestimate him. What about Ursa Luna? Should we try using the Blood Moon? We got Earth Power. It's not EV trained though. We could try Freddy. Could try Freddy, and then we need one more Pokemon still. Dondozo Tatsugiri? I've actually never used that combo, but I know that is a very good, like, double battle combo. Thing is, I don't have them, like, EV trained at all. So I would rather use something that at least has EVs already. Actually, I could use Cerulege. Oh, my Cerulege is level 100. Damn, I didn't even realize, bro. Right, I guess I'm not using Cerulege then. Maybe, maybe Armor Rouge is the call. Can it learn any... No, I can't learn anything that's good against Fire, though. If it could learn something good against Fire, then, then I would say that's definitely the call, but... Your starter, we could do our starter just once the sun is done. Do you have any good rock types? Oh yeah, we got Hisui and Arcanine. That's going to be our boy. Alright, let's just try this. We'll see how it goes. Problem is, Freddy is not at all, like, ready. <laughs> Freddy is not ready. But he do have Calm Mind. I mean, we could do like a bulky set, just HP and special attack or something. I don't even know if I have it enough uh, proteins anymore. And I lost some money against Lacey too. Freddy is kind of OP though, you're right. That's why I'm thinking about him. Why run Sunny Day Team against a fire type? To show dominance. I want to show I'm the true master of fire types, alright? Maybe we lead off with just, like, 
Freddy and uh, RuPaul before we bring out the heat, you know? But then again, hmm. Try to cover our counters. So like, because right now we have a lot of weakness to ground. So we would need grass for that. We have dream and we have solar beam on walking wake, I think. And we have solar beam on, uh, oh no, we don't have solar beam on you. Maybe I should give you solar beam. There's also that new move. I, I never read what it does. Supercell something. Electrifies its body and drops on the target. Oh yeah, you guys said it's like a high jump kick, but electric. Oh, he can't even learn solar beam. Wow, 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 wow. Could use Scovillain. Scovillain was one of my original ideas, but I just feel like Scovillain's, it's a worse version of Dream. Like, we gotta keep Dream. So I'm gonna just give Freddy, like, Assault Vest or something, and then... But then he wouldn't be able to Calm Mind. Not that I probably was gonna Calm Mind anyway. Where did my Assault Vest go, though? Gosh dang it, man. I keep losing track of my, my stuff. Ah, there it is. Okay. What other moves can Freddy learn? Moonlight? Moon Blast? Neither of those would really help against him. Headlong Rush? Mm. Uh, maybe I guess we give him Moon Blast just because it's a special attack. Obviously, we're not going to be able to use Calm Mind, though, if we have Assault Vest. Pokemon ignores changes to evasiveness, and it can hit Ghost-type with normal moves. Hmm. Moonlight heals more under the sun. I thought it heals less under the sun. What? The amount of HP gained varies with the weather. Oh. I mean, I would think that it works less in the sun because it's Moonlight. I'm gonna have to Google this now. Moonlight Pokemon. Restores the user's current health during no weather. During harsh sunlight, it restores half of your HP. Okay. You're right. But I still wouldn't be able to use it because I have a salt vest. <laughs> Unless I just give him leftovers or something. We could do that, but then... Hmm... Maybe I do that, actually. Maybe we just give him leftovers. Let's see, where's my leftovers at? Ah, you have one. Let's give that to you. Or do we put Rocky Helmet? <laughs> nah, I don't think we're gonna tank many hits. Uh, I don't know. I'm worried about this. I'm worried about Crispin just kicking our butt. I'm gonna give you a couple more EXP candies. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up losing each battle at least once. So we can like learn the, the, the Pokemon, the strat. Bro, come on. There you go. Yeah, I guess there, there's no shame in failing once. And then you guys were also saying to switch Dream to Water type. The only thing is it wouldn't be able to make use of the, the sun at that point. But then we're probably not going to use Ivy Cudgel anyway. Maybe we do change it to water. Where's your mascot? Yeah, there it is. Wait, is it a held item? Oh, give it. Okay, there we go. Go dream! Oh yeah, we can do rock type dream instead. I forgot there's a rock type dream. Okay, we're not doing sad boy then. We're doing this one. 
Yeah, we're making him goofy. Or her. We got Goofy Dream instead. Okay, I like I like this more. I definitely like this more. Yeah, the key is just we're not going to overthink it. So, let us begin a new episode. Welcome back to the Indigo Disc. Last time, we got our butt kicked, but then also managed to get our revenge against Lacey. And today, chat has voted... And we're going to be facing off against the fire type BB Elite 4 Crispin, aka Crispy Cream. I don't think there's actually a. I don't have a fly spot nearby to him, so we're just going to have to walk our way there the good old fashioned way. And if you guys are excited, as always, don't forget to hit that like button if you've been enjoying the DLC so far. I've definitely been loving it. Like, there's so many features. Oh my god, look at this! How can you not love this DLC? We got. Fabulous hair. <laughs> the terrarium is just so cool to explore, though. Like, I definitely want to just wrap up the story so we can explore more, but... Of course, that means we have to beat the Elite Four, and they have not been easy so far. Well, we've only fought Lacey, but yeah, she gave us a run for our money. Carmine wasn't too bad. So, I guess maybe this Crispin guy will be a, a better test of... Oh. I don't know why Kodaidon got stuck there, but... Krispy Kreme will tell us, like, a, will give us a better idea of the overall difficulty of this DLC. I had a fly spot near him? Oh, well. I don't think I had it unlocked yet. I'm pretty sure it's this, right? This has to be it, bro. This is looking like, uh... What's that city in Unova? The special one, there's like black and white city, or black black city and white forest, right? This is looking like black city right now, the futuristic one. Oh, we can't even climb these. Come on. All right, fine. I guess we're going to have to find our way around, or right through. Oh, this is the central plaza. What? This isn't even crisp and spot, bro. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, there's just so much vibes to Unova. So many, like, throwbacks to Unova in this DLC. It's crazy. How do I find the Elite Four in Part 2? What do you mean? I mean, you just do the story and eventually you run into them. Or the game will tell you, like, go fight them. Oh, I forgot to eat my snack. Whoops. Ah, whatever. We'll do it later. Did I actually have it unlocked? Am I dumb? Oh, there was this right here. I mean, I'm almost there already. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, guys. I like exploring. You, guys, you, you, you should know this by now. How do I evolve Duraludon? You need a special item? I managed to find one of them in uh, the Charge Stone Cave. It's like up. You gotta like climb up to the top part. It's called the Metal Alloy. Yo, is this Lion King? What? This is totally a Lion King reference, right? Oh, and there's a new TM underneath it. Well, I think that's actually one of the Sword and Shield DLC moves. What's on top of pro- DUDE! Oh, that's sick! It's literally Lion King! Look at him! Pyro is just standing there! Oh my god, that's amazing. Hold on, we need, to, we need to take a selfie with this guy. Wow. That's so sick! Look at him! <laughs> That's pretty cool. You know what? Just for that, we gotta fight him. Let's test out our Brock Dream. Go! Actually, we already had Pyroar. What? <laughs> I thought that was a new Pokemon for sure, but nah. Whatever, though. Get him! Man, Pokemon, they're, they're big fans of Lion King. Because I, I remember Pokemon Snap, or new Pokemon Snap on the Switch. 
also had a Lion King reference in it. Now we got Pride Rock. I mean, it is an amazing movie. Probably my favorite, like, childhood 2D movie. Overall, I guess my favorite Disney movie growing up was Toy Story, but Lion King was my second. What's in here? Ooh, Magmar. What's up, bro? Is this a Magmarizer? No. Is this a Magmarizer? No. Whatever, though. Krispy Kreme should be right around here, I guess, on top of this cliff. So let's see what his trial could be. I mean, he likes cooking. Whoa, Love Sweet. Okay, that's for Milsery. It's not that special. But yeah, since he likes cooking, I'm going to guess it probably has something to do with sandwich making. I don't know, though. Welcome to the Savannah Plaza. And you're orange, right? One of the BB League challengers. That's me. You'll need to hand over 50 BP. Yeah, we got plenty. Now you guys on stream can't actually see it, but we got we got 550, dude. Oh my god, we're gonna have to grind so much for the for the starters. Thank you very much. Hey Crispin, an order's just come in for you. Oh my god, it's so bright. I can barely see this. I'm I'm getting blinded. Oh hey, I saw you in the cafeteria. You're orange, right? Just the person to get my energy pumping. I feel like I'm cooking in a nice simmer over here. But we gotta move somewhere else for this next part. Follow me. Yeah, I moved my camera finally. I should have just put it here from the start. Because there's times where you can't see the enemy's HP bar either. I've been waiting for a fiery challenger like you. Taking on the Elite Four pretty much right after coming to our school. Now that's... L no wonder Kieran and Drayton like you. And if I'm being honest, you've kindled my curiosity too. I should warn you though, my trial's no cakewalk. My elite trial is putting together a super spicy- What did I say? And I mean super spicy. I want something so hot it'll have me breathing flames. I know what you're thinking. Sounds easy, right? But you can't use your own ingredients. You have to negotiate with the league club members around here to get what you need. Once you think you have all the right ingredients, come back and talk to me. Then I'll judge your sandwich making skills with my own two eyes. The key to cooking any dish is picking the right ingredients. The rest is easy as pie. Are you ready to take on my trial? Let's do it! If the key is just making it spicy, then I got this bro. I'm the king of spice. Okay, maybe not that extreme. But I do like spicy food, so... Let's throw some jalapenos in there. I don't know what other ingredients in Pokemon are spicy though. Once you got all the ingredients, come give me a holler. Let's do it! Why Crispin has the same hand movement problems like Gladion? I didn't even notice, bro. What? What's wrong with his hand movements? Oh my god, the music! Wait, is this the sandwich music? This sounds like the Malasada shop from Alola. Mayonnaise! Okay, we got mayonnaise, we got three ingredients if you give me something. Oh, is this like a weird trade quest kind of thing? Three ingredients. Ch chili! Yeah, we need chili sauce! If, I wonder if anyone has any lovely green cucumbers. Gosh dang it, we do have to trade. Alright, so we gotta get cucumber from someone else. This guy wants... This guy has the jalapeno. We need the jalapeno. But he wants prosciutto and olive oil. Bro. I can't use my own ingredients either. How do I get any ingredients? Beat her for some potato salad. Sure. I'll mash you like a potato. Oh my god. There's gonna be some weird trade quest thing. I can see it. We got Julienne. Put the camera up to Electros. Man, I really need someone with Earthquake, don't I? I mean, I guess we have Baxcal- Yo, why didn't I use Baxcalibur? I think Baxcalibur would actually be pretty good against this guy. Unfortunately, neither of these are, are weak to the Ivy Cudgel, but... I mean, I guess we'll Aqua Step. Smackdown! 
And a one, two. Step on you. Nice. Uh, Crispin's got them hot hands, man. I guess he can't stop moving them. Just like Quackoval can't stop dancing. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Every discharge so far has paralyzed us. Kind of annoying. Wait, hold up. Oh, that's her only two Pokemon? Alright, whatever. Get out of here. Dance, water, dance. I just realized it's getting pretty late uh, back in the States. Well, I guess it depends on where you live, but... It's over midnight now in the East Coast, I guess. Maybe we'll get some European viewers to come through. My potato salad says it wants to go with you. Okay, cool. So now I'm guessing we gotta trade this to someone else. And then keep trading until we get the spiciest ingredients. Jalapenos! Yeah, that's what, that's what I need, man. Oh? Oh, we can just battle him for- Oh, or buy them. What? Really? Bro, I mean, I guess I'll just battle you. <laughs> I'm the European viewer. <laughs> well, I'm in Japan, so like... It's only 2 p.m. right now. I literally said I'm gonna keep going until I can't go anymore. And because this is like new DLC, like I'm so hyped to play it that I, I don't feel tired at all. Uh, what should we do against this Blossom though? Actually, I think we got Ice Spinner on RuPaul, so we'll do that. Maybe we can just one shot him both. Australian viewers up in. Okay. Got some Australians in here too. Shout out to the uh, Australians. I think Japan's pretty close to Australia, no? I mean, maybe... Maybe not close, but we're in the same time zone-ish. Okay, and I'll suck it up with some Horn Leech. I have some Italian ethnicity, does that count? <laughs> sure, sure. Alright, please tell me that's your only two Pokemon, man. The first girl only had two, so I'm guessing it's the same for him. Dang, okay, we got people from all over the place. We got Indonesia, Singapore. That's awesome. What's up, Taylor? And of course, we got Americans still in here. I mean, if you're in the West Coast, it's still, I guess not early, but it's also not too late, right? Russia too? Oh my god. I think that's the first time I've seen a Russian viewer comment. <laughs> well, no, never mind. We definitely, we got a donation earlier from Russia, so. Sludge Bomb, no! Bro, Dream just keeps taking L's. I, I feel bad, but. Let's try Freddy. Even though this is a vile plume, I don't know why I'm sending Freddy, but. Can always just Blood Moon. It's at like 2 health. <laughs> Talk about overkill. Okay, actually, yeah, I just off the step. Terrastalize Dream more off. Dude, I always forget Terrastalizing is even a thing. I think because the animation takes so long that I just never bother to actually do it. But you're right, I do need to Terrastalize more. I'm sorry. I see you're a jalapeno worthy trainer. Yeah, that's me. A jalapeno boy. Let me heal your Pokemon too. Nice, dude. Alright, so we got jalapenos. That's that's good. What other ingredients do we have? Just the potatoes? Potato salad and jalapeno. Please tell me someone here wants the potato salad. You just have mayo. Oh my god. No, I don't want mayo. We need the chili pepper, but we need a cucumber for that. What? Oh, there you go. Hand over it for three ingredients. Yeah, here you go. 
We don't need potato salad in the spicy sandwich. We got cucumber and prosciutto. Nice. Okay. That's two of the ones that we needed, but... I think we also needed olive oil. Okay. I'll trade you for the chili sauce. Uh... What else? Let's see if you can get this trivia question right. What do you get when you mix eggs, oil, and vinegar? Egg salad? No. Bro, what? I don't think it's any of these. Mayo? Oh, that's how you make mayo? That ain't even the answer- There's None of these are the right answer then. <laughs> oh, what the frick? Alright, whatever. Maybe we just give him a random answer. I'm gonna say- I'm gonna say jalapeno. Oh! Oh, never mind. Oh, you need to have those three things. Oh. Oh, you give him the mayo. Uh, okay. I see. So, oh, the answers are the ingredients that you have on- on hand. Alright, fine. I guess that means we gotta battle this kid then. Music slaps, bro. I love it. Wait, what is happening? Guys, what's happening? <laughs> no way. There is no way, man. Are you kidding me? Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Amazing. I'm pretty- I'm pretty sure I can't do anything now, either. And I didn't save- well, I did save, but... I think it was before Lacey. Wow. This is bad, though. Like, I've had... Lag before. Lag is understandable. Some of the glitches are even funny, but this is actually game-breaking. Are you kidding me? I want to just sit here and wait, but like, really? It's, it's not going to do anything. Is there nothing I can do? Maybe if we go home and back? I doubt it. We were cooking too hard, man. Oh my god. This can't be real. Crispy, cr crispy cream wins, bro. <laughs> Crispin wins. Look, he's back there. There's literally nothing. I'm pushing every button. This is why you keep auto save on. No, this is why you make your game work. This is why you bug test your game before releasing it. Okay, maybe if I like, yeah, let, let's try to turn off the switch and. Obviously, this is not going to work, guys. I'm pretty sure it's over. I'm pretty sure it's done, though. Check the emergency save. There's an emergency save? Let's see. Nope. Nope, we're still in here. <sighs> All right, how do we do emergency save? Is that a thing? Emergency save Pokemon Scarlet. B, X, and up on the D-pad on the home screen. Bro, this is just sad. Well, at least I've got my jelly donut here. You guys ever had a delicious... Okay, let me see when my last save was. Whoa! 
Yep, we saved before fighting Lacey. Gosh dang it, man. You gotta be kidding me. Should we check the emergency save? Like, or would that no longer work? I'm a half hour behind your stream. Imagine if they called the barbecue or BBQs blueberry challenges. <laughs> BBCs. We gotta complete the BBCs to take on the BBL. Okay, let me see. The emergency save is further back. B, X, and up. I've never actually done this before. I don't even... Coastal Plaza. At 13.53. 13.53. What time is it? 2.30. Isn't that like an hour ago? Or like 30 minutes ago? Also, if I start from the backup data, does that replace my other save? Oh no! Oh, next time you, oh, next time you save, okay. Okay, let's see. It probably is further back, but there's, there's a chance. Huh? Wait, no, look! Isn't this Lacey's domain? We got her beat. Yeah. This is after beating Lacey. Hey, yo! Okay. Okay! We, Lacey is defeated! Okay! Okay, as, that's better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, I'm deaf, bro. I might just have to turn on auto saves after that, man. That's depressing. Like I've always, I guess I never defended the bugs in Scarlet and Violet, but I felt like at least the lag stuff was whatever to me. The performance issues, like I can get past them. But like, that was actually game breaking. That's that. There's no excuse, man. That's just sad. Also, what other quest do we have right now? Claim victory in a Chera raid battle. Wow. Make yourself a TM. Take a photo of a wild Pokemon in flight. Ah, man. I don't. I don't like auto saves though because like. For shiny hunting at least, so I'm gonna have to remember to just turn that off later. I mean right now it's it's fine, it's whatever. I'm just still shocked that that just happened, man. That's crazy. Alright, let's see. The frick is Crispin, man. Oh my god, Tauros! I'll be honest, I don't even want to do Crispin's challenge again, just because... We have to battle those trainers again, too. That's a new one, never seen like that before. Yeah, it has something to do with Crispin's challenge. Like, I'm guessing... I don't know. All the background trainers that are in there, maybe one of them caused the game to glitch. Maybe our character was inside another character? I don't know. I have no idea what could have caused that. Uh, Alright. Well, because that happened, I'm gonna make a change of plans. And we're gonna go take on Amaris instead. Because, yeah, I don't want to do that again, man. I think it's disappointing that I can't catch a starter and use it throughout this. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that, just because I know a lot of people... Whoa, what the heck? 
Oh, these guys are back? Huh. So if you've done a certain amount of battles in each area, I'm guessing they give you... Items? Defeat five students in the canyon biome. Okay. I've only beat one. <laughs> so yeah, that might take a while, but... Hey, Sinistee! Nice. Yeah, just because that Crispin thing is too recent in my memory, we're gonna go try out Amaris' trial. And also, because it might just unlock the ability to fully fly. I don't think we unlock it yet though. I think you probably don't unlock it until the, the final part. The Terrastal Cave or whatever. Area Zero. Is that it right there? Looks like it. Also hope it's not raining during her actual battle because that'll severely put a- oh wait, actually no, we have drought. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, this is the arena, so we gotta go down to actually take on the trial. Ah, that definitely threw me off. So, here we are, taking on a Morris trial instead. I'm ready! Nice. Now here she comes, our very own Amaris! Yeah! She's looking kind of shiny. Is it because of the rain? Maybe her, her character model is wet? <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna be raining during this too? I have a bad feeling, like, <laughs> I hope this doesn't cause some other glitch. The decision to allow you to take on the League was irregular, an exception among exceptions. I was against it, as you know, but the Academy allowed it, and their ruling is absolute. Therefore, I will carry out my duty as a member of the Elite Four as flawlessly as I always do. The Elite Trial I devise starts right here. I call my challenge the Flying Time Trial. You'll need to fly around the skies of the terrarium while riding a Pokemon. Reach the goal within the prescribed time and you will pass the trial. Fly through the Magnemite rings and extra time will be added. I recommend you go through as many rings as possible as you fly towards the goal. See, this is nice and easy, simple. Unlike frickin' Crispy. Why do you have to make his challenge so complicated? I assume you have a Pokemon to ride on? Please bring it out of its ball. Go, Cory! Yeah! With some effort, this Pokemon should be capable of flight. Your name is Agias, yeah, what? Okay. <laughs> Never knew that was Cory's actual name. I guess I should have known. Pokemon do say their name. At least in the anime. What your Agius just consumed is a supplement that enhances Pokemon's flight capabilities. I prepared it using the leaves of a mysterious plant that was grown found, or found growing in the terrarium. Your Agius will be able to fly through the skies, but only for the duration of the trial. Alright. Fly through the rings for extra time. Controls seem pretty simple, so... Let's do it! And pray it doesn't glitch out again, please. <laughs> At least the rain stopped. I was worried that even if it didn't glitch, it was going to slow it down. But the skies are clear and ready for some flying. Any second now. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> I really thought we crashed again. My god, that would have been suck. First try? Let's see. Okay, so the controls are not reversed. Usually, in like flying games, it's like up and down or, or reversed, but here it's just, yeah. Down goes down, up goes up, and then left and right. Though I wonder if we can speed up somehow. Oh, we can move the camera. Okay, that's good. <laughs> 
getting some Superman 64 vibes all of a sudden, if you guys have ever heard of that game. Uh, yeah, pretty easy so far. I don't know if maybe Koraidon's gonna speed up as we go through more of these? Doesn't seem like it though. What? That's it? That was really it? What? Really? Okay. <laughs> I mean, sure. It's easier than making a freaking sandwich. Same energy as Grusha's Trial, for real. Grusha's Trial, you literally don't even have to move the, the, the analog stick, though. Here, at least you had to move it a little bit. We did it! Now, a change of location is required once again. Come! Not all trials are built the same. But that one wasn't even built at all, bro. They just threw the Legos on the floor and said, hey, Go ahead. Do you wish to begin? Yes. Understood. Let's assume our battle positions. Oh man, she's... Carmine's been hanging out with her too much. Position assumed. <laughs> Don't like that. There's one thing I wanted to ask you. Oh wait, I just realized. I didn't get my team ready at all. Oh gosh. Kieran, what is he to you? Uh... You know what, with how he's been acting now, I guess he's our rival. But we haven't really seen how strong he really is yet, so... Let's just say pal. So you consider him a friend, I see. <laughs> For my part, Kieran is the younger brother of my dear friend Carmine. Something in him has changed. He's not his usual self. I find this deeply concerning. If possible, I want to be the one to help him. That being the case, I cannot afford to lose. Okay. Our battle starts now! Yes! The music is getting me pumped for it. So let's hope my Pokemon can actually do this. As she sends out Dutch- Oh, she uses Steel! I thought she was flying because her trial is flying. Get ready, Skarmory! You two Duck Trio, we're finishing this battle right on schedule! Oh, this ain't good. I mean, I guess we have Flare Blitz at least. But, I don't know. I'm still kind of terrified of this. Uh, what is my team? Okay, yeah, no. We have the wrong Pokemon, bro. Uh, no, 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 no. Well, at least we have the Fire-type Dream. But we didn't even send out Fabi to power up the Sun. Actually, wait. If we switch out the Bloon right now, I think the Drought should still power up our Flare Blitz. I love how we throw our Pokeball, that's so sick. Okay, nice, yeah, so we still get the Drought. And we're so screwed. Oh my god, we're so done for, we're just both gonna get one shot. Oh, Chang, no! <laughs> I should have brought an Air Balloon, man. Or just hope that we were faster, but either way, that wasn't it. Oh wait, what? Okay, I guess I'll take Walking Wake. Chang is so slow though, bro. Like, I think I should put Choice Scarf on him, to be honest. We have Choice Band right now. Yeah, I think I think we gotta switch it up. But either way, I don't think we would outspeed Duck Trio. So let's go for Dream, breaking the mold. And Ivy Cudgel, now that the sun is out. I mean, if we can survive an Earthquake, that is. Let me just go Flamethrower on this thing, too. Yep, there's the Earthquake again. Okay, we live those. And Flamethrower almost one-shots it. Do you have a freaking Focus Sash on this thing? Come on. I guess it's good we went Ivy Cudgel then. Yep, she got the Focus Sash. That's annoying, man. It's alright though, I mean, Dream will finish it. Bit of overkill, I'll say, but at least we finish it. Oh, the Stealth Rocks! Ah uh, ha ha! That's why people were telling me to use Heavy Duty Boots, huh? 
Well, it's too late now, but she's gonna send out Reuniclus. And now I keep forgetting to Terrastalize, but I'm gonna actually do it this time. And also, let's use a Hyper Potion on, on Dream, actually. Please don't use Whirl- oh my god, I just remembered she's got Whirlwind. So that's her strategy, huh? Just Whirlwind and keep bringing things out to get hit by Stealth Rocks. And it probably has Sturdy too. Oh my god. The double Sturdy because she has the Focus Sash. This is annoying, man. It's alright, Dream! With the Flame Mask! Won't one shot it. I don't know why I'm getting excited, but. We'll bring it down to red at least. Oh no, not the psychic! Oh! <laughs> that actually hurt a lot more than I thought. I wonder what her ace Pokemon is actually, because. Oh my god, there it is! Someone's about to get hit by Stealth Rocks, and it's gonna hurt too if it's like Ninetales. It's probably nine kills, isn't it? Oh, Golden Go. Oh, he's fine, actually. I don't think Stealth Rock affects him at all. Oh, no, it does. Never mind. You know what? I'm gonna bring out Staple, then. Because the Stealth Rocks won't hurt him that much, either. I just wish we had a Pokemon with Rapid Spin now. Or something. Let's Shadow Ball that Reuniclus. And at this point, I mean anything will probably finish off Skarmory, so... Oh man, we can't even finish Reuniclus, come on! Oh my god! We're slower than the Skarmory too? Whatever, dude. We might have to revive Chang at this point, we'll see. He had Rocky Helmet too? So annoying. Oh, the Trick Room! Wait, doesn't that mean that our... Our Chaludon will be faster now? Amaris actually giving us a bit of a helping hand there. Appreciate it. But yeah, all the other Elite Four, we've seen their ace. Oh, and Polion! Was not expecting that. That's pretty cool. Actually, you know what? Oh man, I just, I don't know if, if this is worth it, but... I think maybe we could Max Potion our Chaludon and try to go for the Electro Shot on Empoleon. We'll see if this works out. But yeah, uh, Drayden we've seen in the trailer he has our Chaludon. That's probably his ace. Lacey we found out is Excadrill. Crispin is probably Magmortar. But we don't know what Amaris' ace could be. Or at least I don't think we've ever seen it in the trailers. Okay, we're living. Somehow we're still slower in the trick room though. Unless Electro Shot always goes last. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure unless we heal, uh, we're gonna die. So I, I feel like a noob that I keep using healing items, but I'm not trying to lose, bro. <laughs> Especially with the fact I brought the wrong Pokemon and Crispin crashed our game. Like, I'm just trying to get through this at this point. Now watch him freeze. Okay, we're fine. Electro shot! Blast him! Oh my god. You suck. You suck, our Archaludon. I'm, I'm never bringing you on the squad again, bro. Somehow that reverted the trick room? Is that what just happened? I'm so confused. I'm just gonna make it rain on him, dude. I, I can't. I'm over it. Just in case this doesn't finish in Polion, which it doesn't actually. Oh, I should have gone for... No, wait. Metal Claw would have done less. Oh, wait. Dragon Claw, I mean. I don't think this Flash Cannon is going to do anything, considering it's four times not very effective. Oh, but it still finishes it. Critical hit. Okay. <laughs> So bad luck can play a role too. That's good to know, thank you. <laughs> Why is she so stiff? <laughs> it's a good question. Amaris dances like an Air Force slash flight attendant. Yeah, it's a very military. For sure. Oh, Metagross? Yo, that's her ace? 
That makes a lot of sense. She's like all about smarts and Metagross. I think it's Pokedex talks about how it's one of the smartest Pokemon. Right? Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know, but I'm going to revive Chang, bro. I think we need Chang at this point. Oh, no, but wait, I'm going to do that with. Uh... Yeah, I guess I'll just Shadow Ball and then we're going to revive Chang. It's a literal supercomputer. Yeah. Dude, that's cool. Time is short. Let's wrap this battle up. Oh, right. She, she's going to terrestrialize, which means it's no longer going to be weak to the Shadow Ball. But maybe we can get the special defense drop. That would be pretty clutch. Maybe. The other thing is, the Trick Room is no longer in effect, I think. Or maybe it is? Come on, special defense drop. No! Why'd you go pounce? I guess Scizor has nothing against us, both being Steel type. Oh, but Metagross does. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> this is fine, though. The Hearth Sunlight fades. Oh, okay. This is not fine. Pretty sure Fabi's gonna die to Stealth Rock, but. All we really need is to get the sun back out here. Or. Wow. Wow, that does damage before the sun? Are you kidding me, man? I didn't know that's how it worked. <laughs> what the frick, bro? All right, well, I guess I'm reviving Ninetales then. <laughs> we need the sun. We need Ogre Pond now. There's no way... Arcanine is going to get through all this. Watch Metagross have Earthquake too. Okay, I, th I, I think we kill it. Nice. Alright. Actually, we might just be fine. Because Scizor is four times weak to Flare Blitz. <laughs> and Dream is still Terrastalized. Wow, I totally... Yeah. I definitely don't use Dream enough. Or like, the Terrastalize enough. We could have honestly probably done this without reviving. Because, like, Dream Ivy Cudgel. But whatever, man. We did it in the end. <laughs> I'll take the dub. Whatever way we... Whatever way it comes. As the Scizor goes down. And Amaris just got skill gapped. More like potion gapped, really, but I'm not enough, I see. Damn. Got the self esteem issues. The strength of one's Pokemon reflects the strength of one's beliefs. Your desire to help Kieran is evidently greater than my own. You got that right. <laughs> Why she look kind of angry? She's like, what you say about me? How frustrating! All right then, time for a photo. We must ensure that your victory here is properly commemorated. Wow! She gave us a little heart. <laughs> okay, we're just swooning everyone in this DLC, I guess. I'll give you this TM too. It contains a favorite of my moves. Hard press. Is that a new one too? Oh yeah, it is. The target is crushed with an arm, a claw, or the like to inflict damage. The more HP the target has left, the greater the move's power. The more HP the target has. So the more HP your opponent has, the more damage this does. Interesting. It is up to you to help Kieran, Orange. I entrust my wish to you. Time for me to go. So long. So I guess her whole gimmick is time? Okay. Hey, he's back! So that's two Elite Four members down already, huh? You sure are crushing it. Amara sure leaves an impression, huh? It's wild seeing her and Carmine talk. You'd never guess it, but they click in a weird way. It's pretty funny to watch. The thing about Amaris is, as rigid as she looks, she's got a sensitive streak a mile wide. 
Remember that about her, okay? Even if it's hard to tell from outside. Yeah. Usually the people with the hardest exterior have the softest interior. Seems like things are going well with the BB League. Right, Orange? Yo, I just realized Kieran's belt. This, this, this thing is sparkly. Like, this man's wearing it like WWE. What's up, mighty champion? Scoping out the competition? I was getting worried. It'd be so disappointing if Orange had gotten weaker. But you seem as strong as ever, thankfully. Go all the way, Orange. Don't go losing. Yeah, not until I get to you. I mean, I did already lose, actually, but... Uh, <laughs> I blame my cockiness on that one. Someone's good and riled up. Anyway, you got places to be, right? I better not keep you. See ya. Good luck with the remaining two. You're one of them, bro. What? Okay. Ah, the next one I'm definitely dreading, though. Not even because I think I might lose, but because of what happened earlier, I don't want to risk freaking crashing to Crispin again. But at least now we have auto saves. So, we won't lose that much progress. Yeah, good thing Kieran wasn't around to see our first battle, that's for sure. Yeah, I gotta prepare my team too. I was not ready for Amaris, but somehow we still managed to do it. But for Crispin... Crispy Cream? Which Pokemon was I going to bring again? I, I know Freddy. And I believe, uh, Quackaval? I think this was it, right? And then I switched Ogre Pond's Mask. Pretty sure that's all I did. Okay, let's give that to Ogre Pond. And, whoop! Is it just me, or does it look like Kieran's vitality's been drained? Well, that's the theory a lot of people have, is that he's possessed. I don't know if that's exactly the same as his vitality being drained, but it definitely looks like... ...something is, is in control of it, or something is... Yeah, something's not right with that boy. <laughs> or as Hank Hill would say, that boy ain't right. Let me give uh, Freddy some candy, though. 73. Ah, but we'll go 74. And then, I think I was gonna give Ursaluna the... Okay, first of all, we need to give Chang the freaking Choice Scarf instead of Band. But I don't know if I actually have a Choice Scarf. Where would that even be? Somewhere around here, right? Focus Sash. Uh, I don't think I have a Choice Scarf. That boy ain't right, I tell you what. Oh, there it is. Choice Scarf. I have two of them, actually. Wow. Nice. Alright, so that should change a lot. And then, I guess we can give Ursa Luna... Hmm. I don't want choice specs, because he's got Calm Mind. I don't know what we give him, to be honest. I mean, I feel like Assault Vest is good, but we just need to get rid of a, a Calm Mind then. But where is my Assault Vest? I lost it again. Oh, there we go. Okay. Give him that. Uh, everyone else looks good. Quackaval, I mean, Muscle Band's not a great item, but whatever. You were thinking about adding Baxcalibur. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you, Upper Alpha. I think I might do Baxcalibur instead of Quackaval. I just feel like is not really going to help. Even though, uh, what's his face? His fire type? Baxcalibur has the Thermal Exchange ability, so if it gets hit by a fire move, it actually gets powered up. Where the frick is my Baxcalibur? Oh my god, I lost him again! 
It's not this one, though. I have a different one. Where do you go? I have to search for him. <laughs> there we go. Why are you in this box, bro? Who told you to come here? If you give Quackleball ability capsule, it gets Moxie. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I still don't know what would be better, though. I still, I still feel like Bexcalibur might be able to do more. But then again, it doesn't really have anything. Oh, it has Earthquake, actually. Could do Earthquake. But then, none of my Pokemon are flying. So... Yeah, I think I did, actually. No, it has Torrent, not Moxie. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we do... May, uh, you know, let's, let's try it. I do want RuPaul, since he's our starter. I want him to at least be in one of these Elite Four battles. He's definitely not going to be in the one against Drayden. I mean, he could be. There you go, we got Moxie now. What nature does RuPaul have, though? Oh, I Eevee trained him, I didn't even know. We got Modest Nature, yeah, that's great. That's, a, that's an excellent nature for a physical attacker, isn't it? Well, let's give you either Jolly or Adamant. Thinking Jolly. We've been needing the speed. Also, does Chang have Jolly or Adamant? He's jolly, and he's still been so slow, man. Alright, let's go with that. We'll lead off with, uh... With Freddy RuPaul. And then if we need the power of the sun, we'll take out these guys after. I mean, if we're gonna be going Rockhead, maybe we should lead off with Chang instead. Slap a band on him. I mean, he's got a Swords Dance, though. Not that I've really been using Swords Dance, to be honest. So maybe we should just slap the band and try to sweep with Aqua Step. That way every kill we get, it'll give us um, speed and attack. Because of Moxie. Okay, let's try that. We just won't use Swords Dance, I guess. <laughs> Uh, where is it? Alright, we're doing it. The double choice. Now we gotta make sure to save the game so it doesn't freaking crash again. And now we're ready to take on Crispin. Is that actually his name, Crispin? It is, right? I called him Krispy Kreme so many times that now I'm thinking that's actually his name. <laughs> you guys ever see The House of the Dragon? There was a guy named Crispin in that show. And similarly to Crispin in this game, that dude seemed to be bugging too. Yo, I'm like still low-key on the lookout for any shinies. But I don't know what a lot of these shiny Pokemon would even look like. Like, do you see that, that, that Saw's Buck? I'm pretty sure it's just the lighting, but it looks like a totally different color than the other one we just saw. Wait! Wait, there's no way! <laughs> there's no... <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> oh my god. I was literally saying it was the lighting, bro. It wasn't the lighting. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. That's freaking funny, man. That is freaking funny. I don't even care. I'm going to, I'm quick balling this thing, dude. I don't want to risk losing it. Just just casually stroll upon a shiny. Oh my god, what is Arcanine doing? You guys saw that? Like, okay. That's amazing. 
I would have never known that was a freaking shiny sauce buck. It's a female too. Or she. She is her. So she will be Bambi. <laughs> Arcanine got the zoomies after that one. I mean, I, I kind of got the zoomies too. That's freaking crazy. What is up with the timing on my recent shinies? The same thing happened in my last stream with like... I think it was shiny Litwick. I was saying how like, oh, these shinies are really easy to find. Like you can just walk around and run into them. And then I literally did. Also, what's up with this nest? This looks like it would be Vullaby, Vullaby, whatever. It's a weird little detail, the fact that there's nothing in the actual nest anyway. That's crazy, bro. There's a lot of clips from this stream. I'm gonna be posting. Like, we had the glitch happen, now this. Pretty sure there was another one at the beginning, too. I forgot what the clip was, but some funny happened. How far into the DLC is he? So we'd be in two out of four. Elite four. We would have beaten three by now if it wasn't for my game crashing. But sorry, we're gonna go beat up Krispy Kreme right now. Whoa, whoa, what is this? What is going on here? Okay. What? What? What is going on in this DLC, man? I'm so confused. <laughs> Got the love suite too. Okay, now it's time. I'm gonna just save the game again, just in case, man. All right. I think the team is looking good. So let's do this. In case you guys missed it, what happened is I did this challenge already. Well, I was in the middle of getting this challenge done, but my game freaking crashed when I was about to fight Crispin. And I didn't save beforehand, so... Yeah, I had to redo some stuff. Actually, it didn't set us that far back. We didn't have to redo anything. But now we have to redo this, which is kind of annoying. His trial is not my favorite, I'll say. DLC's better than the OG game, changed my mind. I mean, I would hope so, man. The, the, the base game... There's some high moments. But, like, there's a lot of it that just drags on. Like, the story... The ending of the story is really good, but for the most part, the middle part... Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of the downfall of Pokemon in general, though. Like, Legends Arceus would be a 10 out of 10 game if it wasn't for the story. Gotta get the Mayo! Yep, we got- let's do the Mayo first, right off the bat. Mayonnaise crashing the game! <laughs> what does BP stand for? Oh man, the freaking acronyms in this DLC are stupid though. We got BBL, BP, BBQs. Okay, we didn't crash this time, let's go! This trainer was the one that crashed our game before. But this time, we're fine. She got the double, uh, lions. It's about to say double dragons. Just because it rolls off the tongue, but... What? You really avoided it? Come on! Alright, whatever. Maybe this still one-shot's nice. I cannot believe freaking mayonnaise crashed my game. Mayo is my profile. Uh, your name is Mayo! What the frick? <laughs> We got mayo in the chat, that's crazy. What's up, mayo? <laughs> Alright, let's aqua step it again. I'm glad we re redid this, actually, because the first time around, I didn't have Moxie on Quaqua Ball. Or the Choice Band, either. So, like, this is way better. Well, we have a better shot at beating Krispy Kreme, I feel. I mayo underestimated you. 
bro. The puns in this challenge. The puns in this DLC. Actually, there haven't really been puns. It's, it's just been crispy saying like zoomer things. First he said that's fire, then he said it's lit, which I get it. He's a fire type guy, you know? Anyway, the reason we need the mayo is to give it to this kid. Basically, if you missed it earlier, this whole challenge is about trading ingredients to make a super spicy sandwich. So we get the mayo ingredients. Uh, this girl wants a cucumber, which we have to get from someone else. So yeah, we're gonna have to go battle those other two first. Uh, where were they? Was it you? No, this girl, uh, this guy wants to trade actually. Prosciutto and olive oil. We have one of those. <coughs> okay, this guy wants to battle for jalapenos, right? Okay, let's do it. Actually, we could just buy it from him, but I have a feeling we're gonna need all the BP we can get for the legendaries at the end and also for the starter Pokemon. So I'm not gonna waste any of my BP on useless crap like that. Oh, this is actually a way better combo too. Chang and RuPaul. This is like Paldean All-Star combined with Alolan. Or sorry, Hisuian. Like Chang was MVP in my Legends playthrough. Was he? Maybe not MVP, but he, he's probably one of my favorite Hisuian Pokemon is Hisuian Arcanine. I love these remixes. If you thought that was bad, just wait a couple more years till the main character says Rizzler. <laughs> I mean, you could say it right now, you just gotta name your character Rizzler. Every character will be saying Rizzler. Isn't that the, the word that won like word of the of the year or something? <clears throat> like every year the dictionary chooses the word of the year, and apparently Riz was the most popular one for this year. Which I am not surprised in the slightest. I, I feel like I've heard everyone say Riz nowadays. To different effect. Like I feel not everyone has the Riz to say the word Riz. <laughs> but to me, it, it's such a weird word because in Puerto Rico, in Spanish, well in Puerto Rican Spanish, we have a word called Guille. Which is kind of similar to swag. Which is also kind of similar to Riz. So in a way, I feel like Puerto Rico has had the word Riz since I was a kid. So, I don't know. Then again, swag has existed for a long ass time too, so. Tadipo un You know, he's a Rizzler. <laughs> Alright, what are we going to do against this Electros? Uh, maybe Head Smash just kills it, I don't know. Ba-boom! Damn. You even got the Focus Sash. Come on. What's up, Envy? How you doing? RuPaul kind of sweeping, not gonna- Yeah, RuPaul's doing, doing, doing work right now with the Moxie. I'm liking it. Oh, until the discharge, that is. Critical hit, and we get paralyzed too? Of course. Dude, discharge has literally had 100% paralysis so far. Well, actually, it didn't paralyze RuPaul at least, which is good. We still, we still faster. You did. Oh my God, they killed Kenny. <laughs> That's a good name. Uh, this is my third Elite Four. Would have been, we, we would have almost been done if it wasn't for that crash. But whatever, we're past it now. I'm not going to mention it again, alright? Didn't happen. Okay, so we get the potato salad from this girl. And then I know there was a guy around here that wants the potato salad. Maybe him? Yeah, that cold potato stuff. 
potato salad. And he will give us the prosciutto and the cucumber. So we can use his cucumber. <laughs> we can use his cucumber to get some chili sauce. At least it wasn't his eggplant, right? And then we can use the olive oil and the prosciutto to get this guy's jalapeno. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Do we need anything else? I feel like maybe mustard. Mustard is kind of spicy, right? Vinegar for either marmalade or mustard. Do I have vinegar? I think so. Let's take the mustard. And then this guy- Oh, chorizo! Dude, chorizo is definitely spicy. This guy wants eggs. I got eggs, bro. Take it. Alright, so we got two jalapenos, we got chorizo, we got... Uh, the, the chili sauce. Do we put mayo in it too? Or sorry, not mayo, uh... Mustard? I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm missing a, a ketchup. I don't think ketchup would be good. Yeah, no, I think we're fine. Alright, let's get cooking! No put mayo? Oh wait, but your name is Mayo. You're trying to trick me, Mayo. No, 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 stop it. We don't need mayo. Oh. What? Okay, we definitely want jalapenos. Should I put an onion in there too? I know chorizo for sure. I don't know, I guess we can- no. I don't want this to be like, ruin it somehow, that like, we didn't need to put onion. I'm not putting onion. I'll put the chili sauce, I'll put the- oh dude, it's literally sriracha! <laughs> or is it Tabasco? Kinda looks like, more like Tabasco actually. I feel like mustard has a spice to it. I mean, it is a spice. Or do we just put everything? Do we literally put everything? Alright, let's put everything, boys. <laughs> I don't want to put the mayo, but mayo is in the chat asking me to put the mayo, so we'll put the mayo for mayo. The triple sauce mix! Alright. This is, this is gonna be a beautiful sandwich. I'm being very delicate with this. Don't want to drop any ingredient. Oh my god, these chorizo are going to be rough, aren't they? Oh wait, I just realized we have even more jalapenos. Okay, don't fall. Don't fall, my chorizos. Ugh. Okay. This is this looks horrible. Ugh. Okay, it didn't fall at least. We got more jalapeno. Oh god. Oh jeez. Uh, right in the middle. Okay. We're good. We're Gucci. Amazing sandwich. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Didn't even slice the chorizo. Like, what are you doing, bro? What is going on? Please tell me this works, man. Oh, Crispin is eating it. Oh my god, he just has six mag mortars. Yes! <laughs> That's pretty funny. He loves it! So spicy! A spicy hot! This isn't spicy anymore! It's just pain! <laughs> That's just how you wanted it, no? I think I can give you my verdict. Is it lit? No? Well, it's lit enough to pass the test, I guess. <laughs> Now imagine his team actually is six Mac Mortars. I'm gonna enjoy the tingle on my tongue as we head back to the plaza. Okay. I was enjoying that little tune, but they cut it short. Well that wraps up the trial, so it's time to face me in an elite battle. You all prepped and ready to take me on? You know, I kind of want to save just in case. But then you guys know I'm kind of stupid, right? <laughs> so we're cranking up the heat! So, Orange, 
I take it there's some messy history between you and Kieran, huh? And it sure seems like Drayton's cooking up some fishy too. Ugh, everything's getting so complicated. Can't y'all just get over your... See, this is my kind of guy right here. This is exactly how I feel when there's any drama going on around. I just burn it all away. I'm Crispin, the Elite Four rep in this here Savannah bio. I want to win, so that's exactly what I'll do. I like his hair too. Like if I could pick any character's hair to have in this game, I'll put I'll pick Crispin. Ooh, kicking things off with the Talon Flame. Okay. Does that mean he's gonna throw up a Tailwind too? Time to get cooking. Wait, no, time to start battling. <laughs> Who let this man cook? For real, like when it comes to his dialogue. I feel like someone is, at Game Freak was cooking too hard. Oh, I just realized. Rotom Heat, bro. That's a half electric type, so maybe RuPaul is not the best bet here. I'm gonna I'm gonna just swap out to Freddy actually. Oh wait, but it has levitate. Oh shoot. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, bro. All I'm hoping is Head Smash. I mean, we know Head Smash is going to one-shot this thing. Unless we miss, of course. Oh. Okay, he's got the Drought, too. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Not the Will-O-Wisp. Oh, Freddy avoids it, though. Let's go, Freddy. Love to see it. Okay. Problem is, that Rotom levitates. So I guess I'll just go Blood Moon and see how much damage we do. Oh, the Talon Flame has Focus Sash, you... You're really gonna douse our flames if you keep using moves like that. <laughs> yep. Everybody just got Focus Sash nowadays, huh? They're handing them out like candy. Oh, okay, Freddy! Tanks it up, no problem. And the recoil! Let's go! No Focus Sash, no problem. I mean, even with the Focus Sash, no problem. Now we go Blood Moon. Wow, that did a lot. Okay, I like that. Good job, Freddy. Next, we got Camera Upt. Uh, yeah, let's just bring RuPaul out. And hope that... Oh, you can't... Wait, doesn't that mean I'm locked? Because I have a... Oh, wait, no, I have a Salt Vest. What would happen if I had Choice Specs and... Click Blood Moon. Would Ursa Luna just use Struggle? I really wonder. Oh yeah, you'd struggle according to chat. That that's what makes the most sense to me. But the Will O Wisp don't matter to Freddy. We're a special attacker anyway, so tank that up. And now we can use Blood Moon again. So we'll finish off Rotom with that. And then we also get the Aqua Step in on uh, Camera Upt. The only problem is the Drought is out. So we're actually going to be doing less damage now with Aqua Step. But I mean, we do get the Moxie boost. Maybe it makes up for it. Not really. We're still in the sun. So, oh, it doesn't even matter. RuPaul did. <laughs> RuPaul very dead. It's alright. We'll at least finish off Rotom. So that's three Pokemon down for him. Only one of mine is dead. And we get the free switch in, so... We can actually bring out Walking Wake. With the power of the sun and Hydro Steam, I'm pretty sure we just sweep through the rest of Krispy Kreme's team. Or maybe not. This man's got Executor. And there's the Magmortar. I've been waiting for this guy. Wait, is that not his ace Pokemon? Oh. Here I thought Magmortar would be his ace, but he's still got... Oh, no, wait, that is... No, he's still got one more Pokemon. Okay, now I'm confused. But... Whatever, man. Hydro Steam! Oh, even with the berry, he gets absolutely destroyed. God dang!
Problem is, Freddy has to use Earth Power, which is not going to do much to Executor. Oh, we might just die, actually. Is he going for Freddy? Yep. Freddy did. <laughs> I guess that was his last night, if you know what I'm saying. No, I don't know what I'm saying. It's, it's literally daytime. Like, what am I... I'm trying too hard at this point. His ace is Blaziken? That's so cool. What? That is the last Pokemon I would have expected. That's sick. Well, unfortunately... Wait. Oh. It's half fighting type. So, actually, I should just Hydro Steam it. Oh wait, but it's gonna it's gonna terastalize. So yeah, let's just flamethrower executor. And we're gonna do this. Double terastalize time! But speaking of my horrible joke I tried to make. You guys seen the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? I actually thought it was not that bad. I know that's not a hot take, like people actually did like it. Even beyond FNAF fans. Like, I've never actually played any of the FNAF games except maybe the first one. I thought the movie was pretty good. It was funny, at least. But now, it's time for Blaziken to burn bright! I love how he uses his pan to toss the Pokeball. He making that extra crispy, spicy chicken. Oh my god, that's why he uses Blaziken! It's a, it's a chicken! <laughs> Crispy chicken, dude! Oh, you use protect. You son of a gun. It doesn't matter. Ivy Cudgel's still gonna lay the smack down on that chicken. Isn't that a thing? Like, you, you beat the... Well, you tenderize the meat. See, I, was, I, didn't, I didn't finish the sentence. <laughs> I didn't finish that one. But this Blaziken is now tenderized. See, chat, you guys know what I was going to say. <laughs> I don't need to repeat myself. <laughs> Can't protect yourself twice in a row, though, Executor. So hopefully with the throat chop... Oh, what? You have a... Oh, Citrus Berry, huh? Alright, I respect it. He's still dead, though. He ain't dead! Are you kidding me? Come on! He's got the harvest strat. Wait, the sun wore out. Oh, you. Oh, that I feel so bad for you, sir. I don't even know what noble roar does. Oh, that doesn't do damage. Oh. Well, <laughs> there you go. You're dead. We did it. Easiest elite four so far. By far, the only one I really struggled against was Lacey. And even against Lacey, I feel like we could have beat her first try if I didn't use Electro Shot like an idiot. That was amazing! We cranked the heat all the way up, eh? I love battles and I love cooking because they're both so easy to understand. In battles, you either win or lose. With cooking, your dish is either spicy or not spicy. Pretty sure there's more flavor profiles than that, buddy. Simple, right? But right now, the mood in the Lee Club feels... I don't know, off? It's so frustrating. I wish I knew how we could go back to being the fun club we were before. But hey, didn't mean to douse the flames there. You were real strong, Orange. Let me see if I can transfer the burning heat from our battle to my frying pan. I'll whip you up something great. Nice. Mag Mortar, bring in the heat. Here, I'll also give you one of my favorite moves to serve up in battle. Temper Flare, whoa! Okay, we had not seen that in any of the trailers, or anywhere. The user attacks the target. This move's power is doubled if the user's previous move failed. That doesn't sound that good. I mean, it's hard to have the enemy fail their move. I got no clue how to manage the temperature of anything besides what I'm cooking. So all I can say is crank up the heat all you want in the BB League. 
Will do, sir. Will do. Ooh, almost forgot. This man's back. That's three of the Elite Four you've trounced now. Seeing how far you're getting is making me sweat a little. Yeah, you're the only one left, bro. Crispin's no pushover. He's just super straightforward. I think that's kind of part of his charm, you know? We used to all chow down on Crispin's cooking after club activities let out. Those were the days. Guess he's been worrying about the way things are, too, in his own way. You know, bud, seeing skills like yours up close and personal really leaves an impression. No wonder it had such an effect on Kieran. But enough about that. I guess your elite fourth match is going to be against me. Nice of you to save the best for last. You gave me plenty of time to get ready. See you soon. Show us what you got. Oh, I'm excited for it. But we'll have to save that for the next episode. The final Elite Four member, Drayton. So I hope you guys are excited. Don't forget to hit that like button. And I'll catch you in the next episode. At least I think that'll make for one episode. Maybe not. I don't know. These episodes seem kind of long, but I guess better. Longer is better. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll just that, that, that's it. That's the sentence. Ugh. Actually, you know what? I need a little stretch like Drayton did too. Ooh. Whoa. The chat is so, like, delayed. What the heck? Also, why is blueberry time still there? I just realized. Blueberry time should have been gone. Okay, there we go. Chat has caught up. Good job, chat. Now. Let's get into the next one. I don't like how it's raining here, though. Oh, hydrate, too. Yo. We're going to get through this by the end. I'm not even close, though. Yeah, no, I'm not getting through this by the end, actually. Maybe by the end of the whole DLC. We'll see. All right, Pokey Op is going to do the intro. You got this, bro. Better hit me with a fire intro. I'm going to read exactly what you type, by the way. So, this better be good. Uh, Where should we go for Drayton, though? Oh, he's in the polar biome. Nice. Alright, we'll go to the middle. We'll do the intro there. <laughs> he's going to self-promote. <laughs> we'll see. It's raining, raining. Oh, baby, is raining. Okay, let me heal up, actually, too. What's up, Aaron Yeager? I mean... I guess sometimes I'll, I'll use the name Orenji. Maybe not for my playthrough character, but... Oh, in Pokemon Go, I'm pretty sure my name is Orenji. Oh, I, also, I need to decide what team we're going to use for Drayton before we do it. What's up, Purple Leafy? Wait, did the Pokey up? Pokey up? Where's the intro, bro? Oh, he's he must be cooking something crazy if he hasn't put. Oh, there it is, there it is. All right, we got it. We got the intro. <laughs> Gamers, welcome to my Pokemon DLC. Apparently, that is the intro that was chosen by one of the chatters today. So, welcome back. And today, we're gonna be taking on. The final member of the BBL, Drayton. A very capable trainer of dragon types who firmly believes in having fun at all times and also from Opelucid, which all but confirms he is in fact related to Drayton from Pokemon Black and White. I mean, it was pretty obvious even from the trailers, but I guess that's the official confirmation. So if you guys are excited, as usual, don't forget to hit that like button. For more DLC, because I think today we should be seeing something crazy. Like, there's only one Elite Four member left, and after we beat all four of them, I mean, who knows what's going to happen, really, but I'm assuming we're going to have to fight Kieran, right? We, this might just be the episode we fight Kieran. Oh my gosh. I'm not ready for that, dude. 
Actually, I'm not ready for Drayden either. I don't have my, my team set up. But I, I mean, actually, this is not that bad. Wait, no. We definitely want to have our ice team. Because Drayden uses dragon types. So I'm going to bring the ice nine tails, which... I've been wanting to use this whole playthrough, but I guess we hadn't done so yet. Ooh, is this finally the debut of Qian Pao? Do we bring out the Qian Pao? I think so. I mean, maybe we still have both Ninetales, though. Then again, RuPaul has Ice Spinner. Ice Spinner could sweep. Let me see. Ice Spinner is 80 power. Eh, oh, it destroys terrain. I didn't even know that. It can get triple axle now too? Oh, sick. Wait, Chi and Pao can get triple axle or... Are we talking, uh... Quaquaval? I haven't found the triple axle TM though, so... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with, uh... These two. I have no idea what to actually run on Chi and Pao. He's not even EV trained either. But he is a legendary, so I feel like he'll be fine. Kind of like Ursa Luna was. Definitely got to pump him up with some candies, though. Level 66. Get Recover. He could use Fire type. That's true. I mean, Dragon Pokemon usually have Fire moves, so... Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Do I give him Recover? Nah. Maybe add a fairy type. I mean, we have we have nine tails. Let's give him like four more. No, I'd do four, four, four more. Throat chop. Nah. One more. One more. There we go. Okay. I don't want to over rely on ice types. I mean, we have one fairy type. What's another fairy type we could add? I don't have any other fairy Pokemon, really. I have Mew. <laughs> level 100, though. I don't want to use a level 100. Flutter Mane. I've, I've, I know Flutter Mane is OP. But my Flutter Mane is not EV trained either. Oh, actually, apparently it is. A little bit. Could do Flutter Mane. I'll be down. Instead of Chang, since we're probably... Chang's not going to be the greatest. Neither is Walking Wake, though, really. Hmm. And then Ogre Pawn. There's not really a good Ogre Pawn mask to deal with Dragon types. Yeah, we definitely need someone with more Fairy moves. We need more Fairy, fairy power in here. We have Dazzling Gleam. We have Fluttermane now. I think Fluttermane should be fine. We just need to give it something good. And also some candy. Okay, 74. That's... That's a lot. Uh... Don't think we really need Psy Shock, but... Sure. Sure, here. You can have Psy Shock, bro. You could use Diplin? No, I don't... I don't think Diplin is going to be a good idea. Diplin just straight up dies whenever we bring him in. Meowscarada? Oh, Meowscarada does have Play Rough, actually. And I'm pretty sure I Eevee trained her. Yeah. Hmm, we could use Gatomota. Doesn't have the hidden ability, though. Oh, if we give it the hidden ability, it would have Protean. You know what? Yeah, we're, go we're going double starter on this one. We go in double starter. So now we just need a... Uh, let's see, we can do Life Orb on Chien Pao? I don't know. We definitely need Choice Specs, maybe for Flutter Main. Since it's probably only going to use Dazzling Gleam anyway. 
Oh, Greninja would be sick too, but my Greninja is level 100, so I don't want to go too OP. Okay, I don't know if I have a choice specs. I mean, I- oh, it's right here. Stupid. New choice specs on Fluttermane. And... I don't know what to give... Meowscarada, but we do need to give it a, uh, ability capsule first. Ability patch, I mean. Where's this thing at? There we go. Nice, we got protein! Expert belt? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. That powers up super effective moves, I believe, so... The play rough will be even better. The question is, where the frick is it? Oh my god, someone else had it, didn't they? Who has the expert belt? Tell me! Or did I just miss it in my item bag? Yeah, I have no idea who has the expert belt. Gosh dang it. <laughs> is it this? No, that's muscle band. Wide lens too, just so we don't miss. And maybe I just give it the muscle band, since... Apparently I can't find the expert belt anyway. And we're probably just only gonna use Play Rough. So we could do like, just Choice Scarf or something. Okay, I mean, I mean this doesn't seem like the craziest team, but at the same time, maybe we switch these two around. Give RuPaul the Choice Scarf instead. Cause he's slower, yeah, he, he is slower than- Oh dude, your nature is not even good. We need to give uh, Miascara the Jolly Nature and then it'll be insane. There we go. Alright, yeah, I think- I think we'll be fine with this. 270 speed. Our fastest Pokemon does not need the Choice Scarf, probably, so we give it Choice Ban instead, just... Plow through any dragons with our Play Rough. Flutter has got the specs. <laughs> we got triple Choice items, bro. This, this does not seem like a good idea, but... F it, we ballin'. Now, for Chi and Pao... I have no idea what Chi and Pao does, bro. Like... All I know is... Does Icicle Crash hit both enemies? I don't think so. But Ruination cuts HP in half, so that's pretty good. Let me let me just real quick look up what do people even put on Chien Pao. Uh Sucker Punch, Ice Shard, Sacred Sword. Ice Spinner. Protect. I guess Ice Shard is the main thing people have, and then Sacred Sword. Man, F it. We're, we're, we're sticking with what we got. I don't know where S Triple Axel is, so... Yeah, we're sticking with what we got. Oh my god! A bomb of snow! What are you doing here? Unless we can just craft the TM for Triple Axel? Maybe. Let's make our way to Drayden now. Ugh. I know that there's a TM machine thing somewhere around. I think it might be in the center area, actually. Whoa, this looks pretty cool. I know we came to the polar biome earlier, but we didn't really explore too much of it. Kind of just caught my nine tails and that's it. Oh, what is that? Oh, never mind. Thought there was like a tower stretching into the sky. What is this? What are you guys doing here? What? 
It's so random. <laughs> okay. Sir, this is a Snover. <laughs> no, this is Obama. Unless this is Triple Axel. No. Da -da -da. How often do you make videos? I try to upload at least once a week. Just depends on what kind of content I'm cooking. But recently I've been trying to move away from gameplay and more into like video essay and analysis type videos. So yeah, usually once a week. Okay, that ain't it either. Ah, uh, yeah, I, uh, the chances of us actually finding Triple Axel around here are slim, but hey, we happen to stumble upon Drayden's thing, or Drayton, yeah, that's his name, right? So this is the team we're running with. We got Freeze and Chi and Pao as our two leads with Aurora Veil, vale, Snow, Setup, uh, plus Chi and Pao's ability is pretty OP. And then as backup, we got a whole squad of Pokemon with uh, Ice and Fairy moves because, of course, Drayton uses Dragon type Pokemon, so we'll see if this is enough to handle him. Welcome to the Polar Plaza. We're the team that supports Drayton of the Elite Four. And you're orange, right? One of the BBL challenger, BBLC? Oh my god. Uh, th th these acronyms keep getting crazier, man. Whoa. The way he just glided down that slope looked kind of weird. Hold up, my friend here gets in free. Are you sure, Drayster? Just charge it to my account. That ought to take care of it, yeah? Damn, so he's flexing too. Okay. There's my champ in the making. Thanks for coming. Let's hit the battle court real quick. No trial? Okay. I'm down to just get right through it, man. Like, these trials have not... You know, they've been hit or miss, we'll say. It's basically the same exact battle court as in the other plazas, just colder, okay? I'm a cold weather kind of guy. Not what you'd expect from a dragon user, right? Anyhow, buddy, you came to do my elite trial. Not listen to me ramble, so let's hop to it. I call my elite trial Terrarium Only Battles. Your goal is to clobber three of your fellow elite clubbers in battle. Simple enough, right? But it's called Terrarium Only for a reason. You can only use Pokemon that meet two conditions. First, they gotta be Pokemon that were caught living wild in the terrarium. Second, you gotta be the one who caught them. Oh gosh. Unless your whole party of Pokemon meets those conditions, no elite trial for you. I know I'm asking a lot, but what fun would it be if you just dipped into your vault of beefy Pokemon and cheesed your way through it? Your opponents are under the same conditions, so you can't be too mad about it. Okay, so that means they're not gonna be like fully EV trained then, right? At least I hope not. That's your cue, underlings. Come on out. Good luck. I've been stuck on this one for three hours. Oh, jeez. My trial is about skill, but it's chill. Take it at whatever pace you want. If you want to dive right into battling, your club mates go nuts. Rather stroll around the terrarium catching Pokemon first, no problem. So go on, get out there and chill it up. Good luck, everyone. Give it your best shot. The thing is... You can still just pump EXP candies into Pokemon you catch in the terrarium, right? So like, this doesn't really make it that much more difficult, I feel. It just makes it more annoying than anything, but whatever, man. Uh, I do have a box of Pokemon I caught in the terrarium. There's not many of them, <laughs> as you can see. We do have the shiny sauce bug, Bambi. Ninetales is fine. Yeah, that's the only one that's viable. But all the rest of these Pokemon... I'm gonna have to swap out. I mean, I'm down to use Cleavor. Cleavor's pretty sick. We got Cleavor. We got the Malamar. We evolved upside down. The Cedra, uh, evolved by just holding the thingy? Or do I have to, like, trade it? I think it might be a trade. Let me see. Because I, I got a dragon scale earlier. We could just get Kindra real quick. Uh, 
Where is it? No, not the prism scale. It's called like a dragon something. Dragon scale. Nope. Okay, we got a trade. Gosh dang it. Alright, well, we're not using Kingdra then. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna try to use these four. Maybe we can use the Porygon. It's a special Terrastal one, so... I'm not gonna lie, this team looks like absolute garbage. <laughs> oh, our Chaludon! We have our Chaludon, right. We can use our Chaludon for sure. If I can find it, that is. I keep losing all my Pokemon. Bro, where, where the frick did it go? Oh, there you are. Okay. Okay, we have six. I mean, most of them suck, but we, we have six. I feel like instead of this Porygon, I should maybe go catch an Ice-type that works well with Ninetales. We just have to catch an Ice-type somewhere around here. So let's do that. Let's see. What do we got around here, Drayton? Yo, is that Carmine? Oh, I thought that was Carmine. Never mind. Hmm. You can probably find Metagross around here, no? Metagross would be pretty sick. Hmm. Don't like any of these. I mean, I like Minchino a lot, actually, but yeah, I don't think it'll be. Ooh, Bear Tick? Mmm, I mean, yeah, we I could do a trade real quick with one of you guys for, for Kingdra. Kingdra is pretty good, actually, but, oh, but it has to be a Pokemon you caught. So even if we traded Kingdra's, I would have to trade it back. So, yeah, I guess that's a no-go. I mean... I guess we can trade back and forth, but I don't know. I feel like I'll find something good around here. So far, Cub Fu's the only one that's kind of like... Seems like it might be decent. The Frick Milsery. And the other thing is I don't have that much uh, EV stuff anymore. Oh, well, there's Bear Tick. I mean, I'll just do that. But wait, let me see if I have any quests to catch Pokemon. That's not the right button. Oh god, I hope this bear doesn't see me. Make yourself a TM. Take a photo of a Pokemon in flight. Bro, what? All these quests I have suck. Oh, and it saw me, didn't it? Yeah, it totally saw me. Well, I guess we can at least test this Cleavor. See if it's any good. Ha! Surprise! Triple Axel is on the iceberg. Oh! Okay, hold up. I don't want to kill this thing on accident either. Maybe I just quick ball. Oh, nice! Look at that! Go with Sneasel. I I did you see a Sneasel? I didn't see a Sneasel. Anyone know if the Tapus are back? As far as I know, uh, they weren't in any of the previews. So I would probably say no, but then they might be a surprise Pokemon. Like, I don't even know what Perrin is going to have, dude. What the Perrin quest could be. That's going to be crazy. Okay, so it's somewhere on the iceberg, you guys said, right? Probably this middle big one. Oh, Beldum is in Charged Stone Cave? Yo, there was a Lapras item. That means Lapras is in the DLC. What? I haven't seen one yet, but Lapras is pretty cool. Ooh, was this Triple Axel? No, what the frick? Maybe it's on that really, really tall one? They added daily quests? Uh, they're not exactly daily. It's just once you complete it, you get more quests. But yeah, they did add side quests that you just do for BP, which you need BP to do pretty much everything in this DLC, so you're going to have to do those side quests. Yeah, Lapras sounds pretty good. It's got a solid typing. 
I really think Kingdra would be awesome though, but let me know. Does anyone out there have a Seedra they want to trade and then we can trade back? Like we each do the trade for Seedra to Kingdra and then trade each other back. That would be nice. Just because I want to see the, the evolution. Oh, wait, but I guess when you send it back, uh, yeah, we, we won't get to see it evolve. I want to see it actually evolve. All right, at the very, very tippy top, it's dry. What the frick? You guys lied. Well, actually, you didn't say exactly which iceberg, I suppose, but <laughs> I figured this is where Ice Spinner would be. Which iceberg is it then? Maybe this one? Ooh, this looks kind of special, actually. Uh, but I don't, I don't see any TMs at all. Oh, wait, there's one right here. Oh my god, I saw it was new. I thought that was it. Come on. Oh my goodness, Alolan Sandshrew. He's so cute. Yo, Alolan Sand Slash would go kind of hard, actually, on the snow team, too. I haven't spotted any Alolan Sandshrew so far. Maybe you need to upgrade the biome to get it to spawn. I don't know. There's a... Oh, maybe we can just find a wild Kingdra, actually. Wait, is that his Hisu... They got Hisuian Quillfish in here? Hey, yo. What? Okay. I mean... Hisuian, or I mean Overquill, is pretty good too. But evolving it would be kind of difficult, I assume. Nice. Back in Legends Arceus to evolve Overquill, you had to use Bar Barrage Strong Style like 20 times or something. I have no idea how you would evolve it here. Snowshrew and Snow Slash are better names. I definitely don't disagree. But also, that sounds more like, uh, what's that other thing called? The, the regional fakes? The convergent Pokemon? Like Toad School? If they were convergent species, then yeah, they would probably have names like that. Can't speedrun this DLC, man. Yeah, not with Drayton's uh, challenge, man. This is this is definitely rough. All right, I like the music in this area too. It's giving very Christmas vibes, which makes sense because it's ice. Not sleeping. I mean, it's pretty early still here. Oh, there it is! Finally! The iceberg you would least expect. Wow. Alright, well that should be helpful. Not even against Drayton though, but against... Or sorry, not for the trial, but for Drayton himself. We'll teach that to Chien Pao. See if he can tear through, but... Uh, as far as Drayton's challenge, I mean... What's this right here? Oh! Dang, there's a special Duraludon. Now I kind of wish I got that one. I'm curious what Terra type it is, but I also don't really want to battle it. Okay, we'll, we'll just we'll see real quick, and then I'll run away. Triple Axel Weavile's back, baby. Yeah, Triple Axel is crazy. Fighting type. Oh. Okay. That means we have nothing against it. Yeah, we have literally no Pokemon that would be good against this. I guess Ninetales Dazzling Gleam. I think I'm gonna die though. I thought it would be ice for sure, because we're in the ice area, but... Oh, Electric would have been sick. For the Electro Shot power-up. But no. Alas. Is that black and white music? Yep. Got a special remix. You got a good point though, Dano. We could just Eviolite this dude. 
Even though I think I was gonna Eviolite uh, Porygon instead. Yeah, we'll see what kind of fighting move it's got. Nice critical catch. Love to see it. We're gonna have two Duraludons on the team. Why not? Let's see where it went though. Oh, come on, man. Oh, there, uh, actually, it is right there. Nice. I don't think Malamar is going to do anything, so yeah, I kind of like this team better. Wait, it doesn't even have a fighting move. My dude doesn't even have a fighting move. Rock Smash? <laughs> that's, the, that's the fighting move you get? Okay. I mean, there's probably a better fighting TM that we can teach it. Oh wait, this is not the TMs. Doesn't learn upper hand. Body press, maybe? Definitely not close combat, but Bear Tick can learn that. I even have body press? Reversal? Nope. Not even Aura Sphere either. Ah, yeah, I can learn body pre- I mean... <laughs> sure, why the frick not? The higher the user's defense, the greater the damage it does, which it does have a pretty good defense, so... Yeah, let's- let's- let's grab that. We're gonna give this man the Eviolite, which I don't know who the heck has it anymore. Maybe it's just in my bag? I hope it's in my bag. Ah, it is. Nope. We should give all the rest of these Pokemon items too. Like, what do we give Staple? Maybe the Assault Vest? Hmm. And then Bear Tick maybe just Choice Band. Where's my Choice Band? Oh no, Arcanine has it, doesn't he? Didn't I give Arcanine Choice Scarf? Oh yeah, here it is, okay. Give you that. I don't know about this sauce buck. I'm honestly, I'm, I just have it on the squad because it's shiny. <laughs> but maybe with Horn Leech. That's what I was thinking. Horn Leech is pretty good. You can do just Horn Leech and Leech Seed. Just stall. Maybe. It's probably gonna die like in one hit, but. Yeah, it needs Sap Sipper. I know it can get that. Oh. That's not a hidden ability, is it? Saws buck. Let's see. Oh no, it's not a hidden ability. Okay, cool. Boost attack stat when hit by a grab. Wait, that's what it does? Okay, I mean. I thought Sap Sipper would like boost the power of like sucking moves. <laughs> S sapping moves like healing you know like giga drain and stuff like that maybe i'm thinking of something else just for that i'm giving you oh wait there's an item that's good for horn leech though i know because i have it on uh that one pokemon i saw it somewhere around here i don't remember who you this yes good and then finally for cleavor I guess we'll give him a... Uh, could do Rocky Helmet. Someone around here had it. Yeah, there we go. F it, man. We're going with this. We're going with this. Just gotta make sure Bear Tick has... Oh my god, he has Sheer Cold. No, we need Icicle Crash instead. <laughs> sheer Cold, yeah, bro. That was gonna work out. I mean, if we're higher level... 
Sheer cold could work. Well, yeah, Aqua Jet? Okay. We do that. And I feel like we should give some candies to these two. Just make them like around level 70. Hopefully that's enough. I mean, honestly, the, the easiest way to speed run this would probably just be to pump up one Pokemon to level 100. And yeah, you would probably get through this pretty easy. Alright, there we go. We heal you up. It's time to take on Drayden's Trial. But also, yeah, we need to have the proper Pokemon up first. Wait, you don't even have good moves, do you? This man doesn't even have Stone Axe. Like, come on. You gotta have the Stone Axe. Everything else is fine. I mean, agility is kind of redundant, but there isn't really anything better either. Okay. There we go. Now we're set. Now we got this. Drayden had to make things a little tougher for us, but... Maybe we'll manage. Maybe. He said that these trainers also have Pokemon caught from the Terrarium, so I'm expecting they're not going to be crazy high level. But then again, that Cleavor, we literally found it at 70, so we'll see as we start off with Winter. Ooh, okay. Oh, the snow is already out, too. So, <laughs> we didn't need snow warning at all. I mean, this is good though. Superpower should take care of that, and we can just throw up the Aurora Veil just in case. Is that a shiny Sand Slash? Yeah, definitely. We missed. Oh my god. My condescendingness made me miss, and we get Iron Headed now. That's not great. I mean, at least we live it, but geez. Can we please hit the dazzling, the, I mean the superpower this time? Are you kidding me, Bear Tick? What are you doing, man? <sighs> the snow cloak. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Let's bring out Duraludon and see if this goes any better. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> like, I don't want to use rest anyway. Okay, let's try body press. Oh, now we don't miss. I guess because, yeah, Dugong doesn't have snow cloak. I believe in Duraludon's supremacy. And, oh, we hit those. Let's go. That's it for winter. Does that mean the other two students are going to be like summer and spring or something? Actually, I don't see spring being a name, but maybe summer and autumn. I can totally see this guy being autumn or summer. I don't know. About to find out though. That it is in fact Craig. Just Craig. <laughs> yeah, no, not what I was expecting. Oh, my Pokemon didn't get healed up. That's not good. I mean at least both of these are still weak to superpower and body press. Actually, Flash Cannon would be better, though. Oh, yes! No more miss! I love it! <laughs> Watch the other trainer be Summer, though. It's like Summer, Winter, and Craig. Damn! Okay. Craig is a great season, you're right. 
I love waking up to those cold Craig nights. <laughs> Keep forgetting we have choice ban. Like I could have just aqua jet, but whatever. This this little challenge is turning out to be a lot easier than I gave it credit for. I went out of my way to build up the super cool team and they're just getting rocked. You know I owe no the streamer. I use the same type as her, so like, ready for a shock? Okay, well in that case, I mean, I don't think I have anything with ground moves, but I should probably, uh, F it, we're going with Saw's Buck, dude. I want to at least show it off. Zap pew pew! <laughs> Why did they make the middle girl themed for winter, but then the other two are just this. Ray, the student. Uh, Ray of Sunshine. Uh, he represents Summer. Uh, his name's Ray. Wow. Did you see that sparkle? Amazing. And yeah, this was a horrible idea. We don't have any fire types either. I mean, I guess body press can just kill Magnazone. Literally just flexing off my shiny. Like, there's no other point to me bringing this Bambi. <laughs> it literally isn't going to do anything either. Watch. Oh, wait a minute. The critical hit? Am I underestimating the power of Sawsbuck? Is Sawsbuck actually OP? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm, I'm being proven wrong as we speak. Just need one more. Horn Leech! Wow. I've never seen the animation for that move. Is it always golden? Like the horns look like solid gold. Kind of makes it look like it's a special version of it or something. Ah, oh, body press does not quite do it. But all it's doing is screeching, so eventually... We should be able to kill it. Yeah, that's weird that it's golden. Pretty sure it's gotta always be like that, but... That seems different. I don't remember Horn Leech being golden like that before. Anyway. We did it! Good job, Bambi. Look at that. I, I, here I thought you were just gonna get destroyed. You actually managed to do something. So that makes... Let's see. One, two, three. <gasps> nice! You beat all three of them! Which means this Elite Trial is Elite Complete. Hell yeah! All we needed was Ninetales and Duraludon, really. My Glee Club assistants, retreat! Bye bye! Aren't they great? No grumbling or nothing! Bunch of sweethearts. So we didn't actually need, uh, what's it called? Wait, I mean for, for Drayton, we can still use our Pokemon, right? Guess you're still using the party you put together. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that. Yeah, I think that would have ended pretty badly. I mean, we at least would have had two ice types and two dragons technically, but I, I don't think we would have been able to beat him with that team. So let's get the real squad back together. If I can find him, that is. Okay, here they are. We're gonna do Ninetales, Chi, and Pao as the lead. We got Baxcalibur, ready for backup. And then Meowscarada and Quaquaval, just in case. 
Also, we got Triple Axel. But I don't know if I want to use it on Qian Pao already, though. I mean, I don't see why not. Oh, he can't even learn it! <laughs> Never mind, I guess. Quaquaval can learn it, though. Three kick attack that becomes more powerful with each hit. Is that really better than Ice Spinner? I guess... I guess it is. I mean... It does more damage with each successful hit, but it's 90 accuracy with each hit. Which means there's a chance that it'll miss one of the three times. I don't know, I feel like the accuracy is like a bit rough. But whatever. We're gonna go with it, but first, gotta make sure to save, bro. You never- now I really never know what might happen in this DLC, so... Here we go. Ready to take me on, bud? Yes, sir. It's on. I would use the loaded dice with the triple axle, but I already have the loaded dice on Baxcalibur. Who's also on this team right now, so... Maybe we won't even need Quaquaval. You know, I was thinking about the look you get when you're in battle. And I realize I've only ever seen you like that from the sidelines. Guess now I know what it's like to face you from across the court. Let me be real. I'm counting on you to conquer the whole BB League, bud. I mean it. I need you to pull this off. You gotta come through for me. That said, I'm not just gonna roll over and miss out on the fun. So watch out. But no need for us to get all official or anything. Just battle me normally like you would anybody else, Orange. Here's the 100% Draster truth. I'm so psyched I'm practically tingling. So why don't we get this rolling nice and easy? Let's go, bud. Show me a good time. Let's do it. The first member of the BB League. Uh, never mind. We met Lacey first, but he's the one that I liked the most from the beginning. It's finally time to fight Drayton. No one wants to see me ugly cry. I mean, I'd be down to see that, actually. I'm just curious what it would look like. Not, not that I like making people cry, but... As you just saw there, uh, Chien Pao's ability, which I think we can see... No? Maybe? Anyway, I think it lowers the enemy's, uh, defenses? Also, he's got a Flygon, so that thing is absolutely gonna- Whoa, 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 okay. We're fine. Oh! Nope, we're not fine. We are definitely not fine. Oh my god. We couldn't even set up the Aurora Veil. But at least we can get our revenge. Haha. <laughs> Not a lot of types can make me eat a super effective hit. Except ice, that is. Your most common weakness to dragon types. Especially since so many of them are like dual type, like flying. Uh, you know what? I think it's Quaqua Ball time because I have a feeling this Dragonite might have multi-scale. Which makes it so the first hit you use on it does half damage, I believe. So, Triple Axel will kind of negate that, because the first hit will be weak, but then it hits two more times after. Meaning, we'll see. <laughs> oh, it's got the berry too, you gotta be kidding me, come on. A one! And the Yachi Berry's used up, so the second hit. Oh my god, okay, please hit three times, yes! Let's go! Good thing we gave Quaquaval the Choice Scarf, too. Otherwise, I think Dragonite would have been faster. That was a good strat, though. Broke the multi-scale and the berry. Nicicle Crash. Almost one-shots Haxorus, too. I think that, yeah, he's got to have Focus Sash. Every, literally every Elite Four in this DLC so far has had at least one Focus Sash. Oh, what? Sceptile? You know that's not a dragon, right? Unless... <laughs> I would lose it. I would absolutely lose my mind if this thing Mega Evolved, but... 
<laughs> we all know that's not happening. We all know that's not happening, guys. Triple Axel! Oh, what? The weakness policy? Yo! I mean, sucks you're gonna die. But, like, I, I guess that's, that's not that bad of a strat. Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry, mate. Quackleball sweeps. What's his final Pokemon gonna be? Actually, he's still got two more, right? There's the ace, Archaludon! And Kingdra, okay! I was actually trying to get a Kingdra for his, like, special challenge thing. Oh wait, we have, uh, yeah, we have to use... Oh man, okay, see, now things got interesting because... Hmm... I guess I can just go Ruination. Now watch this dragon's blood boil! Take control, Archaludon! Oh! I forgot he's gonna Terrastalize, so we actually could have gone Triple Axel onto Archaludon. And it would have been super effective. Whoops! It's him! Yeah, I should have used this on Archaludon. We probably would have one-shot it. Oh well. Oh, we still kill Kingdra though! Jeez! Oh my god, RuPaul! You absolute monster! And we get another Moxie boost. Wow. I I thought RuPaul wasn't gonna do squat in this DLC. I doubted him clearly. But this thing's got stamina? What? I did not know that was your ability. I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna electro shot though, right? Ready to get blasted to smithereens! I won't leave you anywhere to run. Yup, there it is. Unfortunately, this move has to charge up, so I'm pretty sure we just kill it. We don't even need Fluttermane or any of these Pokemon, really. Quackleball did absolutely everything in this battle. But you know, let's just go for Play Rough just for fun. Oh, or not. Yeah, Quackleball just swept. Oh, wait, the stamina, though. Raises its defense every time it gets hit. So it's like, kind of, it's trying its best to survive, but it's not enough, sadly. RuPaul is him. <laughs> Damn, I was expecting more from Drayden. I'm not going to lie, that it felt like the easiest so far. That's what I'm talking about. Lacey was the strongest in the end, dude. Wow, I never expected Lacey would have been the hardest battle. Man, that was ridiculous. So much fun. I knew inviting you to join the League Club was the right move. And I guess if you can beat me, you better make you a full member finally. What do you say? Ready to be the real deal? Yes. Bless you and your generous heart. Come on, let's get a photo of you for the club roster. Aww. I like that. Best buds. Lacey probably would have wanted a more serious photo. But oh well. I feel like there was one more thing I'm supposed to do. Oh yeah, gotta give TMs to whoever can beat us Elite Four members. I gotta go grab that. Wait here a sec. <gasps> it's gonna be the move I think it is, right? The one you guys have been hyping up? Is that why he's taking so long to go get it? Sorry for the holdup. That's the BB League Elite Four all beaten. He schooled every one of us. Here's your reward, like I said. Dragon Cheer. The user raises its allies' morale with a draconic cry so that their future attacks have a heightened chance of landing crits. This rouses dragon types more. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Guess I should have cleaned it. But what's a little dust between friends? Man, it's like I blinked and you plowed through the whole BB Le Bro. When your acronym is BBL, maybe you shouldn't be saying plow through anything. You know what's next for you, right, bud? 
You're good enough to beat all Elite Four of us. So you, and only you, have the right to challenge the sitting BB League Champion, Kieran. Oh, so Kieran's the BBC. The BB Champion. You really kept me waiting. <laughs> Took you a while to beat the Elite Four. Kinda slow for you, it. Hey, bro, come on, I'm trying to enjoy myself, alright? This DLC's only gonna last so long, Kieran. You really got orange on the brain, huh? I could say the same thing about you, Drayton. You sure are putting a lot of effort into helping him. We wouldn't want to help a student out. Gotta be good to our fellow humans. And that's rich coming from you. What does that mean? Whatever you're planning, it's about to come to an end. Orange? Let's settle who's the strongest between us two. Once and for all. Oh, I'm so excited for it. It's finally time. I'm pumped for you. We'll have to go sign you back up at the front desk to get your championship match going. Oh, I like how Kieran's still walking in the background. No sense waiting around. Let's go! But actually, I will be keeping you guys waiting until the next episode. So don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you then as we face off against Kieran. On YouTube, that is. I don't- that seemed like kind of a short episode, actually, but... Who knows? Maybe I'll end up cutting that out. Ogre Pond is needed for this final battle? Yeah, we have to, bro. Alright, let's get the squad ready, then. I just got here! <laughs> don't worry, Danielle. I'm not ending the stream. I'm just... Just- just the YouTube video. This- the episode. Yeah, so we didn't end up needing Meowskarada. Or Fluttermane. That's why I didn't want to spend too much time EV trading them, and turns out I was right. We did use Chien Pao though. Chien Pao is pretty clutch. We'll put this dude back in the PC now though. Uh, I don't remember who had the Life Orb originally. But for this final battle, I'm gonna try to use the original team that I conceived, which was Fire and Ice. Now, Ru I feel like RuPaul earned his spot on this team. Like, he's got the ice move, at least. But then again, I mean, Chien Pao plus Ninetales seems pretty OP. Oh, yeah, Driplin. Bro, we gotta do Driplin. Okay, hold up. Actually, that could probably be how we end off that previous episode. Or how we start this one. I don't know. I almost forgot. But, he gave us the TM that we need to apparently evolve Driplin, Dragon Cheer. Bexcalibur can learn it too, but wait, I don't even have Driplin on my team. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be a struggle. Please tell me he's just in here. Oh no, where is he? No! Are you in- <sighs> Okay, he's here. Maple. She's here, actually. Maple the shiny drip, drip, drip driplin. So all we gotta do is teach it that move and then level it up, I'm guessing. Let's find out. We give it the dragon cheer. Uh mine's level a hundred though, but I'm pretty sure they added a feature where even if your Pokemon's level a hundred, you can still evolve it. Like this. Yes! Nice! What? Maple is evolving! Our first new Pokémon! That wasn't in the trailers! What? Dude! That's so much crazier than I expected! It looks so much more menacing! Like, all of the Appleton evolutions are always kind of goofy, but this one's actually, like, serious! Seven serpents live inside an apple made of syrup. The serpent in the center is the commander. Why do they spell it like that? S-Y-R pent. That's so sick, dude. Hydrapple. And learns another new move, a fickle beam. The user shoots a beam to inflict or light a beam of light to inflict damage. Sometimes all the user's heads shoot beams in unison, doubling the power. What do you mean, sometimes? So it's just random? 
if it decides to use it or not? How the frick does that work? Oh man, I wish it wasn't level 100 though. I low-key want to use it now. But... Yeah, I feel like level 100 is a bit over. I mean, it's not EV trained though. So maybe that makes up for the fact that it's level 100. Because there's Syrup Serp- Oh, I'm stupid. Syrup Serpents! Serpents! Cause Syrup- Yeah, okay. Still Grass and Dragon type though, so not the first bug in Dragon. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be, but... We gotta check this thing out. A little bit better. Oh, it's, it's kind of too light in here though. Hold on, let me... We fly somewhere, or I guess we can just go over here. Alright, Serpent, get out of here. Or get out here, I mean. I know there's a way you can make the Pokemon, like, stop in place, too. Is it... No, 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 no. Hey. What is the button to make it not move? Is it... I don't remember what it is. Whatever, dude. Let me just pull out my camera real quick. Oh my god, it's too close up! Ah! Frick. Oh yeah, we could just sink into it. Nope. Oh. <laughs> the way it just fell. Press in the left stick. Oh, there we go. Okay, thank you. Okay. There we go. Man, I wish we could, like, get rid of this... UI layout. HUD, whatever it's called. I want all the snakes to come out, though. I'm guessing that only happens when you're in battle. That's so cool, though. Oh, yeah, we can do music. Ooh, maybe they come out with the music. No? Oh! Yo! Hold up. Get him to come out again. Oh, that's so cool, dude! Now go to sleep. Whoa! Oh, dude! It has two tails! <laughs> That's awesome! It said there were seven of them living inside it, right? Oh, it always has two tails. Dude! Finally, D D Driplin reaches its full potential. We gotta give it the other move, though. Syrup Bomb. And then... No, 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 not... We're not getting rid of Dragon Cheer. We're gonna give it Syrup Bomb, though. Still has the same ability. Lowers the evasiveness of opponent. And then what should the last move be, I guess? Power Whip? It didn't have Power Whip before, did it? Maybe? Uh, we could just give it Protect. Or Recover. Or Substitute. I guess Recover, probably. I mean, I feel like Recover is just not that good in... in-game, because you can just use a potion instead. Like, in competitive battling, I guess Recover would probably be the best. I'm gonna go for Substitute. Why? Uh, it's probably not the best, but whatever. I'm gonna go Substitute. And that's low-key making me want to use Duraludon alongside it. Because of the Dragon Shear attack. Check the TM machine to see other options. Oh yeah, it can learn Nasty Plot. Oh. Oh, I mean, it's, it's got a pretty insane special attack already. Uh, but yeah, the Dragon Cheer... Rouses Dragon types to increase critical hit chance. We could just use that on... Baxcalibur instead. This could be a good combo right here. Then I don't even know if we would use the Ice strategy anymore at that point. Yo, Boost, thank you! I'm having a nice day so far. How about you guys? How, how is chat doing? You guys enjoying this so far? Have you guys be beaten the DLC? I heard a lot of people typing that they already beat it. I'm getting there, man. I'm getting there, okay? Okay, let's see. I just feel like Arcaludon's not that good for some reason. Probably because it needs rain to really work properly. 
And we don't have rain right now to set up for it. Oh, dude. This thing with Assault Vest. No, but wait, Dragon Cheer is, is a non-attacking move, so no, we wouldn't want Assault Vest. Arcanine needs the Choice Scarf for sure. I'm thinking it's probably the best with just like... Leftovers? At least for my team. What does Syrup Bomb do again? Damage and then causes the target speed to drop for three turns. Okay. That fell asleep. Yeah, maybe no item because because it's level 100. All right, all right. So is this the squad then? Do we need anything else? Hmm. Why do I feel like I'm missing an ice type? Wasn't it? I guess it was uh, Chi and Pao originally. I don't know if I'm going to use Chi and Pao anymore though. I want to go fight Kiki, but... Oh yeah, we need Quaquaval, bro. Quaquaval definitely proved himself. I don't even know where I put him anymore though. Frick. Is he in Paldea 4? Okay, he is. Okay, Quaquaval, you proved you belong on the squad. Uh, hmm. Maybe what we do is lead off with these two, set up Aurora Veil, swap out Ninetales for Ma Maple, and then use the Dragon Cheer to destroy everything with, with uh, Baxcalibur. Oh yeah, we do want Ogre Pawn on the team though, because we're fighting Kieran. We have to have Ogre Pawn. Dang it. We need Ogre Pawn. Who do we get? Who do we get rid of? Maybe, maybe Fire Nine Tails. The only thing that Fire Nine Tails would really be here for is to set up the sun. Yeah, I think I think we do that. I have no idea what Pokemon Kiki's gonna have, bro. So I don't know which Ogre Pond mask to use, but I feel like. I mean, if we kept the other nine tails, we could have done the fire mask. We already have water. We already have rock. Maybe we just... Hmm. You know what? I have not been hydrating enough. Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking I might keep maple out because... Hmm. I feel like... It's level 100. I feel I feel weird using the level 100. So maybe maybe we use this strat in a in another battle in the post game. We'll save Maple for the post game. All right. I'm gonna keep Ogre Pond Fire, and just have both Nine Tails because that was my original plan. I wish I could take away levels. But then I, I want to see, oh man, I want to see the, the, the apple in action, frick. I want to see the apple in action, man. We're just going to go with this, all right? Oh yeah, we need the band back. It's getting the band back together. And we need the choice scarf on Arcanine. Uh, let's see. Who's missing their item? We need this. Where is the band, actually? There it is. And then Maple. We'll just keep him with no item. You're right. I could just fight a random trainer. I was thinking that. And I'm pretty sure we saw, like, a Black Star or Black Text Box. You know, the really tough trainers around here. Where did I see one of them's? Right here, okay. 
We'll, we'll save Maple for the post game, but just so we can see her in action, let's take on this random dude. We got Sam. Okay, Sam. Show me what you got. Oh my god, it's two ice types. Gosh dang it. <laughs> of course it's two ice types. Against two dragons. We're so screwed. Wait, at least one of them is half ice, so he gets a little boost. Let's try out the dragon cheer first. And we'll go glaive rush. Oh, we're faster. Well, I mean... Uh, yeah, okay, well, we're dead. Okay. Maybe not the best trainer to test this strategy out on, I gotta say. <laughs> we can't even dragon cheer. <laughs> uh, we couldn't even dragon cheer, man. I also forgot to shear, you're right. Or heal. Sorry, heal. Just came to ward of Ed Sheeran. Thank you, Dark Chaotic. Alright, let's see if we can Syrup Beam, I guess. Wait, Syrup? Uh, Fickle Beam, that's what it's called. We're too slow to even Fickle Beam, though. It's gonna blizzard before we attack. Oh, unless... <gasps> Maple avoids it! Okay, we get to see at least one of the moves. Chang dies, but it's fine. Here we go. Pickle Beam! Damn, only one head, really? I thought all the heads were supposed to attack. Come on. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Wait, you still have more Pokemon? Gosh dang, bro. I thought that was... Oh, this is one of the black text box trainers. Oh my god, I'm... I'm gonna lose, bro. I'm gonna freaking lose. You still have a Lapras, too! Oh, man, okay. Uh... Nah, we're not losing this, man. We don't lose these. It's gonna heal up. Obviously, one of you's gonna Blizzard, probably, so... Thunder Wave. Okay. Is the move always yellow or is it shiny like the Driplin move? I actually don't know. Yes, the Syrup Bomb turns yellow when you use it with specifically the shiny. I don't know about Fickle Beam. It's a good question. I'm gonna have to test it out with a regular non-shiny now. Oh god, freeze dry! Ugh! Okay, Lantern's slower now. Should we just Dragon Shear on Dream just to see? Okay. Come on, survive it, survive it! Nice. Yeah, Dragon Shear! Oh, there it is! <laughs> so critical hits will become more likely. I'm pretty sure Ivy Cudgel always crits anyway, though. Oh my god. We get fully paralyzed, great. This is just, this, this is not my battle. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> RuPaul has to sweep through the rest of everybody. Except there's a freaking lantern in front of me, so we're not gonna sweep. Whatever, man. Just, just kill me already. Just end my suffering. In this DLC, we've only lost to Lacey. And now, some random guy named Sam. I am disappointed in myself. God damn, Sam took 12k from us. Man's crazy. All right, I mean, I guess we got to see the, the new moves at least. Oh no, are you okay? We better get your Pokemon healed. Mm. 
Whatever, dude. I guess that proves we should not be bringing Maple into the final battle anyway. That was the test right there. And Maple failed. With flying colors. So let's get the original Ninetales back in here if I can find her. And then we're going to change Ogre Pond to Fire Mask. There we go. Man freaking scammed us. He took 12k. That's crazy. Alright, I don't know who I should lead off with though. If I should do the Ice Squad. I guess Ice because Aurora Veil, right? Aurora Veil is always clutch. I think we lead with the Ice and then keep the fire on reserve for some of his tougher Pokemon. I mean, these are more like the sweepers anyway, so we should definitely save Chang for the end. I can claim something. What is that? What does that say? Oh, I went away. Frick. Alright, whatever. I'm guessing to fight Kieran, we have to go back to this. Yep. Ah, I'm not ready for this, man. I'm not ready for this. Oh, Walking Wake. That's the Pokemon we forgot. Well, RuPaul kind of replaced Walking Wake, I guess. That's why we don't have Walking Wake anymore. Can the Song of Fire and Ice defeat the new champion of Blueberry, Kieran? Let's find out. But first, hey yo, Orange. Ready to sign up for your official match? Let's do it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda nervous. Especially after we lost to Lacey. Like, I hope Kieran is on that same level. We also lost to Kieran back in the Teal Mask DLC the first time around, so. Yeah, I'm expecting this ain't gonna be easy. He'd hide behind Carmine if you so much as breathe too loud. But I tell you what, that boy ain't right. I'm telling you, that boy ain't right. <laughs> Out of nowhere, he changed. Now, he's relentless. Pushes himself. Pushes everyone around him. Nothing's good is gonna come out of this. Someone's gonna slap him out of it. And that someone is me! Sorry to keep you waiting. Everything's ready. Ready to battle Kieran? Let's do it. Understood. Your championship match will begin soon. Please make sure you're ready. Well, it's all up to you now, Orange. Me and the other Elite Three will be cheering for you. I love how they refer to each other. Or I guess he specifically calls them Elite Three, Elite Two. This is an official BB League announcement. A championship match is about to begin at the battle court near the entrance. If you'd like to watch the match, please make your way there. The whole school's gonna be there, man. Oh... Uh, I'm not good in front of crowds. I'm already nervous enough as it is. Kieran doesn't seem nervous at all though. Man's determined. Welcome to the final battle. Kept me waiting. I worked so hard for a chance to show you what I can really do, Orange. I put everything into studying and making my hair look good. I crushed the Elite Four and became champion. Did that pretty quick, didn't you? All of that hard work. All of it. All of it was just so that I could beat you. Right here. Right now. What is in that Pokeball? This man's got to have some big surprise for us. And I cannot wait to see it. He's going Super Saiyan! The way he screamed into the air? Totally gave Gohan vibes. He's gonna start off with a Politoed and Dragonite. I probably should have had Quackleball. I know I'm making the right choice. You'll understand that soon enough. Oh, wait, Politoed. That means he's gonna have Rain Team. No! Of course he gets his Rain out after us! Oh my god. 
even more reason for us to have let off with RuPaul. Man. Okay, well, I'm just gonna swap out then. And we'll hit that Dragonite with an Icicle Spear. If we can survive, that is. Dragonite might just be faster and destroy us. We gotta save Ninetales though to bring out the, the snow and take out his rain. Because I'm assuming if he set it up, that means his some of his other Pokemon will probably also benefit from it. Even Luck's chosen you over me. It's not fair! It's just not fair. I don't know if that was Luck, but I am kind of surprised that Baxcalibur was faster here. So with the Icicle Spear, that's one Pokemon down already. I'm glad I switched too, because, yeah. Wowzers, doesn't matter if the type matchups work out for you though, I'll still win, okay? He's still confident, I like it. Politoed got the Weather Ball. I think because it's in rain, that's, yeah, water type move. Oh, the remix! Yo, the theme goes hard, okay. We got Porygon Z. Interesting. That actually dies to close combat, so not bad. Um, don't know if I want to keep... Hmm. We gotta deal with this Politoed somehow, but I just feel like... Maybe I should just Icicle Spear the same guy. Ooh, Hyper Beam. <laughs> uh, unlucky. And now I feel bad. My dude just missed. That's that's pretty sad. We get our first Moxie boost though. So if the next Pokemon that comes out is also weak to close combat, Kieran is in for a rough time today. I haven't even sent out my my snow yet. Politoed goes psychic. Oh, we're dead. Okay. At least he takes out one of our Pokemon. We don't get the Moxie Sweep today, but RuPaul, you done good, my boy. Now, it's time for some real strategies. As Kieran sends out Grimmsnarl. Okay. Well, I got Freeze. That means your rain is gone, buddy. I feel like I should just Dazzling Gleam. But I mean, ooh, we could freeze dry Politoed too. Now nah, we should we should definitely set up the Aurora Veil. And I guess I'll uh hmm. Oh that thing is fairy though. Can definitely do some damage to Quixote. Whoa, reflect! Ah. Okay. You guys are telling me to bring out Overpawn. Is there a special text? Like when you send out Overpawn? I'm guessing that's what it is. I mean, I'm just waiting for him to knock out one of my Pokemon so that we can send out Overpawn, but he's not doing it. For whatever reason. Oh! We just made his thing Ice type, but Excalibur tanks those. Okay, now y'all are dead. I'm just gonna Glaive Rush this thing. I'm pretty sure Dazzling Gleam will finish it. Oh, never mind. Dang. Stronger than you look. Oh, because you use Reflect? No, Reflect is for physical moves. So I guess they're just that tanky. Spirit Break? Still not enough. The Aurora Veil is so good. Okay, we'll go one more Dazzling Gleam. And I think it's time. To send in the homie Dream. <laughs> You've got some nerve bringing out the ogre now of all times. He's snapping on us. Oh, he's real pissed now. All right, come on, channel that anger, bro. Give me a real battle here. Don't tell me Lacey's gonna be the strongest trainer in this DLC. At least for me, I, I saw some people saying they beat Lacey easily. Incineroar? What? Dude, I love Incineroar. That's so crazy. Oh, I know Wolfie's not happy about this, though. 
<laughs> oh man, that's just a sign of things to come. Hmm. I don't know if we should go superpower against it though. I feel like... I mean, I got no other choice, right? Freeze, sucker! He's a true competitive player bringing out the Incineroar. And it did intimidate Dream actually, so our superpower is gonna... Wait, did it have Intimidate? Pretty sure it did, right? I wasn't paying attention. But this is the reason why I didn't want a superpower, because now we drop our own defenses. Well, defense and attack. Finally, he takes out Freeze. Ninetales lasted a while, but this is it. Is he actually gonna bring out a new Pokemon here? Is Dokutaro about to make its first appearance? Let's find out. I'm also... I don't know why I went for Fabi, actually. Just go down already. How are you still standing after I've thrown everything? Oh. Okay, actually, that makes a lot more sense. Of course he's got High Drapple. <laughs> that was his, like, ace Pokemon back in the Teal Mass DLC. Or not his ace, necessarily, but... Yeah, he, he was known to have Driplin. Which actually works out for us, because it's half fire type. I mean, we're still not going to hit it super effective, but... You know what? I'm over it, bro. I'm doing it to him. We're going to beat this man... With his own power. Or the power he wished he could have had. Overbon! Let's go! Is he gonna terrestrialize too? I don't need the old me anymore. I changed! And I'll show you I can change again! What are you talking about? Change into what? You, you gonna go bald? Is that the next step after bringing the hair up? Oh, fighting type! Interesting. I mean, that works out for us. It's still neutral effective, so... BABAM! I thought for sure he was gonna turn dragon. But... Alright. Damn, that Flare Blitz hurt. Even being not very effective, that was crazy. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This man with the Citrus Berry, okay. Fabi tanks those. The Reflect finally wears off. You know what I'm thinking? Oh wait, you're fighting now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch out here. Because Dream has at this point dropped its attack with Superpower. I feel like if we just switch out and back in, we'll do way more damage next time. Can't believe that didn't kill it. I mean, that was a critical hit though too. So I guess I shouldn't have expected it, but... This is it. A Draplin flinched! Nice. Only thing that can beat a Pokemon as OP and sweaty as Incineroar is the sweatiest Pokemon. Hisuian Arcanine. And we freaking miss. <laughs> Come on, man. We're fighting sweat with sweat right here. But we end up missing. That's fine. Ain't no way this Incineroar can... Wow. Yeah, it, it broke our Aurora Veil, that's for sure. But now this is it, alright? No way we missed twice! Are we gonna lose after all this, bro? There's no way, right? Is Dream faster? Dream's gotta be faster, man. Please, Dream. You, got, you have to do this for me. Please. 
And maybe I just go Solar Beam just in case. It, 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 Solar Beam's not gonna do anything, but. Yeah, okay, we're faster. Oh my god. Kieran almost turned that around on us. In the end, we both ended up missing, but we missed less. And he goes down. Well, actually, I think I missed more. What? He actually lost? Let's go, guys. Oh, no. This is where the real Dark Descent begins, isn't it? This wasn't supposed to happen. Ugh. No! 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 Way to go, both of you! That was awesome! <laughs> Crispin being cheerful as always. Uh, read the room, would ya? I mean, please, someone go comfort him. Like, this kid needs some help. Good match, you two. Too bad about the outcome, though, huh? X champ. Rubbing salt in the wound. That's the opposite of what I thought he was going to do. I thought Drayden was going to be cool. Come up, give him a little side hug. Like, it's all right, buddy. You'll get him next time. Dude, Kieran literally looks like he's about to snap. He's about to say enough is enough. I don't like this happy music right now. I don't buy it. We got a Master Ball, I guess. Hey, Kieran. This may not mean much coming from a guy who couldn't beat you, but... I wish you'd go back to having fun with all this. I get that burning desire to win. I mean, who doesn't like winning? Just don't let that desire burn you to a crisp. It's hard to watch. Yeah, he does have a point. But still... Come again? I won't lose. Next time, I'll win. Next time, I'll win. Why would we say nothing? I don't know what to say, though. I mean, yeah, you, you'll get us next time, bro. Orange Eye. Whew. It is pretty tough to watch, I'm not gonna lie. Mind if we interrupt? Well, first off, we want to offer Orange our congratulations for becoming champion. It really is an amazing achievement, something that should be celebrated. But with the way things are now, I'm sorry to say that it does, well, complicate matters. We're having a bit of a hard time knowing how to proceed. Proceed with what? Well, think about it. I'm the champion, right? But I'm not... A blueberry. Yeah. What is our long-term plan here if he doesn't stick around? I mean, kind of like this place more than Paldea already, so I wouldn't mind. Huh. Yeah. And of course, if Kieran rejoins the Elite Four after having lost the rank of champion, that would push Crispin out. Oh no, not Crispin! <laughs> Wait, me? That's bad, isn't it? I'd like to hear from Kieran himself what he would like to do next. Bruh. I don't think Kieran's gonna be saying anything for a while. This is an announcement for the following students. BB League Champion Kieran, Top Elite Four Member Drayton, Carmine of Class 3-2, and Orange R Exchange Student. Miss Briar and some guests would like to see you! Drayton's coming with us to Area Zero? Did not expect that. Now's really not the time. BB League Champion, huh? You're gonna need to update that. Bro, why does he keep rubbing it in? <laughs> He's really trying to push Kieran's buttons, like... I don't know, Drayton. I, I feel like you're treading some dangerous ground right now, especially since he did beat you, at least. Go on ahead, Orange. We'll meet you there. I'll make sure Kieran comes, too. Even if I gotta carry him. I feel like we should not leave those two alone right now. But... Dude... 
Oh, man. I mean, I guess I get it. Like, after all this time... And he, all he's been trying to do is get stronger. Just to lose to us again. And this time, I didn't lose to him. Like, the first DLC, I actually lost to him the first time. Yeah, I guess we gotta go to the classroom. Oh, wait. Don't we just, like, go right here? Yeah, Drayton is... I feel like he's low-key jealous, because he probably was champion before Kieran, right? Kieran knocked him out of the spot. But now, it's time! For the climax, maybe. What is Miss Briar doing? Thank you all for coming. I'm pleased to inform you that some very special guests are here to see you today. They left for a tour of the school mere minutes ago, but I believe they'll return soon enough. Who could it be? <gasps> Our friends? From the Paldean Academy? In the meantime, I'll fill you all in on the situation. Please have a seat. Don't mind if I do. These knees are creaking. <laughs> oh, please, you're not old enough for that yet. I mean, I'm almost 30, bro, and the knees ain't what they used to be. I guess Drayton is nowhere near 30. To think you'd make it as far as champion? What a dazzling accomplishment. Thanks, I guess. Wow. Maybe we shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Briar, but could we leave all that for another time? What's this thing you wanted to tell us about? Oh, uh, yeah. Struck a nerve there. Let me get straight to today's topic, then. I want all of you here to join me on an expedition to the secluded and mysterious Area Zero. Area Zero? That's the place in Paldea you wanted to visit, right? You got permission? My main goals are to investigate the terrestrial phenomenon and to gather samples of the crystals present in the crater. But to be honest, I also have one more ambition for this trip. I'm hoping that we can find Terrapagos, the first mention of it. Terrapagos? A legendary Pokemon? A rather exciting idea, isn't it? Damn, two former champions in one room? And the Elite Four? Okay, that is not the guess I was expecting, actually. I just realized these are the two that were taking the tour. I do apologize for my tardiness. La Primera. Champion Orange, certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Ha, huh, of course. You must be participating in the student exchange program. Orange just cracked crown our new BB League champion, too. Your talent is always as brilliant, I see. Truly a wonderful thing. If you'll be going along, then I suppose that bodes well. Is it alright if I explain the situation? By all means. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Gita, chairwoman of the Pokemon League in Paldea. More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero, the Great Crater. Once that research was complete, we shifted our duties to monitoring and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries and danger. Generally speaking, the area is off limits, even for research. That being said, recently we've had to confront the possibility that dangerous Pokemon could escape the area. There is a clear need for further research, and quickly. But at our Pokemon League, we've had trouble finding capable personnel, not to mention time to study Area Zero. So, you reached out to me as I've been requesting access to the area for quite some time now. I apologize we're not better equipped to deal with this ourselves. Blueberry Academy has a wealth of highly skilled trainers with well-trained Pokemon. And with Champion Orange also on the team, I'd know I could safely initiate a new expedition. This is entirely voluntary, of course, but it would be very reassuring to have you with us. What do you say? Will you join our little expedition team? I don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid I must insist. Uh, it's, I guess we got no choice. Well, I think it's already decided that I'm going. Your support will be very useful as always, Carmine. I appreciate having you on board. Sorry, but I'll pass on this. Why did we even invite this guy? The league club's a whole mess right now. We need my steady hand on the wheel here. 
Sure, you just can't be bothered to travel all the way to Paldea, can you? <laughs> Guilty. I'm curious what our mighty ex-champion's thinking, though. I'm going. If there's a legendary Pokemon there, I want to find it and catch it. This time, I won't let this chance go. Interesting. Then it's decided. It's too bad that Drayton won't be joining us, but it seems the team will consist of Carmine, Kieran, Orange, and myself. <coughs> and my cough. I look forward to the great findings that you will bring back, no doubt. I'm grateful for the opportunity, Gita. Leave it to me. My dream of exploring Area Zero is finally becoming a reality. Now, time to prepare. Let's meet by the bridge at the Academy entrance as soon as we're ready. Hmm. I can't say she's exactly giving evil right now, but I'm still really curious about Miss Briar's motives here. Where the heck did everyone else go? The heck? I'm also debating if we should take this on right now or not. It has been a while, Champion Orange. Hiya, kiddo. Rika's here too, at your service. Not gonna lie, I never dreamed we'd be running into you. I see that you're putting your skills to good use and living up to your title as champion, even while abroad. Uh, that's what champions do. Ha, <laughs> 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 indeed. I would expect nothing less from a talented trainer such as yourself. Yeah, definitely got talent. <laughs> Lots of talent. What does she mean by that? But not enough to get you off the hook. You went into the Great Crater without the League's permission, didn't you? Uh, what, what, do, you, what, what do you mean? Huh? That's what champions do. What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> Calm down, Rika. No harm came to him after all. And besides, we have good reason to believe that all of Paldea would have been at risk if Champion Orange hadn't ventured into Area Zero. Yeah, I literally saved y'all from the, the, the paradoxes. Well, yeah, I mean, that's true, but... Fine, I'll let you off the hook this one time. You'd better thank the boss for stepping in. Don't think poorly of Rika. She's just worried for you. Now then, Champion Orange. This time, you'll be heading to Area Zero with official League permission. Only a handful of people know about the incident involving the time machine. However, taking into account the dangers of Area Zero, I've elected to inform Miss Briar of what happened, obfuscating certain details. Speaking of, boss, didn't you say you had something to give that Briar person? Yes, I did. I'd forgotten about that. Champion Orange, would you be so kind as to take this for me? The Indigo Disc? Is actually an item? You know what? The teal mask was an item. So I don't know why I didn't expect the same. It's literally a disc. Like like a CD. Wow. What is that anyway? A TM or something? It is a disc sent by an Area Zero researcher to an investor some time ago. I had my investigation team look into it. It is certainly not a TM, nor is it a mere tool for storing data. I honestly have no idea as to its true purpose, but I assume it has to do with Area Zero. I figured that since you're heading down there, might as well ask you to investigate the purpose of this disc while you're there. While he's there, huh? Did you want him to pick up some potato salad on the way? What are you even talking about, lady? There's still much we do not know about Area Zero. I know you've already been to its steps, but please exercise some caution while dealing with the environment in Pokemon there. As champion, it falls on you to protect and guide those accompanying you. Wish I could go too, kiddo, but I've got my own work to do. Do your best down there, but don't push yourself too hard, okay? Okay. Of course, the adults aren't going to take any responsibility for this. Just leave the kid to do everything. So now, armed with the Indigo Disc, whatever it might actually be, and having defeated Kieran... It's finally time to venture back down to Area Zero. Find out what the heck this Indigo Disc actually is. Hmm. I was about to end the episode because I feel like 
I mean, this next part has to be its own separate thing, but also feels kind of short compared to the last few, so I don't know. Let's see if there's anything else out here for us to check out. Uh, I guess not. We just got to go back to Palbea, huh? Okay, then I guess we'll wrap it up. <clears throat> yeah, I know. My, my throat's getting a little rough, too. But considering the gravitude of this situation... Wait, gra gravitude? That's not a word. But considering the gravity of the situation, and the fact this is probably going to be the end of the DLC, I think we should save it for the next episode. So I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the finale. There you go. That, that'll be the... the, the, the the outro for that episode, even if it is shorter. <clears throat> but yeah, I guess I'm also thinking about maybe saving this for the next stream. Because we've already been going for eight hours. This is my longest stream so far. Holy moly. I think I need a break, honestly. Uh, also, I'm getting kind of hungry. But we did do more than the first DLC, the Teal Mask. I mean, technically it took us two streams to beat it, but... We made it way farther this time than, than the first stream, the first time around, so... Yeah, I think I'm gonna just rest up and we'll be back tomorrow, same time. Maybe, I think, might be earlier too, because now the DLC is actually out. Today we have to wait for it to come out. So I want to thank you all so much for joining. It's been a blast. Like, <laughs> literally, I think might be the longest stream I've ever done, maybe? My, uh, I, I remember the, the wedding, the pre-wedding stream was also pretty long. But eight hours is crazy. We did a full shift right now. So thank you guys again. Appreciate y'all. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. And stay tuned for the episodes that will be coming out. I still got to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Because we had some technical difficulties, but hopefully we can figure it out. Bye.